Show. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live. We are live and back at it again, folks. It is WrestleMania Night 2, where we will find out if stories can be written or if it's just the same old thing. But we're going to dive into it all, folks. Welcome back to the second part of our very long, very action-packed WrestleMania marathon. But pretty faces have you. So strap in, strap on, grab your snacks, grab your feel good, and welcome to the Wrestling for Life Network. Let's go. Ding, ding, ding. We are live and back at it again, folks. Like I said, we are the Wrestling for Life Network. This is another live stream, and this is WrestleMania 40, WrestleMania XL, night two. So much to get into, so much to uncover. And plus, as always, there's plenty of rumors and news going around the wrestling world. Just because we're covering a big show doesn't mean we pause on that. But for the next five, six plus hours, we will be here live, so get in that chat, click all those buttons, hit like, subscribe, share, be a friend, tell a friend, and welcome. I hope everyone's having a wonderful Mania weekend, and I will not hesitate to remind everybody, I am Mr. Every Night, KJ White, the Iron Man of YouTube, and that is Big Nick. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the Wrestling for Life Network proudly brings to you its YouTube tag stream, trios, champions of the world, the Every Night Delight, KJ White, the chapeau that runs the show, ringsider Anthony, and I am Big Nick, and let's take a moment to acknowledge our tribal chief. Oh, you're going to get thrown out of this press I'll, conference. Yeah, yeah just out. kick him out already. Yeah. Just get him kicked <laughs> out. <laughs> right out of the gate, you leave. You can leave. Right. Imagine, he held that. They, I mean, that's what I love about the WWE media scrums is they don't necessarily come out and just be like, so how did you like all the stuff that we did? It was very much in kayfabe, in character. They'll show a little bit of themselves and answer legit questions. But, you know, Roman, Paul last night were amazing. It very much reminded me of like when MGF would be at the media scrums. Ah, see, um, that he would stay in character the whole time and everything. Like it was great to see um, Naomi, I must call her Trinity, um, Naomi, Bianca, and Jado up there having a ball, actually yeah. looking like three friends up there and everything. But Roman completely in character. They just destroyed Chris Van Fleet. They threw a woman out before just because she booed for two seconds. Poor Chris. <laughs> Yeah, he's got enough home runs. He can take one on the chin once in a while. Sometimes oh. you got to throw a fastball high and inside. Pause. That, that was Chris that got thrown out? I didn't catch no, that. No, I got thrown out. He um, asked a question for Paul, and Paul instantly was like, did you not hear him? Do you have a question for Roman Reigns? Oh, now you're not going to know my answer? And they just went tag team on him. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay, okay. All right. Yeah, our buddy Chris got popped pretty hard. He didn't get kicked out. It was, some, it was a lady who made like a – Woo sound during the acknowledge me. <laughs> he was like, Who did that? Yeah, she booed. <laughs> holding everybody. Yeah, she booed. He was like, Get the woman with the glasses out of here. <laughs> you leave or I can leave. Yeah, right. Right. But uh I feel like we, we gotta get Anthony a little stick of like skibbity bebop or something. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, 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 everybody. Like I said, this is night two. We were on for 12 hours yesterday, seven hours the night before, and six hours the night before, I think. So it's been a marathon to remember. We appreciate everyone making us a part of your weekend. And again, get in that chat. If you haven't clicked that little thumb yet, make sure you do so. Give the algorithm a little massage for us and let us know. What are we looking forward to tonight? How is it going to go tonight? What are you thinking about tonight, guys? How do you think night two is better than night one? And well, first I should ask, what's your feel feelings on night one? Because there was some people throwing out that it was a quieter crowd, like Anthony's talked about, of because it's an outdoor venue, the sound kind of escapes yep. it a bit. But it was also cold. That's why I heard everybody saying it was just cold. I could clap. Did you ever clap with frozen hands? 
<laughs> right. Yeah. I I've actually there's a bunch of TikTokers that I know that went to WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. They were at night one and they said by the time it really got to um the la- not the ladder match, but the first tag team match. So it was Rey Mysterio. Yeah. It was like it was super, super cold. The sun was already almost down at that point. The wind chill was very, very way down. And they were like people were at that point were trying to stay warm apparently the con- concession stand ran out of hot chocolate so it was <laughs> it was really really bad for um the people in philadelphia and i think what people don't really understand it wasn't just people from philadelphia there was people from all over the world that might not have experienced that type of cold weather before so right. yeah it was it was it was definitely a different experience for people last night them Cody crybabies needed their hot cocoa. How can we watch Brody? How can we watch Cody get rock bottomed and need a people's elbow if I don't have my hot cocoa? <laughs> right. <laughs> no, that's, uh, I mean, an interesting story. And again, I feel like no matter what happens in the wrestling world, no matter what company does it, there's a collective of just like, it all sucked. I'm really wonder if some people truly do like wrestling some days, but Listen, overall, I think from start to finish, it was a quality night one. I think something that Triple H, and I, I'm just guessing here, but seemed to have done was he back, like it builds to night two. Mm-hmm. Last year, I know a lot of people felt night one was the better night. I think there was a conscious effort to, there's a lot of big things on tonight's card. Bailey, EO, the triple threat for the US title. Um, not that we didn't have moments in the first show, but it feels like the bigger ones are being saved for this. Absolutely. It seems like we've talked about it before that night one for a while has kind of once they switched the two nights, night one's had ended up being, you know, the preferred show at once the whole weekend's done because it's the fresh new thing. They've kind of front loaded stuff. Tonight we've got Seth Drew, like you said, we've got the triple threat. We've got Roman versus Cody exclusively under Bloodhouse rules. So the bigger moments they're saving for night dose. Night yeah, two. and I didn't even think night one was terrible. I mean, I, I felt like it was steady throughout the night. Um, like I said last night, I think the only match that was really a downer to me was Jay and Jimmy. But other than that, I mean, I really enjoyed night one. I think I think fans at this point, like you said just a couple of seconds ago, KJ, they just want to hate to hate. I enjoy yeah. it. And I think night two um, is going to just build on what happened on night one. Um, and I think, you know, like um, Nick just said, we got the two world title matches. We got EO, Sky, and Bailey, which I know a lot of people are looking forward to. So I think it's just going to be a, a very big build tonight to tonight. Yeah, and I mean, I think uh, I'm in the same boat as you, Anthony, with the idea that, you know, Jimmy and Jay didn't live up to the hype for me. The match didn't suck. It just didn't hit the mark, right? So we give it, you know, two and a half or three stars if we want to melt her it up. But at the end of the day, I think we had a high expectation of that match. I think Sammy Gunther, I rewatched that one today, smashed it out of the park. Rewatching that, I was getting all, you know, uh, oniony eyed and, and such going like this is really good man so there was a lot of good content on the show a couple things maybe not as exciting as we hope but i think a couple things exceeded our expectation and the rock was phenomenal i was just gonna say speaking of things that exceeded expectations the the rock after not having a real match in i think 11 years mm-hmm. um coming out there and putting on the performance that he did he sold the ever loving bejesus out of that spear from roman man that he knocked all the rings out of the out of Dwayne. Yeah, a lot of people were quiet about that last night. I didn't see too many people talking about, oh, The Rock um, doesn't look like he's in shape. The Rock showed up and showed out last Ooh. night. I, I felt like he was wrestling like it was back in the 90s. Um, a lot of people were quiet that were talking just in January about how The Rock looked and how he, you know, could fizzle out real quick. That didn't show at all last night. Absolutely. No. And who's walking around saying The Rock looks like he's out of shape? What the fuck? Right. <laughs> if he's out of shape, there's no way I'm ever going to be in shape. Right. Well, rounds of shape. I got it. We're good. Spherical. <laughs> Spherical. Right. But um, now, that being said, folks, uh, we are about an hour and, I don't know, 50 minutes away from the start of the main show. Uh, we are the pre-show. The, pre- the kickoff show is on live uh, right now as we're getting replays from the press conference last night. We're getting some uh, hype packages, some replays. 
But uh, we will be here right till the start of WrestleMania night two. And we're not going home until the wrestling stops tonight. But, um, yeah, really interesting things going on in the IWC today outside of WrestleMania and maybe mm-hmm. a couple things tied to WrestleMania. Well, do we want to say hi to the people before we get into that? Because I know hi to the people. where you're going, and that's going to take a minute to discuss some things. You got it. <laughs> we'll say hi to some people. There, there you go. Well, see money. What up? Looking forward to another rather rubber chicken being thrown at Cody. Oh, not happening. Did you see the like CGI thing that somebody made to where it <laughs> yeah. was on uh, like the Avengers and everything, and the battleships are giant ro- rubber chickens? <laughs> the internet's undefeated, bro. Right. But Damien, what up? Christopher, what up? Bonkers, what up? Mentioned Jacob Fatu. We'll Boston mentioned what I think we were going to talk about. So we'll mm-hmm. put a quick bit in that. But we'll be yeah, they, they might be showing some footage. Yeah, let's talk. We'll talk about it. Right. Rocco, what up? We got Cody Rhodes in the chat, everybody. He's he's so focused on facing Roman Reigns, he decided he needed to stop in the chat, too. YouTube has more than one royal family. <laughs> <laughs> but only one wrestling for life network. Facts. <laughs> Christopher, what up again? Eric, what up? Roddy, what up? Alexis, what up? Fear of Sir. Lindsay's back. What up? Daniel, I think you're a new name, sir. Um, yeah, and Bobby and the Prophets are also going to be on tonight as well. Uh, MDB thinks that they're going to steal the show tonight. Bobby, oh, really? The street fight's going to steal the show. Bold if, if somebody gets thrown into oncoming traffic, just like at uh, <laughs> Wrestling Revolver, yeah. then it might steal the show. <laughs> oh, the juggler. If someone dies, it will be a good match. Right. <laughs> Raheem, what up? Philip, what up? Jobson letting us know his uh fest or his uh feast for tonight. Nice, nice, good choices, good choices. Yeah, in Boston, I am definitely not in shape. Like, like KJ said, round is a shape, and if that's the only way I'm in shape. But there we go. do we want to talk about the other big news oh, from the other three letter company? Do I we, think we ever <laughs> we have to, bro? Who wants to go first? Well, do you want to enlighten the people on what is so? Going? Yes, for anyone who doesn't live on Twitter, and God bless you, you're doing the Lord's work. Um, that it's already been put out or it was announced, I believe, on Collision last night because we didn't watch that respectfully. Um, mm-hmm. a little tied up, a little tired, but that on Wednesday night, Dynamite this coming week, the Young Bucks are going to play footage from backstage at all in and that's been the most that they i believe said everybody else has pretty much ran with it that it's going to be footage from the jack perry cm punk altercation that had back happened backstage yeah i saw alvarez and uh Meltzer confirming oh the like, typical stooges right they're, they're selling the story i have a feeling that there's a this is a work somehow like they're it not going to show be. right it's going to be like you know, little person punk, not like kind of like the Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels back in the day trick of, um, damn, I don't know, man. I, I mean, truthfully, I want to see the brawl out footage more than I want to see all in. Wow. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's a way to look at it. I saw some people that have said, well, don't you just kind of with a morbid curiosity as a wrestling fan want to yeah. see it? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. I want to see Tony fearing for his life. Sorry, Anthony. <laughs> no, I agree. I kind of want to see that too. I think I did see FIFO Select talk about it too today. And yeah. I, I think they did mention that it's potentially going to be the real footage. But I think my question is what does it benefit if you show the real footage or you make something up? Um, some backstage footage just mocking the situation that happened. I think both looks are terrible, whether it's the exact footage or if it's a mock-up of what y'all are trying to produce on um, AEW TV. It it is. If it's actually the footage, and I'm right there with you, KJ, I think it's going to be just, it's going to be fighting frizzies at 11. That's what it's going to be. It's just Muppet going at it and reenacting that. That's what it it is. Yeah, because if this is actually the footage, it, it's going to be probably the single worst decision AW has made in their mm-hmm. run of existence. Mm-hmm. Finger poke of doom vibes. 
I've been saying it, WCW, and that's 100% what it would be. You're, why are you focused on somebody that's in another company that has nothing to do with your television product currently? Like Anthony said, it's nothing going on in TV that you have that's related to that. So you've got to sit there and poke at the guy. And for fucking what? When the guy's in another company and injured, who does this help except your fragile egos? Well, that's the thing that caught me the most about of all of this is it screams insecurity. We talked about it with the Edge mm -hmm. promo. Screams insecurity. Punk didn't go on Raw and cut a promo on AEW. Nope. He sat down with Ariel Hawani and answered questions as honest as he felt he could, or at least his version of the truth. Like Anthony said yesterday, there's three sides, right? Like, So he gave his rendition of his take on it. Now, in response to that, you're taking up TV time, and clearly with the reports coming out and yeah, a lot of people reporting that Tony was very upset. Like, wait, Tony, you sat down with Ariel Hawani. He was on a media call for Dynasty, and they asked him questions. Yeah. No comment, no comment, no comment. Well, if you're so righteous and, and in the right here, and your friends didn't do anything wrong, your EVPs didn't do anything wrong, talk about it. Put it right. out there. Yeah. And I think you even mentioned it in our chat today. Like you had the opportunity to say something when you were on there. So why why didn't you? Why didn't you get ahead of the story before CM Punk? CM Punk was going to eventually open his mouth. It's CM Punk. Like, that that's what CM Punk does. So why didn't you get ahead of the story before CM Punk actually said something? That To me, that's on Tony Khan. This is all on... Oh. Yeah, sorry. This is all on everybody involved here because oh. you're... you're we, this goes to show that still right now, even though he's in another company, not even wrestling because he's injured, CM Punk is still the biggest ratings draw in AW. Mm -hmm. Facts. And some I sent that little meme over of like, because eh, it kind of pointed that out. And I mean, here's the thing. At the end of the day, if you want to go on an interview, if you want to go on a podcast, you want to go on a platform, you want to go on Twitter and, and plead your case because you feel like you need to tell your side, fine. But your show's struggling. Your ticket sales are struggling. Your ratings are struggling. Worry about your company. Just let this imaginary battle with the WWE go. Let the pettiness, because you and I talked about this a lot, Nick. During the fallout from Brawlout, I think the fan base, including you and I, and, and probably Anthony as well, like literally got to the point where we didn't care who was right or wrong. We were just over the bitching. We were over the rumors. We were over the whining, the crying, the finger pointing. Just move on. Right. I think um like the all out was what the biggest or was it all out that it happened? Where's the biggest show in AEW history? Yeah. So yeah, um, that's the biggest show in AEW history. It's supposed to be, let's just uh technically say your version of WrestleMania. And it after all out, no one was talking about all out. Everyone no. was talking about what happened behind the scenes at All Out. And this went on for weeks. And it was like, at this point, just be grown adults and, and just and just move on from it. And it did. I felt like it did turn a lot, not just, you know, myself, but a lot of the AEW fan base. It turned some of them away. Mm -hmm. This screams, and I've been saying this for years now at this point, this is WCW 100%. It's Eric Bischoff, the man that Tony loves so much that they keep going back and forth on Twitter. It's even if it is just fake footage and everything. So the biggest thing that got drew attention to your show and everything was talking about a guy in the other company in a situation that happened months ago that you could have sat there and actually been adults and resolved and made money out of it and made money for your company that way. Mm hmm. Yeah, and again, going back to my, I think, my original thought of it, just all of this screams of insecurity, of of childishness, of, you know, even when, and I know a lot of, of there's a selection of the fan base that overlooks, like, when Punk's on the shelf, silent, nobody's hearing from him, no reports from his party, and you got the Bucks in the ring doing a victory lap on collision. You got, you know, um, carry on my wayward son, like, which I thought was genius, but, mm. you know, again, a shot. The, the match where they were basically mocking Punk, and everybody kind of like overlooked that kind of child, oh, it's no big deal. But here we are now, and it's still happening. It's still petty. And they're just getting outboxed. Your arms are just too short to box with God. Thank you, sir. <laughs> well, speaking of someone who's going to be boxing with God, well, 
emo sky letting us know the rock said this is uh supposed to be surprising tonight oh they're supposed to be a surprise in tonight's bloodline rules match back to like what we we're talking about with uh or have we even mentioned that of jacob Fatu? yeah we did jacob Fatu. we haven't that. mentioned we... jacob Fatu too much oh yeah. spoiler alert but so yeah so per fightful um allegedly jacob Fatu is telling everybody that he signed with wwe and i think that very much plays into the potential of him being involved in the bloodline rules main event of wrestlemania 40 tonight Bro, I'm scared. I'm scared. I got Cody. I'm back in Cody. <laughs> and reports of more Samoan signings. Tama Tonga's in the weeds. There's other gentlemen out there. Oh, no. What's going to happen? Um, Zion Quinn, where's he doing? What, what's he up to? He's <laughs> <laughs> I think for me, it kind of solidified my stance of Roman's winning tonight. If Jacob... I don't know. You've been flip-flopping, sir. <laughs> I, I, no, I think with that, I needed some assurity. I needed some assurity, and I think that might be my uh, surety that like he's winning tonight because I, I don't, I just don't see it being solo in the rock. It, it needs to be more people involved for this to actually go down. And I think if Jacob for two has signed with WWE and shows up tonight, I think it's, I think it's perfect. I think it's a perfect uh, fairy tale. With Such Roman retaining. Lord. But what if Cody has some people to back him up? Why? Maybe a, a certain Texas rattlesnake. Why? I saw oh, people we get Austin and Cena versus like Jacob Fatu. They got to <laughs> they gotta back him off. I already said they got the new Marvel <laughs> intro yesterday, everything like that. This is the goddamn Avengers. We're in the end game tonight, folks. Uh, we are in the end game. This uh this will be very, very, very interesting how this all concludes. Because no matter what happens. Like Triple H said, people are going to overanalyze the booking, overanalyze mm -hmm. the decisions. And again, there's a, there's a sadistic part of me that really wants Cody to lose just to watch the meltdown. But I, I backed I backed Cody, and, and up until when we went off the air last night, I really was like, this is, Cody's got it. This is, this is setting up Cody so well. And then I yeah, hear this well, news today, and I'm like, fuck. There, there, well, there's a good bit. There's been internet sleuths and everything. And sorry, homie, I had to pull up that comment, though, just letting everybody know that you are a Cody crybaby. Hopefully you got your chicken nuggets on the standby. <laughs> Listen, I, got, I got my tissue next to me. I got the nuggets ready. You got the pink Dave LaGreca robe? Uh, I told you, if Cody loses, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'll be on here <laughs> on Sunday in a robe. Right, right, right. Um, but, yeah, I saw even the internet sleuths were going at – how when Triple H specifically put a tweet out for the main event, uh, specifically today at 3.16 p.m., and everybody's, oh, see what time it went out, what time you put it out, it's got to be, <laughs> you know, that means he's coming, folks. We're getting white rabbit scenarios here. I think yeah. this all started with it, too, just because they were on the back of production trucks. Quickly, did you see the uh, the picture, people are trying to put around the fake picture of, like, look, we found MJF at the airport. <laughs> yeah. And I saw somebody doing too the the finger point one too as well with him and Hunter. Oh, okay. But so, even though I'm the one that's picking Roman clearly here, how do you not feel though that this kind of favors Cody to finish the story here? All the decks stacked against him. I mean, they recreated the shot from 39 walking yeah. off last night. Mm -hmm. He won a goddamn Slammy today for Superstar yeah. of the Year. They're doing everything to make you think that this man's going to win. Right. Uh, I mean, yeah, the, the, and making it seem like that he's going to win. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm i torn, but my prediction is Roman Reigns, and I'm not changing it, but I am torn. I, I don't know. I really don't. They're going to just tear the rug right up from underneath you. <laughs> I yeah. think either way, I'll be happy, though. Yeah, we should be. As long as they get to the end of the story with, uh, you know, well and entertaining, I'm going to be fine. But, like you yeah. said, Nick, coming out of last night, they've done everything to kind of bury, you know, Cody takes a pin to the rock. Mm -hmm. How much more do you want to, you know, uh oh, he's doomed. I think, you know, coming back around up until the Jacob Fatu news, which makes me a little nervous. I mean, mm -hmm. I hope they're saving him from like Monday or two or Friday, right? Like he shows up to avenge the, the, the loss of Roman or something. But if he's involved tonight, man, I don't know how Cody doesn't win or does win, does win. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, but so if Cody does win, I'll ask you this, 
where do we go with Roman? Does Roman do the rumored time off and just kind of goes away? I mean, especially if Dwayne's got to probably take time off for movies and everything. Yeah. So that's, it's going to be interesting. Even that's even the layers and what Triple H has even been talking about all weekend. And we even saw um, the rock talk about it at the scrum last night of this is a whole new era. This is a whole new ushering in. And the story continues on past WrestleMania. This isn't right. the end. This is just the start of another chapter. No, absolutely. And I mean, I think that, I mean, the question about the surprises was funny because, yeah, there's going to be surprises. Like, like, <laughs> but shoot your shot. Right. Um, yeah, Anthony, where do you want to go with that? Um, I, I do know The Rock was asked a question last night. Um, was there more matches in the future? And he didn't give a direct answer, but he didn't. But he also didn't give any indication that it was going to be his last match last night um so i i'm thinking we have the rock for a full another year i know there's rumors of him going to film a movie i think but um i i, I think we have the rock for at least another year i don't know full time maybe part time but i think we have the rock for about another year could he float in and out yeah i mean like especially with him doing a lot of like those twitter promos and that he could on set just cut a promo on whoever he's mad at Right. Um, and, and not be on TV for a while, get his work done, and then pop in and out. You right. Know, that definitely could work. Could you use that to say on the SmackDown after Mania or whatever, or maybe even on Raw? If we get somebody like uh, AGPW fan mentioned how we were talking about with Jacob Fatu and all that, if now Roman, we've seen him be a little bit annoyed with being overshadowed by Dwayne and everything. You use this to start to set the catalyst and the main event of 41 because Roman turns. Now I've got even more to back me and everything. He sends the rock off hurt and everything to go film a movie, what have you. And then you set up the main event for 41 and you've got a year to build it. When Then you can have Dwayne pop in and out. Mm -hmm. True, true. All right, let's see some of these ones. I need to acknowledge my tribal chief, Roman Reigns. There you go. This is, again, I feel like it's the first time in a, a few years that it was such a highly debated outcome. Like, I know last year, everyone, like, could Cody do it? Could Cody do it? But I don't think it was as heated of a debate as going into tonight. And I think that's a lot of what they've accomplished this weekend. Absolutely, absolutely. And I just like how it's perfectly laid out with us of me and Anthony throw up the ones and you're dead center in the middle of just boo. I'll do the rocks, I'll be out. Do the rocks <laughs> one. Uh Jacob Fatu about to murder Cody tonight. I'll, again, poppable moment for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I feel like that stadium will come unglued if Jacob Fatu is there. I feel like he's very well known in the wrestling world. So I feel like that stadium will come unglued when there's another mm -hmm. Samoan in that ring. Even if people don't know, they just like another Samoan. We know it's a Samoan screen. Exactly. <laughs> well, and that'll be interesting because we were here for Stand and Deliver and we saw, you know, Julia in the front row getting that whole black and gold treatment and everything. And there was a good reaction for her in the crowd and everything yep. to where she even looked surprised she got that level of a reaction. So especially like Anthony said earlier, this isn't just Philadelphia fans. This is wrestling fans in yep. mass. So they're going to probably, there's going to be a very large collective that knows who Jacob Fatu is and probably knows a lot of his matches. It was the, the, the face Julia had on was like the face that she won an award that she didn't think she was going to win. Yeah. Cause like she stood up very slowly and looked around and was like, is, did I really, is this for me? Is, is really, is this for me? I didn't even know I was nominated. Her, if you looked at her lips, she actually said, wow. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. I saw some people saying, oh, she looked, uh disappointed to be there. I was like, are you mad? She looked like a deer in headlights of like, like you said, like, oh my God, this, you, you guys know who I am? <laughs> like, <All right. laughs> Cody is winning. Jacob Fatu said to a lot of people that he's officially signed. I love that our, our sourcing now. He told some people he was at the bar. Well, I mean, <laughs> Jacob Fatu does kind of have a, a track record of just kind of saying, just marching to the beat of his own drum and everything. 
Right, right. So if there, if there's nothing until that man walks through the ropes or anything that you can say he's officially signed, I feel. No. That's what I like. I mean, until it happens. I mean, I was that way with Cody. Oh, I refused to believe it until the you know the lights dropped and Seth was standing there looking shocked. I was like, oh, okay, it happened. Right. <laughs> Uh, Sap saying Cody wins or we riot. Some people are going to feel that way for sure. Oh, yeah. They're going to be throwing their hot cocoa. Just boo, boo earns, boo earns. Right. Jacob Fatu is the, now this is a question for both of you guys. Uh, we'll throw it out to everybody. Jacob Fatu is the best in-ring wrestler of that entire family. True, Cody is F tonight. Is Jacob Fatu the best wrestler in the family? No, he's I, and I say that with all due respect, uh, because he's fantastic. He's super athletic mm -hmm. and everything. That man hits moves that a man of that size has no business hitting. But True. pound for pound, through every aspect of being a professional wrestler, it is Roman Reigns. It, it was him before he was the tribal chief gimmick. All of that. That's why he was pretty much the one pushed out there to be the guy. Yeah. And I've only seen Jacob for two Russell ones, and that was against Masha Slamovich at Wrestling Revolver. And that was that was one of the best matches I have seen in a very long time. I think even Jacob for two said like she hits very, very hard. Um, but um, I can't I can't give like a true answer because I've only seen one match with him. Um, but from that one match, I know he's very talented. He is very talented in that ring. I think with Jacob, you get charisma, you get like an ability to cut a hard promo, but also he's kind of the hybrid, right? Because he's he can fly like Jimmy and Jay. He can, you know, he's big and physical like Solo or Roman. He is kind of like the hybrid Samoan where he brings a lot to the table. I'm curious to see how it will transition to like a big stage if this does come to fruition. Um, but yeah, he, I mean, he's up there, man, and he's going to be an impact player. Yeah, but again, he does have a little bit like that that element to him, though, that it, what is part of what makes him great, but also could be a gamble with him being on a bigger stage is he's got a little bit of like, like that new Jack. Like he would have fit in amazingly in ECW, I feel, just because he does. He, he's got an edge to him 100%. Yeah, absolutely. Brandon, good to see you. Brother Fluff's in the house. AJPW fan. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All the new faces, all the old faces. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. And if you want, be a friend. Take this link, drop it somewhere else, and get people to over here to the Ross and Four Life Network. We're still about over an hour away from the start of the main show, and we're here all night long. We'll see how uh, how long we go before we kick ourselves off of this one. Am I the only one that was getting out of the computer chair last night and was just like, Lieutenant Dan, you ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think um, when I took my last like long break, I walked like around yeah. the house just to kind of stretch my legs. So after the end, I was actually okay. I was, but at first, like before that break, I got up and I was like, this is not good. Yeah. <laughs> No, get up and walk around. That's that's a fucking heaven sent. But I almost felt like the chair was going to come with me. <laughs> Even when I went to bed, I felt like the chair was still wrapped around my legs. <laughs> like oh, I can feel it. Phantom phantom chair feels. Right. Pause. Um, yeah, no, I did that little like Deadpool when he just got his new baby legs after he got the lower half <laughs> torn off and everything. I was kind of doing that walk. I was like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's ridiculous. Um, here's a good thought, and we've talked about this, I think, on this channel. What if Jacob shows up to go after Roman? What if Jacob shows up maybe with a couple other friends, but what if he comes in to say, how dare you think you're the head of the table? You don't even belong at this table. This is Baby my face table. Roman? Baby face Roman. Mm. Ooh. That, that's really interesting because, wow, yeah, where do you <clears> – <throat> with – yeah, shit. I'm just trying to think. That's not a bad way to make Roman a baby face. You'd have everybody. You have that. You have your. You've talked about it for the longest time. Your trade day moment of yeah. everybody. You see everybody behind him, and they just turn. What if it's a rock led, in you know, a rock led militia against the bloodline? Well, everybody just takes out Roman, or especially if that's if say Roman does lose, okay. and then 
Cody's goes up the tunnel and everything. Now, granted, that poo poos the story, takes over the way away from the story, but I mean, it's Dwayne. Um, and then you have that you failed us. You're no longer the tribal chief. I am the final boss, and that's when you get that moment. So, if if it's like uh, like a bloodline versus bloodline thing, who would be on the rock side? Well, that's the interesting part. Would it be like a Jacob? Would it be? Could he? Would he turn a solo or a Jimmy? Like Roman lost the title, and now this is you know he's no longer the head of the table. I am. Yeah. Follow me. Does he just hijack everybody? You get a Lance. You get maybe a a Tamatanga. Well, that's the thing. You could have. You could literally do a six man tag of you could do yep. Roman, Jimmy, and Solo versus Dwayne, Jacob, and Lance right there. Yeah, facts. True. True. Okay. Stone Cold. There, oh, go ahead, Nick. No, I was just gonna say there is the potential. Like we've yeah. talked about, there is enough. Samoans and enough in that family tree still floating around, and especially lately though that have been talked about potentially coming to wwe and talks and everything Mm -hmm. you know so it could be interesting yeah again uh, completely uh, like i mean a little more of a reach for that one but i I love the fact that we could sit here for the next two hours just spitballing fantasy possibilities right zilla well speaking of a fantasy possibility that i know i think you both mentioned uh do you guys think damon priest cashes into his money in the bank uh tonight so my first theory didn't happen it was off the wall you know but Mm -hmm. my second theory was that drew wins and then damien cashes in if if we go over the past couple of months i mentioned this on a previous live stream that um the person that has stopped damien priest from cashing in has always been drew mcintyre and this could be the get back (laughs) This could be the TNA Moose moment at Bound Ooh. for Glory at WrestleMania. Uh, Damian Priest comes out, cashes in that Money in the Bank contract on Drew McIntyre, wins it, and he he's the one holding that title high um, at the end of the night, even though it's not the main event, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. I like it. I like it. I do. It's got legs. It's got legs, Nick. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Not Deadpool. Well, I, I was. It made me, for whatever reason, I was thinking about Drew and everything, and about how they showed him the video last night, uh, or at least I saw on Twitter of him yeah. in the CM Punk hoodie and everything. And then we were talking about the Young Buck situation earlier, and I'm like, the only one that's going to enjoy that footage, I feel, or enjoy it the most, that then wins out yeah. in that situation is Drew McIntyre. He's Drew got nothing. Be- You're giving him 20 minutes of promo material right there. Drew should break out like his person, like. I have footage to see him punk. <laughs> Beat him to the punch. <laughs> yeah, fuck. But um, yeah, Damian could cash in. They lost that tag, the, the, the both sets of tag titles last night. We've seen the tension between him and the Judgment Day. I wonder if he attempts it. The only caveat and the only thing I've said against a successful cash in is if it's the Judgment Day that cost him the cash in. Yeah, because that mm. might be his baby face turn moment here. Because right. do we get vibes that anyone else in Judgment Day could turn baby face? I mean, Rhea's kind of already there, but I mean, beyond yeah. that. No, I, it, it would take an act of God to make um, <laughs> Dominic Mysterio <laughs> baby face. Because <laughs> people hate him. <laughs> yeah. No, he needs uh, a hope and a prayer to get the fans behind him. Mm. Uh You'd have to you'd have to bring in like Jericho or Don Callis to feud against to even hope for booze going the other direction. But um, yeah, I mean, again, if there ever was a time, I know people have been a little impatient with the cash in. Why you looking uh, at me? I like the idea <laughs> of Damien. <laughs> I would never. Uh, I like the idea of Damien stealing the cash in tonight, having that crazy WrestleMania moment that nobody expects, and then. You still have you can do the comeback at, in Scotland. Yeah, in front of his home, you know, town crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could see it. I could absolutely see it. I, I'm holding out hope that we get maybe like a Sheamus versus Drew in Scotland. I, I just want to see yeah. Drew at the belt, and I guess especially since he had and was built up to have his moment at 36, which can we all just kind of agree was probably the worst WrestleMania, just because no yeah. crowd. Um, 
to now really get that moment. And I know it's he's the heel and the over heel instead of the over baby face, but to have that huge moment in front of a huge crowd, it, it kind of fits. Rents then granted, you rip it away. I'm pitching I'm pitching Roman wins, so you're just presenting the same thing I am, just in a different match a bit. Yeah, but in the same breath that I really, really pushed for Sammy to get his moment last night, I think the uh Drew might have really earned like he's been cooking as of late, and I feel like him winning tonight is kind of earned, to be honest. Yeah. Have you heard that he's low key resigned? I mean, I think that was a foregone conclusion. Oh yeah, but... I, di- I did hear that. I think it was also negotiated with a, a very lengthy title run. There you go. Yeah, but we didn't say when it started. Right. <laughs> uh, Christopher loving Anthony's idea. I've been saying that, Anthony. There you go. There you go. So. Yeah, no, I mean, Anthony's, I really liked your idea from last night that could shock us. Like, there's Seth laying there at the end of the tag match and Drew comes out, but that was the Rock moment, the Cody moment. They were going to focus in on that. So can we get it today? I kind of hope so. I have been. Hornswoggle pins the Rock to become the real people's champ. Right. (laughs) Well, I like this one. Uh, Steven Seagal helps Cody win the title after he eats uh, almost all the bloodline members. (laughs) (laughs) Darius saying, you already know Roman Reigns for the win tonight, so get your ones up, absolutely. If I keep doing that every time somebody says it, I'm going to get my arm sore. I don't know, Darius. Well, we got Jesus in here, so he can bless us. Um. Golf, go fishing, I guess. Uh, they should strip Logan Paul of his belt. Why, sir? Why? Why is that? Right. Do now, we what was wanna... our... Sorry? Yeah, you read my mind. Let's well, do I was going to say, do we want to go through predictions? Or we did also have the Slammies announced earlier today. Do we want to run through those as well? Let's do the predictions. We'll remind everybody who we think is going to win. We'll have a little fun, see how the chat's feeling early before we get going. And then, yeah, maybe we'll talk a little bit of uh, who won what at the Slammies. I did catch most of it this morning. God bless you. the entire thing. Any part of watching that, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, you might be a a glutton for punishment when you do 12 hours and wake up the next morning and start watching more. You're like, shit. (laughs) Man, set alarm clocks to watch (laughs) the Slammies. I was like, should I go live? I don't know. I'm feeling kind of spry. (laughs) Right? But so for night two, what allegedly, potentially, I feel kind of should open the night is Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship. And now Seth obviously clearly kind of banged up and probably re-aggravated, re-injured the knee a little bit. Okay, mm-hmm. um, last night, does that play into this? And like Drew said, of you should have never gotten involved. Drew wins. Drew wins because... Again, if he loses clean tonight, uh, coming off Cody already doing double, uh, Cody Seth doing double duty, that's not a good look. Where, where do you do with this guy? As hot as he is right now, you, you maybe save him for Punk, but man, do you devalue him losing to a beat up Seth Rollins? So, unless there's shenanigans, this is Drew's match to win. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like there's or see any other way. Of Seth winning. I, I think tonight is Drew's moment until it's stolen from him. Does CM <laughs> yeah. Punk get involved since he's at commentary? They might bump him. I was going to say physically, no. Verbally, yes. That's what I think. Mm. Now, side question. I know we're doing predictions. Predict mm-hmm. this. Does Punk reference the news from AW today on commentary? Probably not. He doesn't do it sly? Just get a slick line in. Could I if at most, at most, he might drop one of those, you know, where the people who don't know are like, what did that mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, if he wants to be sly, he might get a little sarcastic backhand, but they're not going, they're just gonna they're yeah, acting like not made made up around with that. Sorry. Yeah, like they're gum on my shoe. I think it'd be more of a directly indirect comment um about that if if he does say something. Well, and is it one of those moments to where it's the a day, don't do that. This isn't the time for shit like that. You know, punch up, don't punch down. 
you know, we don't need to get involved in that, especially WrestleMania. That becomes the talking story throughout WrestleMania evening. But yeah, Drew has yeah. to look completely different. Other yeah. Else. Yeah, I think you just want to focus on what you're doing. Like, look at, you know, Triple H comes out last night for the his portion of the media scrum, and it's best Raw in history, best SmackDown in history. Fucking 75,000 people there yesterday. Like, uh, you're packing the place tonight. That is, that's really their thing. Like, that's what their focus is. And I, I mean, I think that's the best advice that could be given to Tony Khan is, if you want to be like the WWE, be like Triple H and just focus on you, bro. You right. got this. Well, you and know, I like, Sorry, go ahead, Anthony. I was gonna say I feel like the only time like WWE directly makes a comment about AEW, it's always outside of the show. There's sometimes that it has happened on the show, but the majority of the time, it's outside of the show that's going on. Uh, well, and I was actually about to mention that to where like you both were pretty much saying it crosses over of uh, to where. Paul pretty much said on his interview on the McAfee show of we're competing with ourselves. So yep. take that philosophy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, how many, you know, what were your, your analytics like in 2023? Were they better than 2022? Is 24 trending better than 2023? If not, what are you doing about it? Compete against you. Try and beat your numbers. What can you accomplish that you didn't accomplish the previous year? Because if you're going to keep looking at the giant, they had a they had a 35, 40 year head start. Relax, just do you. You'll get where you need to go if everything is as great as you say it is. Right. Absolutely. I mean, you can even take um, TNA as an example. They they started off really really good, and then they started to focus more on what WWE was doing, and it took a tank to the point where it was about to be out of bit business. And now it's somewhat of a resurgence because Scott Demore, when he was with the company, I'm still bitter about that, but he made it, made a focus and a point that this is going to be about the talent and building back impact wrestling up to, you know, where it was. And now it's back to TNA. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but so we're all in agreement that drew wins. Yeah. The thing yeah. you both, do you want to lock in a cash in prediction or are we? I, I'm I locking in the cash in right. prediction. Oh, yeah. I, I'll go there too. I'm not as confident as Anthony, but I'm definitely, yeah, I want to see a, a cash in here. Let's go. I'll say if we do get one, it's failed. I'll That's say fair. that. That's fair. That's yeah. fair. It's um, a high possibility, bro. Right. And. I want to bring up this match next because I've seen a fair amount of people talking about it and talking about a point um, that we saw and we were kind of surprised with last night in another match um, with Logan Paul versus Randy Orton versus Kevin Owens for the triple threat for the United States Championship. Who do we got? This is one of the hardest matches of the entire weekend to predict the winner, in my humble opinion. Absolutely, absolutely. There, there, there's two matches I think actually that tie into, or two moments I should say that tie into this. Austin Theory and Grayson Waller winning the SmackDown Tag Team Titles, and the backstage interaction before Sammy went out for his match with Gunther between him and Kevin Owens. Yes, could could, could they recreate that? Hmm. I know somebody mentioned it in the chat of like the Benoit uh, Guerrero moment where they, you know, they both got belts and they're hugging it out. Um, could they recreate that between the two best friends here? Possibly both mid card titles. Yeah. Uh, it's so tough though. I think, I think Logan Paul keeps it. Logan Paul gets pinned on his own logo. I mean, uh -huh. Shit! If you don't want to end up like Logan Paul, make sure you drink your prime from the hydration station that they kept throwing everybody into in the corner. Fuck you know. But I um I think I'm gonna change. I'm gonna switch Ooh. up because I had Logan Paul retaining. Okay. Um, I am going <laughs> to go with Kevin Owens to win. Did I just after that you moment? Won't... After Ooh. that moment last <laughs> night, I was thinking maybe, maybe they. Um, maybe they give it to Kevin Owens. So I, I, I'm gonna go with Kevin Owens, changing the guard here. Uh, uh, Logan Paul's losing. I honestly don't even know what my original prediction was, to be honest. Um, I feel like I almost have to take RKO just to make it, you know, that uh, everyone gets one. Well, no, yeah, but I'm 
I can see where Logan wins and you have him as U.S. champ paired up with Austin Theory and Grayson Waller, and you have that little kind of trio mm -hmm. running around, running roughshod. But could they be working to try and get him his title back? Does Logan have to take, you know, get caught up with Jake's fight for on Netflix with Tyson and everything? Um, so he could have other ups, outside obligations. And I do really like the brotherhood moment with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Got to go Kevin Owens. Yeah, I almost feel like uh, I've been convinced at this point that we all should go Kevin Owens. <laughs> you I'm look gonna, like the man. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to betray my own kind here. And uh, I'm going to stick with Logan Paul. I think with the show in Cleveland coming up, I so, think that um, – the idea that Logan's going to be on Netflix with the U.S. title on his shoulder, standing behind his brother, walking out for a Tyson fight. I just feel like Logan has been good, and I think he could keep going. Now, does he need the title to be good and play the character he plays? Maybe not, but I'm going to back him. I'm going to go Logan Paul on this one. He's going to have a big old celebration right on that Prime logo. We're going to get the fucking drone shot of him with the belt over his head and Randy and KO laying down, you know, with the Prime logo between them. Does KSI come out dressed as the Prime bottle again and everything? Probably. <laughs> you yeah, could, but probably. that's the thing is you could 100% make a case for, I think, either of those two men. I think, oddly enough and sadly enough, Randy Orton, I, I he'd be the surprise pick here, honestly. He might just go from this to a world title match. Randy True. could win. <laughs> that's the I, well i know he could it'd be yeah. a complete surprise though i think i think it's a hard case to make yeah i think he's fallen into the back of the 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 three here like really good reasons for ko like the reason for randy winning is it's fucking randy like that's right, about it. right. <laughs> uh what's next uh la knight versus aj styles I dun, think dun, this, dun. Yeah, I think this is easily LA Knight. I yeah. think LA Knight's gonna have that moment at WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah, all the way. He snaps into a slip gym and snaps <laughs> AJ Styles. Stabs him in the eye with one. But yeah, well, I mean, Christ, he might have there when they were fighting at you know uh uh WrestleMania world and everything like that, where they were just brawling out literally when I see what's on site. But yeah, this has gotta be LA Knight's big WrestleMania moment. I like Does it. that one feel oddly predictable-ish? I mean, granted, I wouldn't be completely shocked if AJ won. Now, granted, isn't he debuting a new theme song yes. tonight? Yes, apparently. Anthony, as the TNA expert, does he go back to his <laughs> TNA Lone Wolf theme? He said that we would be very surprised of his theme song. So it, it, it would be. Uh, if there's a working relationship between WWE and TNA, a very, very surprise of him going back to his old lone wolf theme. That's very interesting. Yeah. Now that we're buddies, can we borrow that tune for a couple weeks? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we sent you somebody. You sent us somebody. <laughs> yeah, I think, again, I think this is another example of a match that could go either way. Like, I know some fans out there, oh, LA can't lose. It will ruin his career. Losing to AJ Styles at WrestleMania does not ruin your career. Um, he will survive. And other people are going to say, well, AJ can't lose. Like, I mean, he hasn't been that hot since he's returned. Maybe he needs this. I think at the end of the day, he's going to be fine. It's really, I, I could see it going either way. But I just, LA Knight needs that moment. The crowd's going to go crazy. Yeah. Well, this is an interesting theory. AJ Styles beats LA Knight with the help of Tama Tonga. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, you never know. You never he has know. got rid of the OC. Could happen, could happen. I think Tomo might end up more with being partners with the OC than helping out AJ. Could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that one's pretty straight up. Right, right, right. Waiver? What's now? Anybody going to waiver from AJ no. Style or from no. LA Knight taking this? No. I can't it even say the man's catchphrase for that. I go, yeah. <laughs> it does lend to your thing of uh, a baby face heavy show. Just say so you pull the rug out from everybody. <laughs> Get your hot cocoa, your chicken nuggets, your, your blankets, your, your sweaters, your space heaters, all of that, because you're, you're gonna be crying some tears. This that's gonna be the sponsor for that match. 
since we had we're sponsor heavy last night and everything, right. the sponsor for the main event's gonna be Kleenex or Puffs or something. <laughs> Not dude wipes. No. Oh, you <laughs> <issue? You're Pause>. <laughs> <laughs> if you need dude wipes, you got after that match, you got a different problem. Right. <laughs> Where are right, we going so, from there? EO Sky versus Bailey for the WWE Women's Championship. If Bailey doesn't win, y'all might see me cry on here. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bailey, Bailey, I know we got into a heated like debate when we yep. did our prediction preview show, but I really believe Bailey needs this win. Uh, I'm not changing. It's it's Bailey all the way. Oh, that, this has to be Bailey. I'm already gearing up to sing, you know, hey Bailey. Ooh. Ah, I want to know. Will you be Why my did girl? you lose? <laughs> uh, <laughs> nah, you can have I'm that. Going EO. Nah. I'm going EO Sky all day long. Um, I like what Damage Control is doing. I know they lost last night as a, as a trios. EO wins this to keep the validity of Damage Control. They're still a formidable faction. And I love EO Sky. So. Bailey will be okay, but sorry, not tonight, Bailey. Ooh, bold strategy though. Like that's the thing is, where, where do you go past that though? Does it does it become a Bailey team up with Destiny's Child and then Eo Sky that's, with Damage Control? That's kind of that's why. Or is that, that where we're going? If she does lose tonight, is that where we're going? Headed to SummerSlam. Right, no, the, I, war games. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> oh, that is true. War games, yeah, because I know he likes to kind of build those stories out months in advance for like war games. So, yeah, I didn't even think about that. War right? games, right? But that's my take on it is that, yeah, I think if very much damage control versus Destiny's Child with maybe the help of Bailey, I'm not saying she can't win it at Backlash or somewhere else, but I think. Eel holding onto that belt keeps damage control a little more relevant and doesn't knock them further down the peg. Is that the women's tag team belts that everybody was clamoring for and wants push and wants in matches and everything? Not quite. It doesn't work out that way. Not, not, not exactly the same. Not exactly the same prestige, I don't think. Um, again, another match that you can flip a coin and be right on. I mean, I'm outnumbered on this prediction, but... Yeah, I'm. I, I'm. I think part of it is just blind fandom of uh, EO Sky. So let's bear with me here. But see, <laughs> well, the thing is, when it comes to WrestleMania, sometimes blind fandom actually pays off a lot better than actually trying to put any logic behind shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you just got to go with your gut, and your gut ends up being right. Right, right. Some of the fans need to learn how to. No, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> uh bailey 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 i don't see any eos did anybody say eo what's up john what's up mdb we, brandon bean we got I don't one see eo down one there. eo bonkers is with me yeah bonkers. that's because that's what you are to pick eo yeah. bonkers there you go <laughs> it's fitting just a little apropos, but I will remind everybody right now, we do have the Super Chest and Super Stickers as well as we're running through the predictions. We're kind of talking about we're kind of, the chat's already hot and heavy as we've got almost 100 people watching with us. So we're still not even an hour away from the pre-show or from the start of the show. Um, but so we do have the Super Chats, the Super Stickers, the memberships, all that. So you can make sure you get your comment right in. Just help support us. Absolutely. But so we got... Two matches left here because we had seven matches last night. We got yes. six, to, which means some of these are going to get some time here. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then we've got the pride of Bobby Lashley, Dawkins, and Ford taking on the final testament of Cross and Occam and Razor. Has Karrion Cross got a win in a very long time? <laughs> I don't think he has. I think it's been years. I Has did. any of these men got a win in a really Valid. long time? <laughs> maybe Bobby Lashley. I don't. I don't know. Out of all the teams, maybe Bobby Lashley. Um, but I'm surprisingly going with the Final Testament. I've been a huge Ooh. fan of Karrion Cross for a very, very long time. Was there when he returned in Greenville, South Carolina, and no one cheered, and someone next to me <laughs> said, "Oh my God, that's Finn Balor." Um, so uh, I'm going with the Final Testament. I think. I think they need this win tonight. Mm. I'm gonna you go sure? with you. 
I'm going to go with Anthony, man. I'm going to steal everything he just said and repeat it. So, <laughs> well, well, it's literally it's a case of this is the most coin flip because both teams need a win here. Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's Bobby and the Prophets. Um, you have a former world champion. I know that at this point he hasn't been really booked recently like that or anything, but I'm riding with a lot of baby face wins because we're going to have one really big heel win. <laughs> <laughs> the entire night we just go through an entire baby face run the fans are cheering at the top of their lungs the entire night to the very end and they go dead silent <laughs> bro think about it the most well yeah the most real heel wins that we got last night was um Were waller you? and fury winning a tag team title and the bloodline went in the main event everything else was theoretically i know becky and Rhea's technically the other way around but pretty much everything else pretty much straight through is baby face wins and we have a strong potential of everything tonight outside of drew so you bookend it with heel wins technically but it'd be pretty much damn near straight baby face wins there you go i mean you yeah. might be right dude you could be onto something or i could be completely wrong the world may never yeah. know I'm well they will in about the six seven hours <laughs> <laughs> i'm leaning in that second option of completely wrong but hey yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I, I'll be the first one to admit it. But yeah, I'll just go with Bobby and the Prophets here. Either side technically really needs a win. Like you both have said, Cross really has not had a win even through much of this feud. I don't, I couldn't tell you who literally has had a win or loss in any of these matches building up yeah. to this. They've been so indifferent. And most of them have been like no contest, brawl, finished, uh, you know, just tomfoolery every time the, these two teams get together I, like i admit out of every match on the card this is my least interest of any match night one or night two can we yeah. respectfully call it the piss break match i hope it's the street fight makes it more entertaining we don't have to go pee well we had what was it mdb saying that he thought it was going to be the match that steals the show and especially with it being that street fight that does kind of Lead into that. You could be going for that break and end up getting taken out by Bobby Lashley getting thrown into you or something. Facts. Yeah, MDB did say that it's going to be, could potentially be match of the night. Um, That's a bold statement, but I don't see it. But so we are down to the main event of WrestleMania 40. <laughs> I think we've already given our answers Wait, away for this. Weren't they on Revolver already? Who I know? Different main event, my bad. Let's go. Oh, I'm like, what? No. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Again, went over my head. Every time I hear that name, I don't think of the team, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> but Roman Reigns, your tribal chief, the head of the table, the needle mover, your reigning, defending, undisputed. I'll go full Heyman here. Um, versus the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Got to finish the story. My daddy, my daddy, my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, those were drastically different intros <laughs> yep because <laughs> there's drastic differences between these two men even though I, I i'm still wavering i'm standing on ground roman reigns walks out of wrestlemania still undisputed wwe universal champion I really feel like Cody should get Becky's entrance from last night and come out through a book. <laughs> <laughs> Just the last chapter. It's <laughs> Just the last chapter. Or does uh, he get a baseball reference because, you know, uh, well, where Chris got chewed out because he was asking about it being in the third inning. It is. Just as a bottom of the ninth and everything pulled up. Right. Shit, that'd actually be pretty good. <laughs> if you build it, I will win. <laughs> right. Uh, the fucking field of dreams is what this is. Cody wins to shut everybody up. Fair enough. Cody for the win and finish the story that he deserves. He, Cody for the win. I'm with the crew. Uh, I'm with the last few people here. We're definitely going. I'm still on the Cody train, the Cody bus. I know it caught fire, but we're doing okay. Uh, I'm definitely. Um... <laughs> it's not a prediction. It's a spoiler. It's a spoiler. I just don't think. You can keep going with Cody. I think if he loses tonight, you're just like, fuck it. Pick a new hero. Where's, where's, can we KO for the title? I don't care. Like, I, I don't know if I can continue reading this book. My eyes are getting heavy. 
But what if that's when he gets into dashing Cody Rhodes? He's got to have the yeah, mask. <laughs> <laughs> he goes back to Stardust, baby. Right. I'm on the record. I will wear a fucking robe on stream tomorrow if Cody is not the champion come tomorrow. <laughs> da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. <laughs> is what's under it is the question. All right. That's the thing. Hello, lady. <laughs> Out of my fucking head. I was <laughs> I think I think um and I thought about this earlier today. I'm like, if Roman Reigns does lose, what does it look like with Roman? What does a WWE look like with Roman Reigns not holding the title? It's been three, what almost three years? Yeah, he's held that title. So what what does it look like? And I, I that's that's the scary part. Like, what does it actually look like without Roman Reigns coming out holding that title? It's into a whole new world. Like, right. I don't... <laughs> but do you have, I, I know people like to say, well, Roman's a part-timer and everything like that, but do you have as many main event spots that don't feature the world heavyweight title and everything that give these opportunities for other people to show on the main event and everything. If you've always got now, Cody's got to always be in the main event. Cause we just finished the story. We got to get that going. We got to keep going where we're going with here, there. Now he's, we are going to bring up how he's the workhorse champion. He's always got to be there. Right. But Drew's also always going to be there, too. So now it gets a little muddied on the main event, and everybody maybe takes a slide down a little bit. I actually think it's the opposite. I think Cody winning opens the door, and you know you have more consistency. Instead of having a Survivor Series without your world champion, Cody's probably going to be there. Instead of having a Royal Rumble without your world champion, Cody's probably going to be there. Um, and again, I don't think he should defend his title on you know SmackDown or wherever. Uh, mm -hmm. consistently i still think you keep the the title matches are prestigious but we did have a lot of pay-per-views and moments that could probably have used roman's touch um but i also think it opens the door to a lot of different challengers randy cody is a possibility even a ko cody would be fun they where roman's kind of walked through everybody already a roman randy a roman punk or uh, anything like that doesn't sound interesting it definitely sounds interesting I can't could you imagine Roman Punk. I haven't even put that in like interesting, but no, he's busy on the other show for now. For now, for now. yeah, there, there's still a draft that could happen. That's true. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, Foreshadowing. I, I have another question Does Cody, does the fans turn on Cody after this? Give it like you gave me what I want, so now I don't want it. The, does the fans start to turn on Cody? I did hear some boos last night. You know, oh. for Cody Rhodes. So, was the chase greater than his reign? Will the chase be greater than his actual reign as WWE champion? That's always your biggest concern with this. Yeah. But he's so popular. I can't believe that if he finally finishes the story and then people give up on him, I'm going to be right here on YouTube just being like, what the fuck do you want? <laughs> <laughs> but still, again, with pro wrestling especially the biggest question always to ask is then is and then what it's constant improv here it's just mm -hmm. and then what cool so he wins he comes out he has the great moment he does the motivational speech and everything oh i finally finished it and then what so then what's the next few going into that where do we go two months down the road where do we go three months down the road mm -hmm. that's the thing i think there's enough talent around cody especially if Roman is stepping back. Uh, and again, I think the first thing might be a Cody uh, Rock title match at SummerSlam, at Backlash, somewhere. Like, I mean, they really want to do well in these international shows, and then The Rock is definitely, if you can book him into one, yeah. and he's free for it. I actually think that will, will be where they go directly after. If Cody wins, The Rock's going to want a piece of Cody. He's the one that pinned Cody last night. Mm. But then if yeah. he loses to Roman, then he's got to get through the rock to get back to Roman. Nah, we've been there. I, I get what you're saying of if you <laughs> kick a man down so many times, it's going to be harder and harder to, you know, help him dust himself off and everything uh, a little bit. So if he loses here, how far down does he slide? But there's always still, we said this same thing after 39. Oh, how do we get back here? And we're, we're exactly back here. So if we kick him down again, how can we build him back up that way? Even make it somehow even bigger, potentially. Yeah, that's the question, I think. The biggest question, and I think that's why I'm leaning Cody in my prediction, is just will you be able to 
pull people back up when, you know, okay, he's going to have a rivalry with The Rock like last year he did with Brock Lesnar to kill some time. How long before people are like, fuck it, we don't care about your story. And Anthony might be onto something of, they might be getting there. Uh, a bit, a bit, a bit. True. Yeah. Could that... Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, could that lead to a, a heel Cody afterwards? I don't know. Ooh. Well, I don't know. He feels so that's, John Cena-ish. Yeah, that's. I think that's treading into dangerous territory with the heel Cody. John Cena was Superman. Cody Rhodes is a politician. Uh-huh. He can turn heel. Uh, I I feel like you you could start to spin, and you do you'd have to do it creatively and cleverly, but you could start to really spin that. I feel it would take some time, but you could spin it. I I think it'd be harder to turn John Cena heel than it would be to turn Cody heel. Probably, um, not inaccurate, but I mean, if Cody wanted to be a heel, he'd still be an AEW because he. <laughs> no, there's multitudes of reasons with that. that that's all right. Statement, Jesus. <laughs> I can't see Cody being a heel anytime soon. Uh, valid. I'm not saying it's going to be right out of the gate, but I could see to where you start to see the cracks and, and you know everything form potentially. That facade starts to slide. If he loses, yes. Oh, if he loses, yeah. It might be the only option of like, screw it. I mean, I don't know, but at some point he's got to finish the story. Some would it be point. a would it be a Madison Square Garden show in the winter, like later in the year? Does the Hogan record matter? Which again, other people have pointed out, it's not really a Hogan record; it's a Bruno record. Um, yeah, again, I think for a lot of the matches we we went over tonight, toss a coin, boys. And that's what's really made this WrestleMania great is pretty much everything's been flip it. I don't know if Anthony froze or if he's deep in focus. Bit of both, I think. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, th there you could very much, very much make a valid case either way. Like, that's the thing is, I'll say this politely and respectfully, of even if Cody wins, I won't be, you know, devastated or anything like that. I will see where the vision goes here. I'll be sad if I don't get yeah. Roman Reigns on my television or anything like that. And it'll be interesting as hell, like Anthony said, of, you know, where do they go post a WWE year with no Roman Reigns for a bit, potentially. But either way, you look at this stop to the card, you know, from the bottom, you, you can flip it around either way and it will work. Are you back with us? I, I think so. I, I don't know what happened there. I might have to do a full restart before WrestleMania starts again. <laughs> yeah, you just had a little bit of a pause there, but uh, he, he's out there cold out there in Philadelphia and everything <laughs> like that. that. That cold 50 degree weather is getting to him. He's getting froze up. Absolutely. Absolutely. Big question here is Punk more over than Cody? Mm. Mm. Differences. Differences. I think they're pretty much there. Uh, they're tiptoeing that line, but there's differences. I think I think Punk is more over with the hardcore WWE fans. I think Cody is over with the kids and like the John Cena fan base, the kids and the some of the men actually too, because I've seen it on TikTok and on um on Twitter, but mm. uh, mostly with the kids and the women and, and some of the men. I think, but with. Uh, punk, it's more of the hardcore WWE fan base. I think that Punk moves the needle more than anybody in wrestling, with maybe the exception. I mean, we've seen what The Rock has done since his return, but it's the fucking Rock. Um, punk, what everything Punk does matters. I and mean, even look all this shit that's happening Adam Copeland cutting raw, raw speeches, um, you know, surveillance footage being leaked, like. This, uh, there's just, Punk's captivated the audience. For all the years they cheered for him when he wasn't there, his, his crazy run in AEW to coming back to WWE, he is so polarizing. But I think Cody is more loved mm -hmm. overall. Well, the, the thing with Punk, it's a little bit of this interesting and fitting that we have the rock back and everything of Punk's pretty much become stone cold steve austin here to a slight extent if not even to a different degree of you really never know what this man's gonna say 
he he's fully leaned into now. I don't give a shit anymore. I was already gone for seven years and I can go back just as soon as I got here. Um, he does seem super excited to be here, which is great. And him with that and attitude and everything that he had from before now motivated and ready to go, I think is a dangerous weapon for WWE to have in their arsenal. I, I think it's, like you even said of their ones loved versus ones, you know, technically a bigger draw. Anthony compared him to, you know, Cody to John Cena. It, it is kind of that different level there of punk gets over with the smart marks, with the, the guys of a certain vintage and guys and gals of a certain vintage and everything. Cody gets over with the true believers of, you know, superheroes yeah. and, you know, super baby faces and everything. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, Anthony's going to step away for a moment, folks. We're going to break this down. There we go. There we go. Right, right, right. So just us two. Um, yeah, no, I see what you're saying. Like, Cody's definitely, you know, again, he feels more of the the, the you know, uber baby face. He's out there, you know, shaking babies and kissing hands. I like this, Brandon Bean. <laughs> see if the Cat Williams of WWE. You get a star, sir. That's a great comment right there. Like Absolutely. It. I like it. I like it. Exposing everybody. A, a little bit, but that's the thing. As I said, that's what really captivates, and that ha brings back that attitude era. This is the merging of eras almost. Of it's, yeah. You've got a touch of that attitude era with a touch of that PG era, and it's, you know, Triple H is just back there chefing it up 100%. We're just letting this man cook. Right. No, I completely agree with that. I mean, I, again, what I think is done really well coming into this weekend and leading out of this weekend, a shit ton of intrigue. And again, you know, it's the stories, it's the angles, it's the characters that are selling the business. Absolutely. This is 100% story character driven. And not to mention the in-ring talent is fully delivering on that. And especially the in-ring product. Like, did you see people that were trying to say that the brain buster that uh, Sami Zayn hit on Gunther was a botch and everything like that? I didn't think it was. Um, oh, no, I know it wasn't because okay. uh, trust me, there were people even saying that, you know, El Generico would be super proud of Sami Zayn for hitting that brain buster on Mm -hmm. through and everything because that's what it was it was an El yeah. move. but there were some people that because you hadn't never seen it like before oh, seen anything okay. like it that thought oh did you see it? because it looks so impactful yeah and we even i know i recoiled when i saw it on stream of just holy shit they might have broke this man because it just looked that impressive mm -hmm. yeah because such a big man and again he, he like he purposely twisted dropped him on that turnbuckle it was so abrupt and like Gunther just folded. It was a great way and an homage as well. So, yeah, people are funny. Like, they were expecting, like, a, a Falcon Arrow and it didn't go well. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing. That's, Blue Thunderbomb. Well, it, it makes it great with wrestling like that when you have those moments of, holy, sh I didn't expect that, and you recoil, but everyone's still safe afterwards. That's the key goal is yeah. you leave the way you went in. Back. But you still have those moments to where everyone's, holy shit, can you believe he did that? Uh-huh. Cody's American Nightmare gimmick is crap. He does nothing with it. Glenn, I'm confused by this. Uh, I would argue that Cody lives his gimmick. What What is he not doing? I don't know. How do you feel about that, Nick? I would say as much as Roman Reigns comes off, as we've talked about it, of being his character like we saw at the press conference and everything, that's Cody Rhodes as well. Of you really, you don't know where the gimmick stops and the person ends. Yeah. Again, I, I think it's been a fantastic way. Yeah, I don't know what he could do to be more. Like, I, I don't know what we're missing here, uh, but I'm all ears, Glenn. If you got a follow up, but yeah, I think he he lives his gimmick. He is the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, and maybe he needs to be more heelish to be a nightmare. I don't know, but well, uh, it has that politician -y vibe to it in a little bit and everything. So, absolutely, Austin and Cena coming now. Lots of talk about this. Austin and Cena, I think we're going to get some people. That we saw a lot of people at the Hall of Fame as well. Um, the, the mankind on the pre-show is kind of killing me right now. Oh, I oh yeah, right there, right above. <laughs> Seth, right behind Wade Barrett. He looks like he just wandered in. Like I don't think he was planned and dressed like mankind. I think that man just looks like that in real life. It's Mick Foley um, trying to get the building. Yeah, well, <laughs> there could be surprises tonight. 
I don't want, and we've always tiptoed this line of you get built up and you get hyped up of, did you hear they might do this? Did you hear they could do that? Yeah. But if they haven't done anything, don't, you know, sell the farm on something that you don't know is going to happen here. Don't sit there and get super convinced mm -hmm. because of a narrative you made up that they have to do that now. Yeah. If Austin and John Cena don't show up tonight, I'm great. I'm good. Yeah. I know I was holding up the, the the scarf and everything like that. The joke and rumor of, you know, MJF's going to show up and everything. Well, if yeah, MJF doesn't show up, I'm minute. still going to enjoy the show. Yeah. No, I completely agree. And we will talk about the MJF thing. I just saw it in the chat. I was like, oh, well, we'll save that for a moment. Oh, um, I agree with you. Uh, Cody can't have too much help with this match tonight if he wins. He, you want it to be relatively clean and based on his merit. Using outside people to clear the path is I'm okay with. If a if a Jay shows up to take out Jimmy, if Solo gets stopped by somebody, great. But the actual beating of Roman has to come down to Cody. Um, so I do agree with that, and more so, I don't. We don't need to overbook it. Like having people from the past, like Stone Cold and, and Cena, come out to go after the Rock. I don't know if that story is exactly on the platter. I mean, if Triple H was healthy enough or in a place where he could come out and hit a pedigree on The Rock because he's messing with Cody, that would be dope. But I, I don't think we can pull it off. Yeah, I think maybe we might get away with a one one pedigree, but uh, at least um, a punch or a punch. Yeah. Um, but does that not overshadow everything? I know you were kind of halfway talking about it with like Cody's going to get overshadowed. I, I've said that. Well, I feel Roman's yeah. been overshadowed a bit. But if like Austin hits a stunner, if that's actually a thing on Roman and that's how Cody pins him, you, you might as well throw that, you know, book in the fucking bonfire here, I feel. A little bit, right? It's it's just an unnecess unnecessary addition to the whole situation. Right. Uh, Glenn, back at it. Uh, it feels like the American Nightmare gimmick should be more vicious where he hurts down his enemy. Hunt down his enemy, not hurt. Um, no, I, I guess, but the, the I guess so. We should. He, he kind of played off the American dream. Like, what are we going to do here? Yeah, he, he's the American nightmare, not the American predator. Um, right, the American psycho. 100%. Well, he's not Kazarian out there. Remember when he was the elite killer and how'd he work out with hunting people down? How's that right. going for him? Yeah. Oh, no, I think Cody lives his gimmick. He, he's his, the same guy wherever he goes. It is what it is. I think it's perfectly fine. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I think it's going to happen because Melter did not report it. Facts. Uh, if Joey Swole or Mick Foley had a baby, would it be called Mick Swoley? <laughs> Thanks for being in the chat, MDB. <laughs> Ryan Mans is out here with all the dad puns. Joey Swole definitely a mania. Besides the main event tonight, what matches are you looking forward to the most? Mine is the street fight. Karrion Cross is so underrated. His promos are phenomenal. His packages, that sounds horrible. Was. His packages are phenomenal. Was. His promos are pretty good. I like him. I like the entrance. I like the gimmick. I'm not really sure how I feel about the Final Testament yet. Um, and, and to be honest, the Street Fight might be my least anticipated match. I'm really excited about the U.S. title match outside of the main event and EO and, and Bailey. Fair enough. I'd go main event, world title match. And I get that too, yeah. Bailey versus EO. I think that world title match is going to be really, really good. And especially if it does kick off the show like we did last night with Becky and Rhea. Uh, now, is it interesting that I think somebody had mentioned this before of it was like the year before to where Seth had. Um, or no, it would have been two years ago to where Seth opened a mania and then Becky main evented it. And then yeah. now we've got to where Becky's open a mania and Seth main evented it. Facts, right? That's funny. Uh, the build-up to the final match um, is so high. I'm not sure it will live up to the hype. I have no doubts it will be great, but an all-timer? I think if you have that moment that Cody does win it and, and there's pyro and we're going off the air in that and everyone's going to put it way up at the top of the list. Um, I hope it lives up. There's a lot of possibilities here. So I, 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 I think it's high, but I think the people delivering on the final product are going to kill it. But it, it, well, it does, I guess, pun intended, since we were talking about the the 
uh, street uh, street fight and everything. It does walk that Occam's razor of, you know, on one hand, do you go into it of having the um, living up to that expectation of setting that expectation of it's got to be one of the greatest matches of all time versus going into it just blind and letting it develop into that match. Yeah, and I mean, I think a lot of times that, you know, I'm, I think this generation in particular is very guilty of, like, it didn't meet my expectations. Well, well that's, you, that's a you thing. Who set the expectations? That's your fucking problem, <laughs> not them. Well, to, to a degree, to a degree. Right, to a degree for sure. We're supposed to be excited. We're supposed to want it. Again, if they get to whatever the finality is, but they do it well, I mean, and we saw it last year, Nick. People were very happy about night two of WrestleMania until Cody lost, and it was the re- worst WrestleMania ever. So, again, there's that level of silliness involved with this as well. As we got Drew. I've got Drew right now. But, yeah, I feel like people were really excited with last night until that Jimmy and Jay match because, respectfully, that did not live up to the hype of a WrestleMania match at all. No. That was a super kick party. That was a Samoan super kick party. Yeah. uh, Somewhere in the neighborhood of, like, 35 super kicks. And it... I was fine with that portion of the match. It just felt like there was another gear that they should have clicked into and they never got there. And that was my disappointment was it it just was a very flat match. Absolutely. Sorry. I saw this one. I wanted to come because Emil agree with me of last night was infinity war. Tonight is end game. Then we get Samoan (laughs) civil war. (laughs) Here we go. Here we go. But uh, yeah, welcome to the channel folks. I will remind everybody. We're getting there. We're about 30 minutes away from the big show. Uh, It's going to be a fun one. We're here all the way through. After 12 hours yesterday, we're going to go probably six plus today. We are the channel that watches more live wrestling than anybody else out there. So make sure you hit like, share, subscribe. Rub that algorithm for us. Give us some love. Give us some love. Pause. Right? I just have to say pause to that. But... Guys, take on AW going to show backstage footage for all in on Dynamite. Guessing TK upset at Punk about the air interview. Yeah, I, I almost want to go back into it, but I'll say Steven, especially because it's WrestleMania weekend. And I find it interesting. Do you find it interesting that this all comes out and is all brought up? I feel kind of intentionally. I mean, I don't blame him for doing it intentionally of night two WrestleMania. We're going to throw this out there early, so this is going to get all the Twitter versus talking about it, all the podcasters, all the fucking TikTokers, etc. Probably part of it, for sure. Um, again, I think part... I thought that earlier, and then I realized when the Punk interview came out, but again, he they could have been spending the last couple of days trying to figure out, you know, what do we do about this? What do we we got to run through the VHS audit, tape. Right? I, it might be more of a coincidence that it came off of a fucking, probably a Saturday night bender, and they were like, we have the best idea ever. <laughs> but what uh, in the selfie chair is this? What the shit? So we have Alpha Academy out here with your cricket wireless chair that just has uh, a tablet in your seat so you can look at your tukis, I guess. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, I don't know who's signing up for the selfie seat. I, I don't need a perv chair. chair. I don't need a perv chair. chair. But yeah, I mean, this whole punk thing's a mess. And honestly, I said it to you earlier today, Nick. I'm almost embarrassed on their behalf because it just feels stupid. It feels ridiculous. It feels, and I know the 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 absolute punk haters out there. Well, why can he go out there and do say what he wants, and they can't do this? Interview. It's not the same thing. And I said it about Copeland, just like you just said. It was an interview. Copeland was wasting TV time. TV time's not free. We as fans want to tune in and see what you're doing on the show. I don't need some man. I'm already tuned in, and you got some man telling me I should watch. Well, I am watching. What are you yelling about? Well, and it has no correlation, no connection to anything that they're currently doing. You know how we're going to show? We're going to take away from our actual product that's drawing, that's attempting to draw people in, that's attempting to sell tickets, that's attempting to move the fucking needle here, and we're going to take time and focus on their guy fuck are we doing mm-hmm. it's 100 percent childish bottom well, line yeah and again if you had footage or you wanted to have you know more about the brawl for all or the brawl at fallout brawl for all 
Shout out Russo. Yeah. Um, then you had a time to do that where you could have made money on it. But now all you're doing is having people talk about the guy who's sitting at WrestleMania this weekend instead of your programming. It, again, you're going to maybe get a ratings bump because you're going to get all the people that don't watch curious. But that's it. You'll get a, a spike. And that's all it'll be is a spike. 100 well and you're gonna get a lot of people that talk about it on twitter and that's what even like the adam copeland promo and sh- was about is mm-hmm. you got a lot of people that talked about it on twitter and mm-hmm. everything that's it you didn't gain any viewers if anything you lost viewers before because of it like you said and we've all said of you had the opportunity to actually be adults be grown up about this handle this in-house and everything and sit there and make money and make this one of the biggest things this is which honestly would be the bigger fumble of them showing this actual legit footage if they do show that versus just it's a troll, which it could be, I think it is, or them not sitting there and actually, you know, taking the time and making business out of this to where they could yeah. actually have this be one of the biggest stories. If they, we've said if they had this feud going in, of you had Punk and FTR versus Kenny and the Bucks, this rivals whatever we're getting right now with Cody Rhodes and uh, Roman Reigns. Well, even with the rock there and everything, I would say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, it, it just, I, I just think there's so much that you could be working on. And I think for us, like for me as, as an AEW fan who has watched every minute of it, like you have, it's just frustrating because I, I don't want to waste the show on this shit. I want to see what your cool new free agents can do. I want to see what your pay-per-view is going to bring to my entertainment value. What are you bringing to the table as a wrestling promoter, as a wrestling booker that I give a shit about? I don't. So you, you put the footage out and then go, see, told you he was a liar. Then what? Then what happens? Exactly. Again, like we've said. Best case scenario. Right. Like I said, even earlier with everything we're talking about the, and then what it's, how do you follow that up? So what does that accomplish? Cool. Congratulations. Um, I know. I, I was gonna say, speaking of, and then what? <laughs> How you doing, sir? I think I'm back up and running, so hopefully no freezes tonight. Yeah, but you I'm found good. your cocoa. You're good. Yeah, uh, I, I found my cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> you're all set. You're, you're warmed up. You got your heat and blanket and everything. Yeah, I got all of that. I'm prepared. Right, right, right. But so, I will say, shout out to everybody. That even all the new names and everything popping in the chat. Um, I didn't know if you had anything you wanted to touch on as we're just over a half an hour before we go um, into the main show. I know we were just talking a little bit about the stuff again on Dynamite. Um, Did you have anything you wanted to touch on or maybe we get into the Slammies that were announced earlier today? Um, I think we can get into the Slammies. I don't um, I don't have anything. Uh, to talk about, we talked about Jacob for two. We obviously talked about how AEW always does stuff stupid. Um, so yeah, I think we just go. Yeah, 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 that. Now, well, I, I'll say this out of sight. Now, I've seen people throw out the idea of this is the way you bring Jack Perry back into AEW because there's obviously been the tensions and so on and so forth. Of he's been away for a hot minute. Um, you had the Bucks kind of call back out to him hey jungle <laughs> jungle boy love your work um so maybe this is a way to ingratiate him back in but yeah it's childish De- definitely childish it could be a way of bringing him back in but um the, i know the rumors going around is that jungle boy i think hasn't talked to tony khan in a in a very long time but um yeah it could be a way of bringing him back in fair 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 well oop. KJ letting us know from the great pause beyond uh, 100% Jungle Boys with Bucks. Now, do they have Jungle Boy with the boys? Well, no, they just let them go. CJ, what up, my guy? I think he's, CJ's actually there. He's saying, let's go WrestleMania Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. Yes. Mike Rouse, what up? MK, Samson, Daniel, everybody, everybody. But so, yes, the Slammies were on earlier today, oh. and they were allegedly supposedly fan voted on so they had male superstar of the year cody rhodes i have the winners i don't have who was nominated um i do that there, know that there was a bit of a controversy when it comes to one of these but we can talk about that when we get there mm-hmm. 
uh, female superstar of the year, Rhea Ripley, NXT superstar of the year, Tiffany Stratton, breakout superstar of the year, LA Knight. Any names so far right there with you feel like they shouldn't be there? Uh, no, I, I think that's pretty accurate. We had rivalry Roman versus Cody match of the year is to one that to me kind of stands out. And it's, it wasn't a bad match by any stretch of the imagination. I'm surprised it was there. I almost don't know if I it would be in consideration, at least Charlotte versus Rhea from last year's mania. Hmm. That's surprising. I really enjoyed the match. That was I thought good. it was a match of the year candidate. Um, that's that's shocking. There was some de- uh, really good amount of matches that were good last year, um, but Charlotte and Rhea match of the year. That's yeah. Well, I believe um, Sammy versus Roman at Elimination Chamber was also in that category. Maybe oh. that should have maybe won her. Our- um, we also did have social star of the year, Drew McIntyre, which that's where there was, you know, controversy um, to where Chelsea Green was. It was the slammy screw job here to where she should have won it, felt she should have won it. I, I don't know if she was actually announced and then it was retracted, but it ended up being Drew McIntyre winning it. Yeah, I did see that. And now, if you want to talk about someone getting the wrong award, I think I think that could have been Chelsea. I think Chelsea could have won that. She's she's been doing a lot of social stuff with WWE online. Um, I think that was Chelsea's award. So them playing it um, with Chelsea coming out, I think I actually just saw in the pre-show where Drew McIntyre said that Chelsea actually stole that Slammy away from him. Um, like he doesn't have possession of it. Um, wow. So yeah. I, that definitely should have been Chelsea Green. Drew did make a strong last minute push there of everything that he's been doing at Tories that showing up outside of Mindy's bakery and everything like that to where he, he probably should have been, if not a winner, at least, you know, pretty much the one a to the one B. Yeah. I think, I think it's more of that. He, he had a last minute push, but Chelsea Green's been running it um, for a hot minute. Um, so I definitely think it should have been Chelsea Green. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, he did also mention that he felt he should have had it should have been him, Sheamus, and Gunther won match of the year from last year's WrestleMania. That was really um, good. Yeah, that's I, that's I think that's honestly one that really should have probably won it. If we're especially if we're going just off of last year's WrestleMania, yeah. Yeah, that was really good. Um, you even had Gunther and um Chad Gable that has some really good matches as well. That's why I'm kind of shocked about Charlotte and um and uh, Rhea Ripley. If you're just, I, I don't know how they're basing it off of. I don't know if it was just from last year's WrestleMania, um, but there there were some outstanding matches last year that happened. Right. Well, see, money. I cannot confirm this because I don't know who the nominees were because I didn't stay up late or wake up early. I'll say that, or potentially maybe he, this man didn't sleep, just stayed up late. Um, how was that match not even nominated? I didn't even know that that match wasn't nominated for that award. That's crazy if it wasn't nominated. I'm trying to see if there were nominee nominees, which I'm pretty sure they were. Fair enough, yeah. But there was well, they had it a whole fan vote, but it was also like fucking probably 27, you know, potential candidates and everything. But faction of the year, Judgment Day, best entrance, Cody Rhodes, which some people were. You know, kind of saying, well, it should have been Bad Bunny because this man had a whole country. <laughs> yeah. Well, Puerto Rico, no, they're a, they're a halfway a country, I feel, respectfully. Because um, aren't they part of the U.S. too as well? They are part of the U.S., yeah. Yeah. Their territory. Yeah. Um, singing his whole theme song and everything. And that was just, um, that was the best Bad Bunny concert I've ever seen with a wrestling show involved. Oh yeah, absolutely. That was that was a definite concert there. Um, I'm surprised Seth Rollins didn't win that because there are a lot of times where the fans hijacked um Raw with his team. Um, so I don't know. Did Cody have a or did Seth or Seth actually have a better entrance and everything last night than Cody? Because they still hung around and were singing his song for quite a while after that. Yeah, they were. Um, I, I'm thinking that more could have been um Seth Rollins there mm. or Bad Bunny, like you said, because right. he had a whole concert at a wrestling event. <laughs> uh, 
oh my god moment of the year cm punk returning at survivor series i think not very fitting. yeah not debatable at all right and obviously return of the year cm punk i think those go hand in hand uh -huh. fan chant of the year yeah oh yeah that was all over social media all over the wwe shows absolutely yeah that that's it did did Yeet kind of Yeet should have made like a halfway last minute surge there? I feel a little bit. Yeah, yeah Yeet made a half. I, I actually think Yeet overtook. Yeah, close to the end of the year. Um, but, yeah, yeah. So it did take a surge close to the end of the year. I still stick with the tried and true. Why? But <laughs> I did also see this though, to where our truth had his own red carpet that he brought out and everything because they did all of this at WWE World. Yeah. And our truth this weekend is just living his best life, man. Yes, he is. This is he's on the run of his life right now, especially last night during that match when he was calling for the tag. Everybody was behind him. The crowd was behind him. He is living his best life this weekend. It feels so great to see a somebody that's put this much time and is like a Hall of Famer on multiple levels through multiple promotions and everything um, in pro wrestling just be so over like doesn't have to be you know there's no it's not fully truth the mania but it kind of feels a little bit like truth the mania and, and man gets over a tag in the middle of the match and i think that was his first win out of wrestlemania and to really have this whole moment and it's you know his weekend here it, it's just really great to see and it's whichever way on the on the fence you sit if you hate on our, on our truth i don't want to sit with you Oh no, absolutely. I think I think what R Truth is doing now is probably the best work of his career, second best to Lil Jimmy. Uh, because that was hilarious. That was some hilarious work. Um, I kind of want him to bring Lil Jimmy back, but if you don't like R Truth, I, I think you might need to go see a doctor about that. I don't think you like people then. Right. Like yeah, you got problems that we can't help you. Um Mic drop of the year, Paul Heyman, Rizzy winner, which someone's going to have to let me know what the definition on a Rizzy is. I, I don't um, know what that is either. I'm a, a little too, <laughs> I'm a little too old out here, I guess, with the hipping and the hopping and the bipping and the bopping. Um, <laughs> to where Seth Rollins won that villain of the year, Dominic Mysterio. I think that oh, might absolutely. just be boo of the year. Yeah, and Man, then it, trash talker of the year. Of, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Mm, I I guess so. I mean, but he's only really been back since January. But I, I are you I, counting Twitter? Okay, <laughs> okay, been, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, double yeah. time on Twitter. I forgot about Twitter. He was he was putting time in on Twitter too. Okay, that's valid. Yeah, but that's should valid. that go? That's definitely valid. Right. Uh, I can't wait to hear AJ Styles' new theme song tonight, Michael. So you, you're thinking we're going to get, you know, TNA Lone Wolf theme? I'm thinking I'm thinking so. I hope it's nothing Def Rebel. Uh, they're just can, – can anyone name a theme that they've made? Like, honestly, tell that, me one that's been good. Tell me that's one. That's a good one? Not without a, a collaboration from an established artist, because Def Rebel and Motionless and White, I think that's how you do. Say oh, that's the band. They, that they did, yeah, they did Rhea Ripley's thing together. Outside of that, no. Yeah, I really that. actually, I like Naomi's new theme when it's played on TV. When mm. I listen it through it um, through Spotify, it sucks. <laughs> Sounds good with an arena when I hear the headphones terrible. <laughs> I never thought I'd say I need CFO dollar sign back here. Right. Instead of, you know, I, I can't name a good CFO theme off the top of my head at all. Oh well, Def Rebel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Def Rebel. I'm sorry. Very Def good. Um, I like this stuff from David. Give me Jacob Fatu versus Oma Femi. God damn. You Ooh. might need to fucking reinforce the ray here. Yeah, that would be that. Who that'd be a hard hitting match. But as we're getting the the L.A. Knight showing up at AJ Styles' home footage here, um, but I guess speaking of unexpected visitors, 
who do you have that you think want just want on your wish list to be a surprise return, surprise debut, anything like that tonight? Not saying that there even needs to be, but who you got? Right. Like if you could fantasy book, who you got? If anything, I really would say MJF. Oh. I think that would. I think that would. Yeah, I know yeah, we have yeah, to call yeah, the, yeah. Uh, the the ambulance for you, but I think that yep. would bring the wrestling world like explode it. And I kind of want to see it. And I I also want to see a Tony Khan response after. So I'm gonna say MJF. That any anything outlandish, it would be MJF showing up tonight. Is that the ultimate? trump card that they could pull of ha well you're gonna pull this yeah well we pulled that um you could get with this or you could get with that oh uh, yeah that I, would be sorry go ahead uh, yeah it could be the ultimate response to them signing mercedes monet and will osprey we got mjf what you gonna do all, all your uh you know everybody's saying oh we don't know how to sign for agents can piss right off, uh, um says hunter but i likened it um like to KJ did. White. I likened it to KJ White. I like it to you. <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> I like it to you a lot. <laughs> but, but I said this to you, and I'll say this to you, Anthony, before I, I slide out of here before we're about to go live. Of uh, if MJF shows up tonight, and I know it's the hope against hope, it's the you know, Damien passed the hopium this way and everything. If that happens, I think it's comparable on the impact it could potentially have on pro wrestling um, to when Hogan showed up and turned heel in WCW. That may be an outside stretch, but I think on shock value, on impact, on ripple effect, I think it has that potential. Yeah. That, that's a fair point. You going to click the overlay? We already did. Okay, we're good. Oh, there we go. There we go. But yeah, no, uh, I think Nick's on to something again as far as the impact it would have if it happened. I'm still in the camp of there's no way, which will be good if it does because the surprise with it, I've said it many times, Anthony, I just want to see Nick's head explode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love you, bro. absolutely. I, w- I would love to see him freak out over MJF showing up. Right. Um, a lot of people still talking about Fatu online and what that means and will it have implications tonight? What will it bring, you know, beyond tonight? But, um, yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else. Like, Austin showing up would be a nice surprise, fun, scene of the same thing. Uh, we already saw Julia earlier this weekend. Right. I think um, I think with Jacob for two, um, I do think it might have some implications on tonight. Only because when I took my you know break i did go a little bit further and doing some research he was pulled from the gcw show that happened yesterday yes so could they've been rehearsing something leading up to tonight that's why they needed him oh dude i hate it because like i said i'm i'm backing cody rhodes as my pick for tonight and i feel like if you're putting jacob fatu or anyone else into the situation it's not looking good for Cody. Definitely not looking good for Cody. Yeah. So I, I'm interested to really get to this main event. Like, let, I'll kind of want to skip everything else and be like, can we just get to the main event? Because I want to see Jacob for two come out. <laughs> right, right. And uh, real quick, thank you for the super chat. The boys over at the Fantasy Faction, Cheap Pop and all our friends over there. We've been a part of the Fantasy Faction from day one-ish. And uh It's been a good time. So if you haven't checked them out, go over to Instagram. uh, Go to our Instagram. You'll eventually find them. But uh, they are out there. And uh, it's been a lot of fun being a part of the Fantasy Faction. I think we're like four or five time champs, uh, Cheap Pop, out there. But uh, it's been good. It's been good. So big shout out to all the boys and girls from the Fantasy Faction. For life. Uh, Tama Tonga. A lot of people still, I still think he's an NXT guy. Yeah, I'm with you there. I think he's more of an NXT guy. I don't think he's gonna come straight up to the main roster. Yeah, uh, we uh, will we see Lance as well showing up, fellas. Lance from Samoa. So yeah, Lance uh, on a on a Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, another one. I think I said that completely wrong. But uh, <laughs> another cousin, 
I mean, yeah, we could have the whole, you know, a Samoan SWAT team show up tonight and really change the whole dynamic of this story. I, I know what Triple H said. He was like, no matter what the outcome is, tonight will change everything. So it's it's really interesting to see what, what this man has cooking in that brain of his. And that's what it feels like. It has a plan. And I don't know if you saw the comments. Uh, Jade was interviewed and uh, she was asked, like, you know, was kind of how you were booked and what was happening with you in AEW, part of the reason you left. And she's she really put an emphasis on the head office. Yeah, the head office here, the structure here. That to like organize versus disorganize. Like there's a plan. The people are, you know, you have certain people to answer to. I think that coming out of this WrestleMania, especially with how successful this one feels so far, it, it really is that new age, that new era, that um, different approach. Yeah. Um, and I think uh, Paul Heyman, which I didn't see what Jade said, but I think Paul Heyman touched a lot, uh, touched on a lot of that at the Hall of Fame, like yeah. basically saying like, this is actually this locker room is actually being led for the first time in years. Um, and it seems like WWE right now has their um, head on straight um, backstage. seems like it's going very, very well. Um, and I feel like with AEW um, being, you know, rel relatively new, um, it is going to be a little bit of dysfunction in that in management and in the backstage. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, again, we've talked a lot in this pre-show about, you know, Wednesday's supposed to be showing this footage, some of the things that have happened in recent mm -hmm. memory. And I think the buck stops with Tony Khan. And, Absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, I know people hate to hear it, but CM Punk said he's, he's, a, he's a nice guy. Yeah. But he's not a boss. Right, right. He's a nice guy, but he's not a boss. Even when he was talking and he was like, you need to go handle that. And Tony Khan was like, what do you want me to do? Like, <laughs> what I do? Uh, what, like And literally, I've heard that in my my professional life. Like, I need yep. you to go do something about this. And they're like, what do you want me to do? So I, I kind of get where CM mm -hmm. Punk is in that, you know, um, area. But I don't know if choking the, the man out was a good, you know way to justify it but yeah I, I get where he's coming from well yeah and i mean again nobody really ever you know recommends choking somebody as a first option mm -hmm. i know some people were a little surprised that you know well i can't believe it got physical but i mean it happens people get in each other's faces all the time should it right. happen no but i mean i thought punk was being a little tongue-in-cheek when he said well i didn't punch him <laughs> right <laughs> But I decided to choke him instead. <laughs> right? I, I punched the other guys. It didn't go so well. Right. Uh, it's okay. Cody has assembled the best stunners for everyone and attitude adjustments for Solo. Mark my words. So everyone's still thinking maybe the attitude error comes back to haunt The Rock. I really don't see it. Ooh. Yeah. I, I, I don't. I, I'm Stone Cold, maybe John Cena. I don't know. Doesn't but... like Stone Cold and Cena coming out to help Cody. Almost to me feels like Vince McMahon booking, not Triple H booking. Absolutely. It does give you that Vince McMahon feel. I don't right. know if Triple H would pull that card. Uh, Rock pretending it was all his idea. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up at four in the morning and I knew what I had to do after two days of trending in the wrong direction. <laughs> But I also have to think about The Rock taking that spear from Roman Reigns last night. Was mm -hmm. that was that a legit mistake? You know, playing mm -hmm. on in the match, not like a botch, but a legit, you know, thing? Or was this playing up to something that could happen tonight? You know, even though they won the match. Yeah, I think there's, there's those implications have been put in there. Also, we talked about, you know, Seth looked pretty dejected. Was he, he disappointed did. in the situation? Does that play a factor in how things play out tonight? I love what they've done here. I really do. And I think that everywhere we look, we're like, that could work. That could work. That might mean something. This might mean something. And we're just guessing. We're all just guessing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Triple H planted a lot of seeds last night over the past couple of weeks. Um, where you have different scenarios going in tonight to a WrestleMania. And all of them work. But... We, we might not know what which one he is going to choose. Absolutely, absolutely. Post storylines for Cody with an L or a W, same for Roman. 
what do you uh what do you all do creative wise i think we touched on this a little bit earlier i think it's a mm -hmm. tough one because i do think there's enough enemies or rivals out there for for cody part of me wonders if roman has run his course and maybe we're just if it's just saving it for rock do we need the belt i i don't know the summer is going to be very interesting for wwe yeah um i think boston even mentioned that in the comments earlier about what if if roman retains what is really next and mm -hmm. i i never really went that far in thinking what could be next um does he just continue this reign of terror i don't know um is there something else for him to do I don't know. Um, there's more possibilities, I feel like, on the Cody Rhodes side than it is the Roman Reigns side. But uh, we'll find out. Well, here's my question for you then is if Cody does lose tonight, does he can like instantaneously just continue the chase? Or do we see it like last year where you kind of like wandered off and forgot about Roman for a while? Uh, good question. Instantly um, going back at the chase, maybe. I would like to see more of what they did with John Cena when he lost to The Rock the first time. It was like more of a redemption. Yep. They didn't really have that with Cody Rhodes. Like yep. he lost to Roman and then boom, then I think it might have been the next night Brock Lesnar attacked him and he moved on. Maybe we can get a Cody Rhodes that really doesn't think he can finish the story and it's going to take him some some months even going towards WrestleMania 41 where he has to pull he has to pull something out of him to make him think that he can actually beat Roman Reigns. And maybe it's a, a losing streak. Similar to like, oh, if you want to take it to like with Mickey James when she okay. lost, when she lost repeatedly. And that last time she was like, I'm going to pack my bags and go. And then when she came back, this is it. This is my last rodeo. I, um, if I lose on this last rodeo, I'm done. If I win and I make it all the way to the championship and I win, great. If I don't, I'm done. Maybe they do yeah. something like that. Maybe uh, Scott Demore is actually signed with WWE and is pulling those strings. Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> now are just stretching all over the place. Right. Michael asking KJ, what time does the show start? Ladies and gentlemen, we are about two and a half minutes away from the show starting night two of WrestleMania. Big Nick will be back with us. Anthony's already going and rolling. And uh, of course, I'm here as well. It's going to be a fun one tonight, folks. Lots to figure out, lots of gold on the line, lots of intrigue. And again, one of the biggest WrestleManias in history. One of, as far as hype, vibe, and everything else, I can't wait to see what the WWE delivers over the next few hours. Oh, yeah. It's, it, I think night two is going to be bigger than night one. And we're going to be on a roller coaster the next couple of hours here. Roller coaster. Roller coaster. <laughs> um yeah no i'm absolutely looking forward to it the 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 pre-show is winding down right now folks when the show does start we are going to try and sync up let you know where we are at in the show so we don't spoil anything for you but if we're a little ahead sorry uh but yeah get in that chat don't be shy don't be quiet say hello if you haven't clicked that like button yet please do so help out our algorithm and then again, get in that chat. Don't be quiet. We take a prediction on every single match. That belt mm -hmm. above Anthony's head will be on the line. And here comes CM Punk. Looking dapper. Could CM Punk get involved in this match beyond? Like, it was like uh, you know, ref's not looking and he grabs McIntyre's foot. Like. Could he have an impact on the match? Um, yeah, I, I know earlier I said more um, verbal than physically, um, but he could. He really could get physically involved in this match. He got one good arm, so, you right. know. He can still go. He can still go. Yeah. Speaking of someone who can still go, what? Bro, that was um, like our, our best one ever. That was seamless. <laughs> well, there we go. It's almost like we know what we're doing out here. Like, like I said, top flight production of the world, Craig. Um, but especially with Punk coming out now and then introducing this right as we're about to get the show kicking off, does that foreshadow, does that tell that the uh, world title is starting the show tonight? 
Maybe. Is he just doing the one match? I, I would assume so. I think, yeah. yeah, I think he's just doing the one match. So there you go. Four team commentary versus uh, three men. Right. But right now, folks, it is transitioning from the pre show to the big show. Get in that chat, light it up, be a friend, tell a friend. If you know anyone out there trying to be entertained tonight during WrestleMania, send them our link, get them in here. And we're still pushing for our 5K subscribers. As I got the new then. I have it now. I have, I have sorry, it. that's I have the new then now. I have now now brown cow. Anthony, what you got? I got the warning. So you're oh, a little behind. I got forever. Do we want to try and sync? You got forever? I just I got, got forever. I got the WWE logo on my screen. Nick, stay there. I got together. Yeah. I I am still far away. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. You're good. I got One, WWE logo. Two. Go. All right, I'm good. I got right, let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WrestleMania Night 2. Welcome to the Rossin for Life Network. Welcome to the show. Gentlemen, I'm ready. Let's go. I feel like I need to do the whole intro again a little bit. Don't no, don't play the video. Don't play the video. Don't play the video. Yeah, no. So I've got the overview shot of Lincoln Financial right now here. Yeah. Again, we've talked about this uh, a bunch already. Of night two feels like it's been built to to be the bigger night of the two, which is you would yeah. fit you would feel with a WrestleMania being two nights and everything. But this feels like this is going to be a huge, and this just alone with it being new intro, new era of you know WWE. This is a tectonic shift. I know New Jersey had a tectonic shift uh, a couple days ago, In but yeah. Yeah, it, it feels like a changing of the guard here. It definitely does. Mm -hmm. And we got a Bailey. We got damage control. So they're showing the wrestlers coming to the ring or coming to the arena. Right, right, right. Still chilly in Philly. <laughs> now, uh, the, for everybody that wants the show in Minnesota and everything, you really want to be dealing with Minnesota in the middle of like early spring. <laughs> After this, you want to might you might want to rethink it. But they, at least it's an indoor stadium. The you know, thing stadium fun, not walk indoor. outdoors to get to your fucking lift and your Uber and everything else like that. Now that's on them. <laughs> right? Folks, get in that chat. Give us some flames. Give us a thumbs up. Give us an emoji. Give us a hell yeah. What? Give us something. I want to see 100 comments blow up this chat right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. As we're getting a replay of last night slash a hype up for tonight. Mm -hmm. What is this? Oh, we're back on the elevator. Yeah, we got Meek out here. Hold on, wait a minute. You know that I was right now? This should have been, we've talked about this, and I know we'll bring it up again, but this should have been like the goddamn theme for this. Like there, there's nothing else that you could have had outside of, you know, it's 5 a.m. my time again. <laughs> uh, that could be your fucking hype up for WrestleMania. Do you think Ava Ring gets involved in the main event? Nope, just her belly button. <laughs> Surprise! So her fact. navel becomes a black hole and sucks up Cody Rhodes. So that's how he loses. It could happen. It could happen. <laughs> just completely outlandish theories. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Gold. Oh yeah, Dustin's in the house. By the way, Dustin has been spotted in a press box. Oh, oh. okay. Yes. How far it is. is it going to take him to get from a press box down to the ring? Because I mean, running. I'll take the fine. Hunter's probably like, we'll pay the fine. We'll pay everything. We'll pay the legal fees. You don't want to be in a fucking tag team with the butcher there. You can just be over here and you can be, you know, hanging out with your brother. Right. Dustin just come running down from the fucking crowd. That'd be amazing. Shattered dreams, my guy. McMeal, Dreams and Nightmare. Oh, quickly. A lot of people saying what Lil Wayne did at WrestleMania yesterday was probably one of the worst, you know, musical performances we've ever had at WrestleMania. I don't even know what that was. Like, Do what did we see? Kind of? 
just because he's a musical artist, I don't know if you count that as a performance. Right? Well, I guess people, because he did like, you know, a quarter of one of his verses. <laughs> he said three lines and they sounded like a rap. So that counts. Right? Oh, Larry's saying Kid Rock was the worst. The, the kiss, the kiss. Was it two years ago when they showed Kid Rock and um oh yeah who, who was it that he uh, kissed? Uh, I, I think it was his sister. <laughs> no, she was one of them people that very much looks like they, you know, are huge fans of Bud Light. No offense, Bud Light, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we are set. The view from up here is beautiful, folks. Sold out. Do you like all of the talk in the discourse about attendance numbers and ticket sales and everything? And Miz asking, or uh, CM Punk asking Miz, are you going to get a tattoo of the attendance? Yeah. <laughs> Time out. I saw a post today from somebody that said, you know, 75,000. And then it had like Wembley and it was like 81,000 or whatever the original report was. And was like, see, this is where the big boys play. And I was like, oh my god, you are WCW. <laughs> <laughs> the what is the adjective play? Like, what a ridiculous statement. <laughs> what is the the next of many? God bless America, 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 America. Yeah. We're the only country, I think, that has two national anthems to an extent. We have a, we so. have an A side and a B side for our national anthem. <laughs> Is that Shane Taylor playing the piano? It looks like Shane Taylor playing the piano. <laughs> if Shane Taylor and Keith Lee did the fusion dance. I apologize. I miss who this was. Right now, I feel like an the, asshole. The second part of the name was the treaty. I don't remember the first part. It okay. was a two-part name. Peace treaty? <laughs> first word sounds like... <laughs> 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 yeah, it looks like Seth and Drew are going to be the first match. Punk's at commentary already, and they just so showed uh, Seth outside of Gorilla. So it looks like the World Heavyweight Championship will kick off the show. Ah, uh, it is war and the treaty. War and treaty. So I was close. Peace treaty. Right. It's normally what follows after war and <laughs> so war and treaty. The, the the chat right on it. We got you guys. I, I'm gonna take bets that the dude playing piano is war and the one singing is the treaty. Treaty. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask, but I I thought maybe not. I, I think I figured it out. <laughs> Sorry, this popped me, with, especially with you. War and be greedy. War and greedy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We've had the greedy. KJ's going to start hitting the greedy out here on people. I dig it. I dig it, Mega. They're murdering this song. Like, in a yeah. Game. Like, there's, like, I think, who was it? Did Boston say they're slaying? Yeah. They yeah. Threw it out there. What a beautiful rendition of this song. It was it. Didn't I see that coming. Really off base here, but did Aretha ever do? Because I know that times that they've crossed them of when they do "America the Beautiful" and they do uh, the national anthem because one was the one night. I feel like Aretha might have yeah. done, you know, "God Bless," and I'd say this is on par. Yeah, you're, you're yeah. on the green with this. Yeah, our first surprise pop of the night was that final note out of the piano player. All right. <laughs> Pat McAfee, I love him, man. That was awesome. <laughs> like, he doesn't know he has a mic on. He's just talking to the guys. He is the golden retriever oh. of human beings. Stephanie got McMahon. Fans. And they I'm... changed her theme a little bit. It has a rock feel. Yeah. I'm all grown up now. Is this make it official that she's back? I don't know, but she's looking good. Girl, you're fine. Hi, hi. <laughs> Happy birthday to me, though. Happy birthday, Joe. Happy birthday. You know, that meant a lot because I had to grit my teeth to say it. Especially with you, Joe. K 
Q you know Hacksaw Jim Duggan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, remember the prediction belt is on the line. We will take a prediction on every single match tonight. And then at the end of the night, we'll add them up, uh, see how your record did. We're kind of on a loose buddy system. So, you know, don't cheat. Yeah, we're on a handshake deal here. <laughs> <laughs> Keep showing, letting us know his birthday's tomorrow. Well, happy early birthday. We'll be here tomorrow. Absolutely. But yeah, Stephanie out here looking. Like a dime piece. Paul, you're a lucky man. You're a lucky man, sir. Can we just say that you picked the wrong Paul? <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that line. It was amazing. Ooh. Is it interesting that Hunter introduces us to night one, Stephanie introduces us to night two, and uh, he who shall not be named is having to watch from, you know, whatever, yeah. you know, luxury suite or, you know, hotel room he's at or anything. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. And she's My doing a lot more talking than Triple H did last night. Right. The, the Paul of that era. era. Okay. Hey, Daddy, this is I my like man. That. She's gonna go and reach Paul backstage. Can you ring my bell? Great promo to start this show. The Papa Paul era, man. Come on, make right? it a thing, people. We said it, they just changed the game. <laughs> It's awkward to hear. Ah, she's going to hit us with the R. You Are you ready? ready? I don't know. She kind of gave me goosebumps. <laughs> How many times she look at trips and say that? <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> she just does this in the doorway. Are <laughs> you ready? To... You just start spitting water and running. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many different jokes I can make there that are all going to get us thrown off of YouTube. So I'm not going to say any of them. Welcome to WrestleMania. Oh, oh let's go. We got bagpipes. Are we going to get broken dreams? We, we did. Got we got it yesterday when I sang. <laughs> there you go. So if Anthony has to run off for a pause real quick, you know why? This is near and dear to my heart, man. I love this. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some article in a, the next hour that says Stephanie is back with WWE. Right? And she was clearly avoiding the company when every time her dad showed up, she left. Right. <laughs> da, 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 da. Who do we got? Oh. Who are you taking? Oh, taking dream true. boy. Oh, dream boy. That pipes. Give me it. No, straight nah, up. God damn you. Badass with the live drums, though, and the live bags. Pause. But yeah, um, it very much should have. If it went into out of time, all that, it would have been so much better. Let's go, Anthony. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> they can only hear us. They're watching the show. They probably got on a mute so they can hear us. Sing it. Let them know. <laughs> Drew for the win. Drew for the win. Drew for the win. Come on, Drew. You can have my title, but you can't have my freedom. <laughs> and, yeah, see? <laughs> Corey just said it. Ever see Braveheart? <laughs> right. Well, didn't we talk about this yesterday? So where he was even putting out that UPS lost his WrestleMania 40 yep. right here and everything. Right. Got Drew for the win. Drew for the win. It looks like a pretty decent split. There's a uh, maybe heavy Drew, slight edge to Drew. Now all three of us took Drew. Yes, right. This match going on first makes me think that we're not going to get a cash in attempt. You start the show with that big kind of holy shit moment. Maybe, maybe to keep it going. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Woo, Anthony, catch him off guard. Punch him in the face. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's like the old hockey game plan of like the first shot you get on net, aim for the goalie's head. 
Yeah, absolutely. Just let them know. Well, let them know. you see it in baseball and shit. You throw a yeah. pitch high and inside. You let them know. Brush them back. Brush them back. Right. But Drew McIntyre in the ring. Great entrance to open the show. Stephanie McMahon kills it. Love what she had to say. Um, looked good. Well spoken. Uh, again, a nice, strong message and a lot of praise for Papa Paul this weekend. A lot of praise. Again, is that, you know, really cementing, really, I guess, pun intended, driving that sword oh. home. Pyro. I thought they were um, going to set you on fire. Literally, he's going to be out there like the Undertaker having to pour water on himself just to cool off the burns. But, yeah, really driving that, putting that sword in the stone here. Right. Um, that this is, you know, the Papa Paul, the Triple H, the Renaissance era, however you want to phrase it. Now, going forward, we got a new entrance. We've got a new directive very clearly, and they've almost beaten us over the head with this. I think they're just trying to let us know that this is this is Triple H's WWE now. Spanish table back. Well, and even The Rock kind of mentioned that of how, you know, even before the show kicked off last night, him and, you know, Hunter had a moment of how special this really is to him. Of Think about it. This is his. You're captain of the ship now. This is 100% your vision. This is your mm -hmm. directive. You're the leader now. Look at me. I am the captain now. Oh, we Tracy. got 61. It feels did he just say it feels glorious with 61 degrees out yeah. here? Yeah. Yeah. Drapes night one for Seth. Carpet night two. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, one in the Sergeant Peppers. <laughs> what is this? Very Achamania running wild out here. What the fuck is this? Are we back in New Orleans? What happened? He's got a Mardi Gras play, parade meets fucking Cinco de Mayo out here. We've got banjos, accordions, saxophones, everything out here. WrestleMania 40 night two was in five minutes. We had Stephanie McMahon, Stephanie McMahon accordions, and bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like, like the clown show or something. <laughs> the walking clown emojis. <laughs> <laughs> Burn it down. Oh my god. What it he looks like if ah. Raymond was going to the Kentucky Derby. What CM the fuck Punk is this. Look at this goof, says CM Punk. I don't I don't know anymore. Is that an <laughs> owl on his chest? I mean, on one hand, I think I so. Respect oh. to the man, he's pulling off the goofiest of goofies out here. Of these literally fucking Mr. Dress Up out here. Um, but absolutely, what the fuck is you wearing, sir? He looks like uh, I'm not gonna say it, but Gandalf he, is in the name. Is Seth paying homage to Adam Rose? What is happening? I, I couldn't remember his name, but you no said way. Adam Rose. Okay. No way. <laughs> Jose, no way. Jose. This is epic. Epic now, I know some people are going to be like... Both. It's both mm -hmm. at the same time. Somebody's going to jump on Twitter or something and be like, you guys missed the fact that this is... You was illiterate son of a <laughs> bitch you didn't know what he was saying? No, because we're here live and on the vitamins. Deal with it. This is embarrassing for WWE. No, it's not. It's a fucking party. This is this is a goddamn Woodstock of pro wrestling. You expect, you know, Sergeant Pepper and his fucking traveling band to show up here. Yeah. Yeah, it, you know, it's a little wacky for Seth, but embarrassing for Mania? Come on, let's be real. Right. We I'm had Sami Zayn in a mouse trap last or yeah, last year. So we we're really gonna talk about embarrassing with this. <laughs> I'll take a mouse trap. Yesterday we had a book that was everywhere. You know, a certain someone's book. Right. I'm looking at some of the tweets. Um, someone says Seth's outfit looks like he killed the bird. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> He's an eagle. He came with it, he brought the tree with him too. Right. He, he one hundred percent should have just done the I'm a peacock and you gotta let me fly. <laughs> he should have came out in the big tail poof out. Right. Out here looking like 
fucking Tatanka Grant and Gandalf the way here. It's just funny because they went from polka to burn it down. And you're like, wait, how did you? <laughs> this is a hard transition. <laughs> it's so funny you said polka because they just thought of John Candy in the back <laughs> of the van from Home Alone. <laughs> uh, I left one mile at the grocery store for six days. <laughs> We're the number one polka band in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. WrestleMania night two. Off and running. Seth in the ring. Drew in the ring. If you haven't made a prediction yet, get it in. Because once we get the ding, ding, predictions are closed. So, who do you got? Who do you take in? Do you think there will be a cash-in, an attempted cash-in? And uh, how do you feel about Seth Rollins' outfit? <laughs> that I is, have this question and I'll just... Sorry, Anthony. Go oh, no, you go ahead. No, I was just going to say uh, a little bit with seeing this, uh, this outfit. Did did he do it? <laughs> Man, the visuals, the camera work. This is, I love this. Unreal. Yeah. Like I said, we've had 4K, we've had 8K. I think this is goddamn 72K here. Right. Randy Savage, eat your heart out. Seth is kind of like the modern day Randy Savage, if you think about it. Uh, a wee bit, a wee bit. What Go was on, some, like off the deep end? Yes, right. When he was out there, yeah, with the goggles and everything, the cream always yeah. rises to the top. Elizabethia. Now I have a question because we watched Wallet where we saw parts of Wally Mania. I'm sure some of us have seen this. Was Samantha Irvine playing the flute? The flute. While Seth Rollins was coming out with the whole band and everything like that, she's just like, Well, I gotta play my part here. <laughs> I got this. Drew. But see, that's the thing is somebody said this was embarrassing, and then we cut right to the whole crowd. Oh, oh, I'm here for the wrestling, not the entrances. I'm here for all of it. Be greedy. Right. Warren Greedy. We already talked about Claymore! Claymore! One. Claymore! Oh, Oh, oh my god, if he did it right there, oh. though. <laughs> Rude. I think my heart skipped a beat. I, yeah, I I, literally is had it gonna to be you, this quick? I hope you're gonna say it like four times know. before it registered. Oh, he's rolling out the ring. Yeah, Seth Smart gets out of harm's way. What a great... If that would have been all the match, I wouldn't have been mad about it at all. Oh, and again, though, going after the knee that we saw um, that was worked over last night, that you saw a little bit of that discontent, that, you know, potential, well, look at what this cost me to help you out. The way he just threw him. I'm trying to get my heart rate back down. That's scary. Right. Hey, this man out here. here. <laughs> Is he going to tweet mid-match? Or taking a selfie or something here. Yeah, he's out here literally stealing fans' phones. Don't say you hate it. Not allowed. Anything's allowed in this room, John. But again, if you're going to say it, you're going to get a rebuttal. And if you really want to say something, show your work. Stand behind it. But uh, say whatever you want. Yeah, wait. What is it? Just what keep the say? gloves above the waist. <laughs> you guys weren't around during the macho days. Uh, I didn't know you had my birth certificate, my guy. <laughs> I was <laughs> right. Yeah, you can have you that. Are. You you seem to be mad about that. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not happy about it. I wish not I you him. <laughs> yeah. As, As uh, oh, oh, Drew talking Drew shit. Looking, punk. He was looking right at Punk, saying, "I'm gonna." As he was gonna pedigree. hit a future shot to the feet. Pedigree. Ooh, pedigree. Drew McIntyre for the win. Drew. Hello, hello, everybody. By the way, if you haven't gotten that chat yet, make sure you do so. Ah. Thank you for the super chat. Now we try and click on all of them. This is your only way to guarantee that we click on your chat message. So uh, he is playing a tribute to the Mummers Parade each year in uh, each New Year's Day in Philly. Mummers is a thing out here too. That's funny. Uh, Jason Kelsey dressed uh, like one during the Eagles SB Parade. I remember seeing that visual there. So yeah, I didn't put the two and twos together. I probably would have. I was gonna say I would have still gotten twenty two, but I did. I didn't even try and put two and two together. Uh, do, 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 do. 
It is it interesting though that even when Seth Rollins has a, a history of knee injuries and B is selling a knee, he still has pretty much a knee centric and like kick based offense. Like mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> you have everything that you take bumps on your knees the whole time right. when you hurt your knee. You almost got him. CM Punk letting everyone know they are not the best in the world. Oh, back body drop. 316. What? I got area go. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Tyrell saying Rollins going to win. Johnson saying Drew playing too much. Might remind us of Seth selling that knee. Absolutely. I mean, you got to. That was, We talked about it. Night one plays into night two. Yeah. 100%. But both men exchanging blows. Right, right, right. Elbow shots back and forth, back and forth. Oh, was that his wife? I didn't know. That's Drew's phone. That's his wife. There you go. There you go. She was wearing a I prayed for this t-shirt, so that makes sense. Okay. I feel like there's more than just her wearing those shirts uh, out there. So <laughs> just saying. I'm sitting front row with his phone. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> sitting front row? Mm, debatable. Uh, knowing that it's specifically his phone, I'm, I'm just kind of poo-pooing. Just to poo-poo. <laughs> Listen, we got fucking several hours to find things. We don't have to make them up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Give up. You have that. <laughs> <laughs> As Drew plant. in control. Sorry, sorry, Nick. No, I just said it's a plant. <laughs> Drew setting up for another Claymore. Setting up. Crowd's with him too. Oh yeah, big countdown. Cards oh, no. oh. Another pedigree. Got it. Whoa. Uh, setting up for a stomp. It's no it. It's a no stomp. Way. Wow. Oh, he hit no it. Way. No. Two go, two go. I was going to say, if, if Seth wins, that almost Ooh. leads more to your idea of a cash in here, I think. Um, yeah. You know. Yeah. Especially that fast, Nick. Right. Seth got on six hundred dollars shoes. Sheesh. Sheesh! Yeah, you got the mics on. Drew just ate a six hundred dollars stomp. Well, well, three hundred. It was one shoe. So. One shoe. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Chance breaking out in Philly. What's up, Sean? What's up, Daniel? What's up, John? I love that shirt. Also, the Drew shirt. Yeah, man, it's been great. Speaking of shirts, we have our own shirts. Go and click the merch store link and everything. Yeah, look at our lovely bearded model right there, dead center in front of your faces. <laughs> like I say, everybody could use a fist on their chest. Pause the f- on that. <laughs> it's a working. It's a working tag. <laughs> <That is, laughs> he needs to go back to the workshop. <laughs> it's not official, but we're, he needs we're to go to the workshop. I don't know about the workshop. <laughs> oh. Right through. Oh, oh future shot. One, two, two, team two, team two. It is really interesting, though, that so far with this, of we think every big kind of like they hit a future shock, they hit a stomp, they hit yeah. a claymore, and everything. It could be end that they're not going to, you know, oh, we're going to have a kick out and have it happen one, two, three more times here. We think any finisher right now could finish this match. Yeah, cause I think it's because of how it started. It just full blazing when it started with the um, Claymore kit. Right. Yeah. More of this is awesome, Chance. Fans appreciating this opening match as Drew taking his eye off the ball, looking at Punk. I hope this doesn't cost him. Oh, he's going to hit him with the go to sleep as he do in the taunt. Careful, now, Drew. Does, does Seth take time? off post this WrestleMania and everything. I know he's quote-unquote medically cleared, but I think he kind of just, he's earned it, he deserves it, he needs it, I would say. Yeah, 
I think so. And he, you know what? He's in a really great job at the World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah. As Drew setting up the go to sleep, it's not going to work though. There we go. Roll, roll through, off. roll through. One, two, two go, two go, two go. Claymore! Big pop for it. Stupid sexy rear pin. Two go. Oh, come on. <laughs> Could we see a WWE post WrestleMania 40 to where no member of the Shield is currently wrestling with Seth Rollins it on the sidelines, be. with Roman Reigns on the sides, and Dean Ambrose, John Moxley, and another company? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's a that's a cool show, Nick. Right. Wow. Seth kicks out of his second Claymore of the match. Or th was it third? Uh, Christ. I think, I think it was second. Second. I think it was two, yeah. We got people he hit a shock. So, yeah, it was the second. Him and Bex need a family vacation. Now, Bex is another one. She's going on her book tour, perhaps. Maybe give her a little bit of time away, especially with so much, like an influx of talent running around WWE yeah. right now. Bex couldn't step away. And her contract has allegedly, a, well, quoting her, um, has two months left on it and everything. Does she? I'm sure she probably re signs a deal, but is it a full time deal? Is it a part time deal? Um, the length, the, the volume of that deal and everything still remains to be seen. Seth fights out. Seth fights out. Drew's Drew gonna to power on the table. Notice how everyone's going after the actual regular announce table instead of the Spanish announce table. We have a perfectly good side table over there. Yeah. That you can <laughs> fuck up my table. Spanish announced team was like, we'll come back, but leave our table alone. <laughs> right. Ah, uh, nah. We're going to do the reverse like we did last night's where we had right. the Spanish announced table be the bridge to the other. This is going to be the regular table of the bridge to the Spanish. Oh, oh. Mm. Stop, Stop on the main on table. The main table. Uh, <sighs> Drew and Punk, feud of the year, and they haven't even had a match yet. CM Punk, though, bringing up a very valid point. He can't pin him out on the floor, though. He's got to get him in the ring. Vax. Claymore! Hey, oh! It's over. One, two. Holy no. Christ, Brett. No. How long did it take you to get over there? You could have counted a seven by the time you counted one. <laughs> My heart is beating super fast, y'all. <laughs> Hell of a match. This is kind of what I thought Jimmy and Jay would be more like. The, the yeah. Back and forth. Back and forth. I thought we were on three Claymores. Oh, oh I told you. Really, I don't know. You could have four or five. Ooh, six, it four. has to be over now. A new world yeah. heavyweight champion, Drew McIntyre. Emphatic. Emphatic. That's the definitive wow. way to put that. No sells the stomp essentially off the table or briefly sells it into Claymore, into Claymore, after we already started off with Claymore, into Claymore. That that was a, a fucking ass whooping. Wow. That match sucked. Come on, Steve. No way. No way. I thought the match was great. You don't know the limitations of what Seth can still really do. That could have even yes. been part of why he wasn't super involved in the main event. He is still selling off of what was supposed to be a knee injury that was going to take him way out of here. And I just really like seeing this moment with Drew and that visual of you had Seth in the foreground, but for Drew the having to have him. Sorry. Keep going, keep going. No, I was saying with Drew having to take in this moment of think about it. We talked about this earlier. The last time he had a WrestleMania moment was in front of no crowd. And now he's out here in arguably one of the largest attended events in pro wrestling history. This is a real nice moment. The, both men giving the nod. Seth a little emotional. That's he legit crying. A lot of emotional, actually. But a little sign of respect between them. He said, you deserve it, man. And he does. Look. Drew McIntyre has earned this moment. On a side note, I know we've always admitted and talked about how Seth Rollins is great. Has this not kind of really just added extra, even like brown, like oh, yeah. stars on the board with Seth Rollins here? Of even, you know, all the work that he's done, all of that, even with the knee, even right there, of 
literally cried like from when CM Punk showed up and he's throwing a temper tantrum and everything to now he's leaving and he's actually shedding legitimate tears and like yeah. you said saying you deserve this man like I, I know I lost but this is good on you and listen the crowd on their feet they're hot mm -hmm. I mean they appreciate what he did and I know uh Steve-O didn't love it I thought that match was great not the longest of matches but we might have a reason and he gives it to his wifey that young lady in the crowd says, Pat. Right. See, we don't know. We cannot confirm. I'm not checking on up on marital spouses. Seth Crybaby's awesome exchange, 100%. I really like that at the end of it. Great post-match storytelling, 100%, Jay. Again, you might not like them, but you got to respect them. Thousand-yard stare towards CM Punk, though. Hey, that's a future title uh, title match if he still has that belt. He's what? Well, even Pat just says I think he has a few an idea what the future holds. Could we even see at least a bit of a scuffle or kerfuffle here? Maybe we, we might. Yeah, as there, Drew's even literally telling people to move the about the way. I'm waiting for Damien to roll out from under the ring and get a pin on the table. He just rolls out <laughs> under the table. Just rolls him up on the outside. This is provocative. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> <laughs> Jump on it. I'm waiting, for, on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for Punk to like slip a bill into his trunks. What is happening here? Right. Just start swinging the belt in between his, you know, mm -hmm. areas. And I love this moment here as far as building past today. This is excellent. Yes, you have those moments and you have those lines in this story that make you want to turn the page and go into the next chapter. Yeah. This is awesome. Could this uh -oh. be, though? Is this, though, that... It that little, the little tease of, but yeah. this is my moment. Well, yeah, it is your moment, but why are you here? I want you to had know. your moment, Jack Perry. So why are you here? Why are you coming right. at me with this? Right. Shit? <laughs> bro, he's doing the full Monty out here. Just he's got a little bit more. Oh, color. down goes oh. Drew. Down goes Drew. Punk's had it. Uh oh, out. is there gonna be a cash? He's gonna take off the. He's taking off the brace. It's gonna be a cash. Back down the hatches. I'm it. Sh shut up, Anthony. No way. Oh my God, he's gonna I'll hit him with the brace. Really I'm not okay. Hits Drew with the brace. Stomping him in those $50 JC Penny shoes. Blows the wife a kiss. Cash oh. it. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Let's oh. go. Oh. Oh. Damien Breeze coming out right now. Trying to cash in. Take that two. Drew, Drew with the brain. Do, Do it. Hey, CM Punk's going to be sitting it. on the table just looking at him Cash as he gets in. pinned. Right, right, now. You right now, right now, Nick. Punk standing over him. Come on, Damien. Cash in. Choke slam. Son of a bitch. Yes. Oh, I, you. I told oh, you. I told you. I told you. Oh my God. Let's go. <laughs> you have. <laughs> oh, wow. And you're you new it, world heavyweight champion, Damian Priest. The minute Punk stood up, Anthony called it. Oh my God. Welcome to WrestleMania. How's everybody feel about that mat that first match being so quick? Because we knew we were going to end up here. I don't even give you credit. You call it. You can have that. I can't even be mad at it. Punk. But you know what we didn't anticipate was, again, it, the hatred between Punk and Drew is real. Like, that is beautiful. That's that. Oh that's that. God. He's in shoot E. Wow. Your new world heavyweight champion. Poor Drew finally got his moment.
I got and we were literally, we were sitting there waxing poetic. We were soaking in it. We were taking it. It was so great. He got his moment, everything like Woo! that. And then just ripped away. And especially because CM Punk and he's sitting there. That's such a great visual. Drew's beside himself. Punk sitting cross-legged on the table, clapping. Wow. Bro, on a quick side <laughs> note, you're beating me by 10 points, bro. Yeah, oh, you I can just, have that. See, Trey, soul for a soul here. I just pitched a shutout. I'm only beating you by 10 on our fantasy. Yeah, I was. I was you were up by 70. 70. Oh, well, then now why'd you say no 10? 10? I was like, hold on. I oh, was no, like, no, it's only 10 now. I just pitched a shutout. Oh. Well, at least you didn't pitch a 10. But you don't laugh through that. I did. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, walk about now. <laughs> That's why this camera's chest up. <laughs> right. Whew. Let's fucking go. <laughs> That's the most I think Anthony might need to you know, see. <laughs> <laughs> A little McClemps coming down with the vapors. <laughs> Like I said, you need to take a walkabout, sir. That's, <laughs> bro, you might have, you know, swung and missed on the first pitch, but the second one, you fucking knocked that shit out, clean out the goddamn park. <laughs> oh, back, 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 way back there. Woo! Ladies and wow. gentlemen, how do you feel about the start of WrestleMania? I'd ask Anthony, but we can tell. <laughs> Oh, be the man. best and worst time for him to freeze up right now. <laughs> 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 but yeah, yeah, everybody out here, I called it. Oh, well, then we got that's bullsh stuff. Uh, Drew Maybe. wins rematch tomorrow. <laughs> Could you imagine? Maybe. I'm okay with it. <laughs> right, Andy saying finally. So, so at least I'm happy. Finally, we can stop arguing about when he cashes in. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy that it uh, turned out the way it did. So, right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. look. The bloodline is here. That rock taking the belt everywhere now. <laughs> Bro, he's he probably sleeps with that. A successful cash in by Damian Priest, who's the new world heavyweight champion, ladies and gentlemen. They weren't messing around. He said you're in for some surprises tonight, and we've only just begun. <laughs> What a moment. And Punk, Punk standing there smiling the whole time. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, yeah, we literally had the same idea. I prayed for this and it happened. Facts. 100%. CM Punk needs to come out tomorrow and say those exact words. Yeah, 100%. As we get the street fight next. Yeah. Uh, on one hand, I get it because. It's probably the forgettablest match of tonight, but it is yeah. also a street fight at the same time. But so yeah, I, I guess I will legitimately throw it out there. If anyone needs to have a walkabout, now <laughs> might be the time. Right. Um, Drew is all elite. <laughs> <laughs> Snoop Dogg. Bro, we've had Stephanie McMahon, a cash in, and Snoop Dogg come out in within the first 45 minutes of WrestleMania. Shut up and tell me we ain't got surprises here. <laughs> With that gold belt of his. Now he's got to take on Dwayne to see who has the biggest fan fantasy belt. Does this mean him and Sasha are not going to be talking for a little while? Well, that's why they can't use him on the theme song and everything. That's why they have to switch it up to the CEO. Because the D-O-double-G had the G-E-O. <laughs> so, quick question. Now that the cash-in actually happened, how do you feel about it? Because I know how adamant you were that it was just a dud situation. And I, I don't have that to rub it in. I'm just asking. No, no, no. That, that's very valid. Like I said, I was still, and I know, and mm -hmm. I let you have your moments and everything with that. Because trust me, I'm going to have the biggest moment when it comes up. Oh, right oh I love it. Um, but... I still, it feels very much to me of it's the next and then of where do we go past here? It's a great moment tonight, and I won't take anything away from it. I think it's a fantastic moment of you literally had everybody there. You pull the carpet out from under them, and you continue that feud between Drew and Punk. I want to see where we go with Damian Priest as world champion now. I think he has the potential. I've liked Punishment Martinez since he was in Ring of Honor. 
I it's interesting to see where he oh, goes. Hey, get up, get up, and drop the ball. Yeah, we yeah. had it right. That it was going to be last night, but it's tonight. Get up, get up, get up, bump. Hey, we can't even. Out. We can't even get. In the, he's wearing a ref shirt. Is he the special guest referee for the street? Philadelphia street fight. You need a special guest referee, and it is. Should he not been Bully Ray? Oh. That's a missed opportunity. If Bully Ray never got a run, Bubba yeah. Dudley got a run, but Bully Ray never got a run in WWE. Bubba, bro, Please. we've had. We're still in the first hour. We literally just crossed cross forty five minutes, and we've had like five fucking huge returns. I feel. <laughs> we're trying to talk about what happened, and more shit keeps happening while we're trying. Right. To I'm still not over Damien. Like. <laughs> Oh, Dude, I, it was so funny because the minute Punk got up and you were like, we're getting a cash in. I was like, shut up, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> sure enough. <laughs> I don't know what wish Nick got. What? Because get up, get up, drop oh, the bombs. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not in the ladder match, but still counts. Right. What is this? They weren't well, fucking around about WrestleMania being awesome, right? It, this looks like if Tony Storm was trying to cause epilepsy. Yes, Alexis. If you predicted a cash in, you get a point. If we can confirm it. Yeah. If you didn't predict cash in, <laughs> right. If you just said you did, you can <laughs> have that. Wow. What a start to the show. Wow. You remember, really, it was so funny because we joked about, like, all right, Drew, the last time you won this belt, nobody was in the building. We'll give you your moment. Right. But then we're gonna cash in on you. He's like, fuck's sake. Right, like right away. And sure enough, like again, you never know that they're gonna do it, but I love that they did. Anthony. Yeah, I don't I don't have any words. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm just really gonna give you the attempt. Um but yeah, one hundred percent of like I said, they had that moment. We were literally sitting there. Of this is so great. You had Seth crying, you know, fully over that, and how, how that's gone now. Um, you know, you deserve this and everything. And then he goes and he gets in Punk's face, and then it instantly gets ripped away. Of seeing Punk rips off the arm brace and clatters him with it. We talked about earlier. Does Punk get involved beyond commentary? And he did. And yeah. he's fully re. You know. Reap what he sowed there with that. Does that mean he's closer to a return than we anticipate? Or is it... I think he might be fully healed. Taking off the brace was the, to me was that sign. Well, that the might... only the non-controversial thing that he said in the aerial interview, and I do say that lightly because this still might even be controversial, is that how they're still halfway protecting him from himself up right, to where yeah. he still thinks he can go fully all the time and I can do this and everything with that. When you actually have a medical staff that's really no, maybe do the wait a little bit so you can go, you know, a year before something happens versus you go now and a month something happens. Right. Yeah, by the way, Snoop Dogg's on commentary. He's just not hanging, you know, he they just didn't bring him out for nothing. He is on commentary for this match. Bubba Ray is the special guest referee. And Bobby and the Prophets are on the way out to the ring now. Shout and out B-Fab, though. Talk about a glow up to go from, you know, to, uh, from Hit Row, then out there with Flop Dollar and Ashante, mm -hmm. maybe an Adonis, um, to out here now with Bobby Lashley and everything, just yeah. looking fucking like a star. Sign that concert. Sign that concert. Con contract. What a start tonight, too, says Daniel. Man, everything feels so big. I'm, I'm like, I'm jazzed for these entrances. And, like, I'm like, look at this entrance. Like, I'm just. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, everything is just jazzed now. But does this lead the way for Bobby and the Prophets winning? You got, you know, the D-O-double-G out there on commentary. I'm probably putting, you know, the vitamins in rotation. Um, And on top of that, you've got Bully Ray out here um, doing – you know, special guest referee work here. Right. You're, you're setting up a lot of babyface friendly things. You said babyface all night till the end, right? I mean, does does Damien count as a babyface? Did I win a point with that way? Did I backslide that way? <laughs> he got a babyface reaction. I'll count it. 
The pride's gear is fire. Does bully screw over the profits? Maybe. Love the match outfits. Profits for the win. B Fab looking good. Final testament. Final testament. Who did we take? Did you take profits? I took. I the took the profits. Y'all both took the testament, so y'all can live with the biblics. Um, you gotta <laughs> have that. We're just a couple of testaments swinging around. <laughs> Does Snoop Dogg still have one of the best audibles in WrestleMania history, by the way, on the Shane McMahon blown uh, blown quads? <laughs> yeah. I think so. Oh, this match is sponsored by Gin and Juice by Dre and Snoop. There you go. <laughs> it all makes sense now. I mean, yeah, a little bit. At least it's not knuckles. Like, could you imagine, like, a giant, like, you know, guy in a, in a Snoop Dogg suit sitting behind commentary if I got to pop up for gin and juice? <laughs> Just have a lowrider come out. And we got tables already. And uh, predictions are closed, ladies and gentlemen. Final testament for the win. Same screw job Hogan did on Yokozuna. No, not the same. Are you amazed, though, respectfully, on an entirely different note? Um, that well, how we've already had like twisted teas now, we've got you know, it's alcoholic beverage in a can, you've got everything from Arizona, alcoholic, everything from Simply Juice. That there wasn't a gin and juice in a can and everything beforehand with Snoop and all that. Yeah, sorry, Nick. They are kendoing the hell out of Bobby Lashley to start this match. Right. They're beating him like he stole something. Oh. Hmm. Bring out Devon. No mercy out of the gate, wasting no time. The pride for the win. The final testament might destroy the pride. Prime. Oh, destroy the prime, like the hydration center? The hydration station. Oh. They're, they're crustaceans. That's not a boulder. That's a rock. <laughs> the other way you have ALP out here. Yeah, you know me just sitting there fucking swinging away. Swing away uh, <laughs> when these fucking kendo sticks. <laughs> And new. It's so funny because I just opened Twitter and the first thing I see is the Drew McIntyre and new. And then it refreshed and it was Damian Priest and new. <laughs> Whoops. Right. Oh, double power bomb. Um, Matt's tubes of you saying it's a Sandman reference. I mean, yes yeah. or no? Yeah. I mean, I get it, the kendo stick in Philadelphia, but the man isn't, you know, the only one who ever swung a kendo stick. Facts. But, yeah, no, I mean, uh, I get it. Philly, kendo sticks, Singapore canes. I get it. I get it. Right. Forget when it was actually really referenced all the time as a Singapore cane instead of a kendo stick. The final oh. testament right now has just been in complete control here. Oh, Bobby breaking up the little sandwich power bomb. Oh, flatliner. Double hurricane runners. Lashley just tossing cross from pillar to post here. Absolutely. Oh, they said it outright. Well, we're also talking outright and out loud. So we <laughs> miss at times what they say. So, mea culpa. Holy oh, shit! God. Where did he come oh. from? My but again, God. you had those moments. Like, you're literally like, God, jump scare. <laughs> I, I think it was like the camera angle that made it like a jump scare. Oh. Yeah, the camera angle was amazing. Carrion getting laid. Waste two. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, you had to find the other page in that say that, uh, that read there. It, it was, was like your mind way. stopped in between. Two. <laughs> I, you get an incomplete. 
No, you just made a lot of fans jealous there with you know Scarlet and everything. Uh, that's not what I like. I was looking over, looking <laughs> over Darian's shoulder. You're getting laid. <laughs> yeah. Jealous back in the ring. Now we oh, oh. again. Where the Ooh. did you come from, Beef Hab? Just Beef literally in pump kick. Just it was like right a play <laughs> Oh, is she about to? Oh, she's about to Russian leg sweep her through the table. The table. Oh, Snoop Dogg Ooh. having a ball. Yeah, oh, just watch like Snoop Dogg is hilarious. They just broke the table. <laughs> Get her, baby girl. Get her. <laughs> I like that right there. Yeah, getting Scarlet looking like Princess Leia out here. Goddamn it. Why'd they bring back the street pro? I think it was just to give it the two separate entries. Oh, oh, DDT on the chair. One, two, two go, two go. Can they keep Snoop Dogg on um commentary? Because the like rest it. of the show. <laughs> I know these they were the alternative commentary. I feel like they also might need just a super alternative commentary. You right. got to turn to like an AM station and just CM Punk yeah. and Snoop Dogg on commentary. Right. Well, I like when Snoop gets to do the Olympics and shit like uh -oh. that. So this would work really well. Uh oh, Snoop Dogg's done the Olympics? No way! No. He's got the glasses. <laughs> he put on the Dudley glasses. Oh, the cleaner of a fucking spear there. Fourth and inches and nowhere to go. <laughs> Bro, they're about to hit a 3D on this man. 100%. You're seeing him set up with this. He even sit there and signal for it. Oh, we're going to get a... What's up? He's coaching him through the... What's up? <laughs> go up. Go up. <laughs> right? What's up? <laughs> You're right. Trips is going for all the feel good. I'm starting to get nervous here. As you should be. But that's All okay. the field is <laughs> happening now. You can sit at the kids' table and the island of relevancy. Um, once you, you know, you can have all the nuggets and everything with the crybabies once Roman Reigns wins. We'll find out. <laughs> I've been on a roll this this wrestle. Get the tables. That oh, in man. Philadelphia. The crowd's loud. I know people before were like, the crowd wasn't so loud. They're screaming. It's but it does warm out there today. With this. Sorry, Anthony. Oh, I was just saying it's warm out there today, so that's why they're screaming. <laughs> For now, this is around the same time to where everyone went from, you know, yay to burr. So <laughs> I feel like, though, with this match especially, this is where you have the nostalgia moments. You have the what's ups. You have oh. the get table. Oh, the what? The table gave out. The table botched. The table botched. We gotta get another one. And the crowd goes crazy. I feel like that's a thing, though. Of like, if you know you're building to a table spot. And people are really excited. The first table fucks up. They get even more excited for the second table. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit! Whoopie, whoopie, whoop that trick, <laughs> whoop that trick. Oh, uh, Snoop Dogg's a trip. <laughs> that whooping stick. <laughs> Absolutely, Snoop. Why is he here? Who cares? Chair. It's funny. <laughs> we don't need a why to everything. Some shit just happens. Right. Oh! Dog splash through the table. One, two, three. Thank you. Bob's your uncle. Betty's your aunt. Nick. Uh, Nick Betty White. W. Betty White. <laughs> my aunt. <laughs> Shit. Touche, my guy. Parlay. Yeah. Let me remind everybody. Right there. There we go. Right. Well, Roman's, you know, hair gets in the middle of the way. Hello. Oh, that reminds me. So Bobby and the Prophets pick up the win over the Final Testament after um, some completely unbiased, uh, uh, unpartial officiating there from Bubba Ray Dudley. Yeah, right? <laughs> 
How do you feel about the match? I think it sucked because nobody got hit by oncoming traffic. No, I'm just kidding. I love it. <laughs> there was no streets really involved. No, that was that was a great match. That's I easy. think it really uh, outkicked its coverage a little bit with that, that we had talked about this even on the pre-show of this is maybe, you know, the, the rest break, the, the pause for the cause match and everything yeah. like that. But it really, all right, so we've got this, so let's lean into the nostalgia. Let's lean into Snoop Dogg on commentary. Let's lean right. into Bubba Ray Dudley as a special guest referee. Right. It, it, it hit all them nostalgia itches that everybody needed scratching. Right. No, I, I agree with both of you. I mean, again, silly match, fun stuff, an entertaining match for the crowd. I mean, we just came off that big, you know, you know, two title, uh, two title changes in like four minutes. So to, to kind of come out and do something light and big pops all around, I thought it was great. MDB letting us know. I told y'all it was going to be a great match. Well, you and yeah. Andy are on a roll right now. Absolutely. But yeah. <laughs> that gin and juice. That's why. Right. As Snoop is celebrating with the prophets and bully. 10 out of 10 says Ivan. And welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel, folks. We're rolling through our Mania Marathon night two. And what a start to night two it's been. Uh, I'm again a little concerned for my voice as we got a few more hours to go. Right, right, right. As we've got Logan Paul working out backstage here. Ooh. I hope not, Connor. I'm looking forward to this one. But. I will remind everybody as we're in between matches right now, we do have the super chats, the super stickers, all the links, all the TikToks, all the Twitters, all the Instagrams, everything like that for all your pro wrestling needs. Um, but we are also on the drive for five out here. We're trying to be that Booker T five time, five time, you know, subscriber champion on here. So make sure you hit that link. Make sure you hit that bell notification. Be a friend, tell a friend. The best thing you can do is give your, give, your friend the good gift of wrestling out here. And it means nothing to you. It's a small click. It's just a little tap here, a little tap there, but it means the world to us and it does nothing but help us continue to grow. Mm -hmm. the, absolutely, folks. Get in there. Don't be shy. This is the Wrestling Utopia. We want to hear all your opinions. Um, as long as you keep it respectful, we are the channel that lets everybody speak their mind. Uh, they need MVP. This group sucks. I agree that I don't think the group completely sucks. Mm -hmm. I think MVP would help, guys. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I don't disagree with that at all. Why not Snoop Dogg? <laughs> no, he needs to stay on commentary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it does. Like, this was a really great street fight, but it's one of those that, like, you had a really great night, but when you show up to work the next day, you're kind of still just same old Bobby and the Prophets a little bit. Right. I hope not, but yeah. Hey! Kayla. I was losing his mind. I'm getting asked a question right now by Kayla. Are you kidding by me right Kayla. now? What are bloodline rules? Right. <laughs> In the subsection D, paragraph four. It is anything determined by the, the tribal chief, the final boss, or the wise man to be bloodline rules. No DQ, no count out. Is it super fitting, though, that with something like this of all times, you get a dusty finish of it looks like Cody won, and you have Dwayne, like we saw last they night in the, the event, rules. of keep counting and you're fired. Yeah, we get something like that to where mm. he has everything set up to where he should win, but he mm. just doesn't. Like the Jericho give back the belt moment. May if you really watch, I mean, like I mean, I anything, I, yeah. the typical dusty finish there. Yeah. You have everything. You feel like the baby face has really done it. You Christ, you. We almost got a tease of it there with Drew and everything. He had his moment and all of that, and then it was ripped away. You yeah. have. Cody has his moment, you adrenaline in my and the second you get whoa, it's a whoa for a different reason. We need carrying cross and Cody tag team named Crossroads in a perfect world. 
Snoop Dogg, Street Profits, and Bubba. That was good. That was fucking excellent. Yeah, that was fun. Right. That was a fun match. Last night was Bloodline Rules. Technically, kind of got a little Bloodline Rule-ish. We bet. We bet. Oh, we're getting the, the Slim Jim mad. With LA Knight here. It's so funny to see these commercials with LA. Yeah, I mean, it does kind of fit, though, that little tease and that little tie-in of, you know, it's similar to the Macho Man. Yeah. Yeah. And they keep that. Oh, wow. He's showing up in the, the Slim Jim. I don't even know what type of vehicle to call that. Outside of a car. It's a Slim Jim Mobile. Da, 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 da. <laughs> right. He looked like a hot dog with ketchup with that car. <laughs> Christ, you're making me think of the corner of hot dogs, so ketchup only. Nice. So is that next? It's gotta be, I think. I gotta I'm, be. I'm uh, so. The Battle of the Initials up next. It's crazy that we're about to go into our third match. Yeah. And we only got like three matches left after that. Yeah, that would be the halfway point. Yeah. Do you think that they maybe go into something else to really kind of have a little bit more of that? The tempo a bit of you, you bring them up, you bring them down, you bring them. But then again, you just came off of what's up and the nostalgia pop. So maybe you need snap into a Slim Jim. And I wonder if there's going to be any, like, you know, buffer, like any, like, segments or, like, you know, a moment that we're not expecting, but non-wrestling right. match related. Right. But uh, LA Knight, AJ Styles up next, ladies and gentlemen. Get your predictions in. Let us know who you're taking. Don't be quiet in that chat. Let us know how you're feeling. Now LA Knight's ripping off Rainy Savage. He better check with Seth on that. How, why? Because he's also sponsored by Slim Jim. Oh, Okie dokie. Uh, apparently, Cage is gonna go again and get himself a Slim Jim. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna go and do the research that other channels won't do out there. He's right. gonna go and actually quality control. The Slim Jims and see if they compare to the Randy Savage Slim Jims. Pause. <laughs> Hell Knight for the win. Hell Knight for the win. Uh, Cody Rhodes will win and end Roman Reigns' saga. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We still got time. We still got time. Right. Jay, well, Jay West saying we have to have filler stuff too. The Hall of Fame guys coming out and probably. Uh, some ECW thing. I think we kind of just got our ECW thing. Um, I thought we could have gotten that on night one. Do we potentially see a match at it? I know we've talked about there's a lot of women's talent that could be used, should be used potentially on yeah. this card. We had a battle royal on SmackDown. Do we see we've had it before us? Uh, I guess name redacted battle royal. Do we see a battle royal or anything that could get added tonight? If we could see something like that, we could see like a Nia Jack segment coming out screaming that she didn't have a WrestleMania match. Then somebody comes out, maybe like a Liv Morgan or something. I don't know. We could have a battle royal as well. Fair, 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 fair. I I, I think it fits, and I think it would be interesting to see. And especially there has been still as much as everyone wants to. Oh, there's no focus in WWE on the women's division. I think mm -hmm. that there's a, a focus. It's just widespread it's not just focused on two women it's focused on the women right um, like we were talking about last night with well even the Rhea Becky match was great um the six woman tag match I know you like to call them Destiny's Child but they they stole the show to an extent with all of that yeah so. they did they did I think I think like you said it's not just focused on two women they're Triple H is doing his best to focus in on all of them so as best as he can Right, right, right. As hey, we're getting LA night kicking off right now. Here, mm -hmm. I want to see MJF and uh come out and help Cody fend off the bloodline. I do as well. 
I also hope to be one that can see, you know, things past that just in the sense of I might be unalived afterwards because my heart might explode with excitement. <laughs> I don't think it's going to explode with excitement. I think you might actually just pass out. Uh, well, one or the other, one or the other. <laughs> you like the Grinch on, on that day, his heart grew three sizes that day. <laughs> Need to hear the Chelsea Green introduction. Actually, that's a very valid point Todd brings up. Of uh, hey, as we've got Slim Jim sweepstakes winners as they he's handing the keys off. So they won the car that LA Knight showed up into. So I mean, we were giving away we did um... everything. We'll we'll get to the point to where we can give away cars and everything. But WWE um... giving away a car. You got to do a new paint job and everything on it. But I mean, that'd be at least you, you rolled in on an Uber and you left with a new car. <laughs> so, this is the moment where we're about to find out what AJ Styles' new music is. Fast, actually. I did again, there's so many layers to all of this with WrestleMania mm -hmm. that you think about one thing, you, you get caught up in talking about one thing and you forget. We're literally about to get, you know, the the true new AJ Styles here. Right. Long boy gang fan section. I don't think they thought that out before they typed that out. And I almost <laughs> did before I said that out. That is a pause for the cause fan section if I've ever seen one. Right. Uh, seriously, why do you need to... Yeah. I'm broken. You, you be on some other stuff. Uh, imagine rolling around a Slim Jim car. Shit, you can just be, it's like, you know, you can just run into a convenience store and just be like, I make these motherfuckers. <laughs> just right. Them. You don't want none. So we're getting the new AJ music. Yeah. Why does it sound like goddamn? It sounded I'm... for half a second like Razor Ramon coming out here. Yeah. I don't know if I'm liking this. It's like if you just took his original theme song, because he even started off with, you don't want none. Right. And then just took it and slowed it down and know. pushed it down and everything. It's like, no, that's not good. <laughs> a yeah, remix isn't new. It's probably made by Def Rebel. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who will never be interviewed on the channel, Def Rebel. <laughs> As we are underway, folks, I don't know. Uh, someone confirm or deny with me. I'm not at least going to say predictions close. You got from when we sent it to now. Uh, who you got for this match? Who you taking? Who you taking with? You got AJ Styles or LA Knight? I think everybody uh, is LA Knight so far in the chat. I think it's kind of the obvious pick a, a wee bit, but that's the thing is it could still be LA Knight or AJ Styles, yeah. and it wouldn't be too far of an outlier. Like we, there was even people throwing out of what if uh, Tom Tonga or anybody like that gets involved, right? This will be a banger of a match as right now both men fighting out on the outside here. LA Knight for the win. I'm waiting for his with everybody saying LA Knight. LA Knight for the win. Ooh. Yeah, nobody's really taking AJ Styles. But how do you feel, uh, again, especially as like the TNA guy and everything, to see mm -hmm. AJ Styles go from there to WWE, have his whole run and everything, and now we're at the point to where he, he's, I don't want to say Mr. Irrelevant, but maybe Mr. Backseat. I think, I think, I don't know if it's, it is uh, Mr. Backseat, but I think it's like we're winding down on his career, and I think he talked about that earlier this week where he's like, he's he's almost done with his career. Um, I don't see this as a bad thing because he came in WWE very, very hot. Um, 
I, I think we're just he's just winding down and maybe he's at the point where he might just wants to put over new stars, you know. But is, but could he do it at a point a point to where he's instead of full time, he's more Mr. Part time and everything. Um because I think the wrestling world, the wrestling industry is better with AJ Styles in it one hundred percent in any shape yeah. or form, in any capacity. Right. Um and there's I think that there's still at least he might have, you know, pumped up the trend on those tires there, especially now he's coming out here swollen than Swolverine. Um, <laughs> so I think that there's maybe some new trend on those tires we could still get. Could we get long term or anything like that? Say an AJ Styles versus Cody Rhodes, something like that, or a Logan Paul AJ Styles, perhaps. Um, maybe. Maybe we can get those matches. I really think he's just on the wind down, to be honest. I, I, I'm I'm feeling like it's more going to be um, a Deanna Perrazzo like kind of send off type where he's just putting talent over. Um, and I don't mind that for him. I don't really mind that for him. I think he's close to like 50. So, um, yeah, if he's ready to hang up the boots, I'm all for it. Right. Speaking of someone who probably didn't want to come back on the uh, closer to 50 line <laughs> and everything. <laughs> uh, but who never goes softly to that good night? Yeah, never goes soft, night. that's for sure. That's, oh. the, that's the rumor. Mr. Every Night, after all. Right, 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 right. But that well, so then I'll pose the question to you. Um, as we got a slingshot tornado DDT from LA on to AJ. Um is AJ more going into that good night, or is he more trying to put new new tread on old tires here? Oops, one second. Yeah, uh, no, I think he wants one more little like kind of solid run. I think he's going to do well. Like he's in great physical shape, so I, I think there's still more in the tank for AJ. I'm curious to see where this goes. Fair enough. Fair. Like I, I'm kind of there with it. Of I think he's kind of come back now. Granted, I don't know if you caught the new theme. It's pretty much just the same as the old theme, just a little slowed down. It's like if you put it on, it, it's a little bit more of like if you played it on half speed instead of full speed. It pretty okay. much is the same thing. Okay, not quite what we were hoping for. Full not fun. even by a little bit. <laughs> Dixie Carter comes out and costs AJ. Oh. Uh, unbroken. Uh, did Priest cash in? Yes. Spoiler alert. Damian Priest right. is the new world heavyweight champion. Damian was six. Wow. Down goes. Respectfully, does AJ Styles have some of the best pinning transitions from yeah. the Styles Clash and everything like that? He, this man, not to sound any sort of way, but the man knows how to throw his hips around. Right. How are you doing, AJ? And in honor of Mindy's Bakery, I got muffins. Ah, just there you go. Well, well, shit. Yeah, they, were, they must have been the stale ones Drew had because that right one <laughs> failed. La night for the win. But yeah, I think there's more to AJ. I, I really do. And I mean, again, it's like seeing him like this. You're like, all right, he's good to go for a while. But is it a run or is it put over talent? That's the question. It could be a lot of that. He could be very much a gatekeeper, especially for like that upper middle card, the Razor Ramon kind of role. Yeah. Well, it even did actually have a little bit of AJ's new entrance kind of had a little bit of like, tur, 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 like really? the Razor oh, Ramon boy. sound, honestly. There you go. There you go. Oh, one. How am I 0 oh, 1 on like four matches? It, I, maybe he's referring to the cash in. Like on the big predictions? On one prediction, I am 0-1. Okay, congratulations. <laughs> I'm I'm asking questions. I'm not asking you. I'm asking the chat. I just, I didn't even read it. <laughs> now they can have Finn and Damien dynamic. Yeah, now Finn could go after Ooh, Damien too. Two two. Who's more likely to show up, Brock or MJF? Wait, what? Is Brock actually more likely to show up than MJF? Maybe slightly? Just well, we don't know. We could talk about that if we really wanted to during this match. Of to where Hunter was asked during the media scrum about Brock 
of if he's gone from WWE. And he said, no, he's just at home doing Brock things, which I mean is a little bit of the most Tai Chi answer that I've ever right. seen. And it worked out perfectly. But everyone's like, did you see? That means he didn't say that he's not there. Right. But he also didn't say he is there. So read between the lines. Calf crusher. Almost. Oh, he got it. He got it. Right, right, right. I still There's... want Demon Balor. Demon Balor versus Damian Priest in Scotland. Yeah, good old pumpkin head. <laughs> Peter I mean, it would Tom fit. It's, it's Celtic as shit. I mean, you have Irish. You, I've said Irish versus Scotland, and you just get Ireland versus Scotland the other way, right? Maybe Drew go. Um, maybe Drew goes away for a bit to play into the contract stuff a bit, make people wonder. Maybe, but he's hot right now, though. Yeah, it's it's one of those of. It's like making s'mores. How long do you keep it on the flame when you pull it off and everything like that? And right. it has kind of come out that he has re-signed, whether it's, you know, nudge, nudge, wink, wink so far, as far as them announcing it, but that he's re-signed. Right? Ooh. Ooh. AJ wrapping LA around the post. Good match so far, and we've been rolling. I mean, I've been very happy with what we've gotten to this point. So, folks, AJ Styles, LA Knight, hopefully you got your predictions in. Big Ooh. A little bit of a drive-by there from AJ yeah. Styles on LA Knight's knee. Donuts and beer. Yeah. Uh, almost up there with biscuits and gravy. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking a pancake. Cigar on a waffle. Cigarette and a crepe. Bong and a blitz. <laughs> Bong and a blitz. <laughs> I Ooh. see there is no pleasing you. AJ hitting the ring post. He just thinks AJ's, he's a giant slim gym. Right. AJ is always overlooked as the top guy of all time. Yeah, I think because so much of his career was established away from the Fed, unfortunately, just the way the, it is, he does kind of get overlooked for what an amazing career he had. As LA peels back the protective cover. Uh, the, the padding out here. We've got literally... The unprotected floor out here. Oh, he's going to hit a fucking back body drop. Are we going to get a Styles Clash on this? Yeah, because AJ is no selling the pile driver. Back body drop. He who sets it up must go through it. Such is the laws of pro wrestling. Right. John let us know he's doing ball and blints currently. Ballroom blints. Ballroom blints. <laughs> and the man in the bag. <laughs> Ballroom blitz. Ballroom right. blitz. Oh, are we going to get a count out? Could we? Is this going to be the first potential count out in every match this weekend? As this, right? The only official to actually start to count to 10. <laughs> LA makes it in. Uh, Kyle saying, KJ and Nick. Uh, KJ, like Nick said, do you think they maybe add another match tonight? Possibly something with the women. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did mention that wing on a pause. I don't think so. I'd be very surprised. Like I said, there might be some filler stuff. I mean, we got the Hall of Fame coming up. Maybe, you know, a, a moment or two where, you know, I don't know, someone comes up the ring, cuts a promo, and we get an Austin pop or something like that. But I, I can't see them adding a match. Fair. I could see it. I could see both sides to where they don't do it because certain matches, certain moments are going to really live up to their billing and really kind of need that wide berth, that long runway to fucking touch down here. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, I, I don't want to see too much fluff and everything like that because you might get, you know, the stopwatch society that always is like, well, on a X amount of hour show, they had X amount of wrestling. Well, yeah. how much of X amount of wrestling did you enjoy and how much of X amount show did you enjoy? That's the bigger equation than how much they actually put through the fucking ropes here. No, absolutely. And I mean, again, I think it's rolling along. And I really feel like, and I said this, I think when you were on your pause earlier of, mm. you know, Having oh roll all oh, going for the clash. Clash, clash, not today. Um, 
you know, bringing in a, a, a Cena or, a, you know, an Austin to kind of get involved in something like the main event or, mm-hmm. you know, overbooking things and having more sizzle than steak kind of feels more Vince McMahon than Triple H. I mean, Triple H wants the wrestling to speak. Valid, but I think it's, he's just a better cook with Whoa! it. Like, one force trauma. Whoa. One, two, three. LA Knight. LA Knight with the W. Good match. Right. Snap ending, though. But a little bit. I feel like we've had one or two of those every night so far. Yeah. Uh, of one of those that kind of just it ends and catches you off guard. Mm-hmm. LA beats them clean, ladies and gentlemen. Poor AJ. Hey, not everybody can win, and AJ's fine. AJ's established his legacy. He'll be okay. Trust me, he's swollen up them shoulders enough. They can, you know, burden this fucking cross to bear there. Slim Jim replay. Jesus. Well, did you see that yeah. they had the long boys fan section? And boy, oh, no. that is they literally got it right now. Of that, they've got it with the long boys. I was like, that's the most. Pause for the cause name I've ever heard for a fan section. <sighs> it's a step away from the Boy Scout section. What is happening? Right. Punk is already on a jet home. Probably. Nah, you'll want to watch. You'll want to be around the folks. Well, no, I like this. My 75 inch 4K UHD TV looks perfect from the couch. Cool. Well, at least you got us going on the side there, piece. We'll be your, we'll be your little side piece. We're the side table there, right beside you here. A little side dish, right? A little simmer saute out here because one hundred percent we out here cooking. I thought for half a second you need to run off to go cook there. What the? F- oh, uh, I was cutting to like some American Nightmare and everything. So I'm like, what is happening? Two and one, a little mediocre. This match didn't move the needle for me. Fair enough, fair enough. But I, it goes back to what we were talking about of if they need that fluff and that break in between stuff because we've still got a world title match coming up, we've still got the triple threat match, we've still got the main event coming up. Yeah. So they may need something that's going to be in between that. That's a little catch your breath moment because they came fucking sprinting out of the gate here, right. And just to let everyone know, that new Brahma Bull Bell is on the merch store for 20% off right now. Right. Looking at you, and Bob. Bob. Hey, if Pat's cringy, then what am I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my wife literally just piped up insane. Thank you for that, dear. Love you, too. Known um, so long. Right. Good point, Nick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you guys are killing it as usual. Loving the matches so far. Thank you, Matthews. Matt's tube of you. I added the second syllable for no reason. Um, but yeah, no, thank you so much. We appreciate you being here. Appreciate everyone being here. Over 100 people hanging out with us right now. And again, we always say it. Uh, be a friend, tell a friend. If you know anybody that wants to get in some wrestling content, we got more coming your way. Post Mania, we're going to shuffle some things up as well. So be a friend, tell a friend. Click that little bell. Like, share, subscribe. Do it all things. Often imitated, never replicated, never duplicated. And Boston bringing it up. Richard bringing it up. I don't know if they've officially announced it. They might have just done it on commentary. I saw it mentioned earlier. Yes. We haven't talked about it. Of King and Queen of the Ring coming back to Saudi Arabia in the future here. How are we feeling? Yeah, I tweeted it out earlier today, Nick. It is official that that will be returning. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I, I want to see what we do with this new era. Do they make it matter? Does it feel important again remember former king of the ring champion will be in charge of this tournament it might be better than usual right right and that's happening in saudi arabia right yes okay i like that when you said future you know king of the ring champion my mind instantly went to so austin creed is booking it so <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be featured on up up down down who will Zelina Vega defend her crown here? Oh, uh, I think it's interesting. And yeah, it this new era, and it's so interesting with it still halfway be called the Papa Paul era, the Renaissance era. I feel like it dabbles enough from the old and still pushes forward into the new 
-hmm. at the same time that it's just he's really found this delicate balance and it he's always kind of had a grasp on pro wrestling but i feel like he's got a grasp on pro wrestling in 2024 yeah, I think it's the mix of the old school. He's an old school guy. I mean, he came up, um, you know, through kind of the heyday. And one of, you know, responsible for, you know, arguably one of the biggest things in wrestling history as far as, you know, DX and the runs he had and through the Attitude Era, the, you know, impactful. So he understands what connects. Now he also seems to have his finger on the pulse of what kind of gets the current modern fan kind of going. So, like you said, it's a nice blend. Anthony? <laughs> oh, no, I'm good. I don't have anything. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> I, I don't want to say anything before. I'm trying to, yeah, I'm going I'm to simmer saute here for a quick second. Oh, there he goes. There he goes again. Back down to us. Uh, could LA Knight potentially be in the Money in the Bank ladder match this year? Yes. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I think he has potential to be in that match this year. Maybe, maybe the one to win it on the men's side. Really could be. Um, I had thought maybe Sammy, maybe KO in Toronto. Um, Sammy, maybe not now that he's IC champ. Right. KO, maybe. But LA Knight, I definitely think he should be in it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But we are getting a recap of the Hall of Fame from Friday night, ladies and gentlemen. The show rolls on. More wrestling to get into. But we are taking a little bit of a pause to acknowledge the Hall of Fame. Then what I did forget about called? this segment, like the Hall of Fame segment of them coming out. So this is a good filler, too, to kind of get everybody's yeah. heart rate down. And it's the midpoint, right? We got three more matches to go. Yeah, yeah. We got three more matches to go. So there we go. And it's only, what, 830? So I'm, I'm guessing these matches are going to get some time. Well, we know there's some epic entrances coming our way very soon. True, true. Boom, boom, boom. Great. Another Saudi show. Ah, it is what it is. Uh, King and Queen of the Ring. Facts. Jacob and Zilla are in the building. And they've been working well together on the independent scene, Anthony. They have. They have. And if they both sign with WWE, um, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's implications for tonight's main event. Right. It makes me nervous. It really makes me nervous. Oh, the Bray shirts on the Rotunda, on uh, Mike Rotunda and Wyndham. So Def Rebel is trending on Twitter right now because of the AJ Styles theme song. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Uh, they're not trending in a good way. <laughs> Facts. Bull, Nakano, LA Knight gets the win. But uh, somebody said, uh, where is it? Maybe Uncle Howdy tonight. I do not believe so. I think you saved that for a weekly show. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow, the Raw, you know, after Mania. Yeah, and I could see it. Sorry, Anthony. I said or SmackDown. Yeah, and do you feel like they might do a little bit of a a teaser buildup? in kind of brave fashion like we might get some you know funky you know packages before we you know he just appears yeah i can definitely see that like some some teases before it happens right huge pop for paul Heyman and the ecw theme i love it triple h is top five he's my goat i love the guy Mm -hmm. Tonight is the end of the Roman Reigns era, and it becomes the American Nightmare era. Depends who you ask, Damien. The American Nightmare era. We'll see. We'll see. The neck tattoo era. (laughs) Accusations era. Holy shit. Oh, no. (laughs) New members of the bloodline tonight cost Cody. Holy, I, I, it's plausible. That's definitely plausible. Killing it's me. gonna be an interesting main event. But there is your 
2024 Hall of Fame class, ladies and gentlemen. WWE's changing the culture. It definitely seems that way. Wasn't LA Knight in last year's Money in the Bank? Was he? I'm yes. A, I'm a look. That's 2023 Money in the Bank. I agree with that, Jay. I mean, he it could have. Oh, yeah, he was. He was. There you go. Okay. Money in the Bank match last year. KO and Sammy. Uh, so KO winning the U.S. title, having a moment with Sammy as the IC champ could be fun. Yeah, it'd be a nice touching moment. Oh, yeah, it'd be a cool moment if that happens. I, I'm, I'm, that's why I changed my pick from Logan Paul to Kevin Owens. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping for it. Yeah, it sounds good. And I still didn't change my pick. So that's kind of funny. <laughs> Uh, my buddy Jonas was a huge wrestling fan. He and was more into AEW. He passed away early yesterday, and I thought, uh, I think though he would have been into this action so far. T's and P's, Matt. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, our heart and uh, our prayers go out to you. Um. But yeah, I mean, AEW fan, WWE fan doesn't really matter at the end of the day. That's why we love this channel. We bring everybody together. So right. We appreciate you being here. As I get, are you getting the uh, Bray Wyatt dot? I am. I am. What are you fellas' favorite WrestleMania 40 moments so far? Ooh, the cash in. I was just about to say, I, literally, y'all saw, saw my reaction. So, yeah, it's definitely the cash in. <laughs> yeah, cash in, close second, Sami Zayn. Yeah, yeah. Paul and WWE will lose uh, move Saudi out of the dark ages. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. How many years do they have on that contract? Was it 10? I believe it was 10. Yes. Yeah. I don't know how far we're into that now. Six. But they also just, you know, made that whole WWE experience in Saudi Arabia. So I don't know if that will end. True. At the end of the 10 year deal. Yeah, that's a good point. Seth and Drew going to AEW. <laughs> <laughs> Confirmed. Yeah, it will be Drew versus Lee Moriarty this Wednesday. Uh, chances we get juicy soon? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, it looks uh, like we're getting a triple threat match next. Your backwards is actually forward. Pause. Up next, U.S. title. There you go, folks. Get your predictions in. Randy Orton, Kevin Owens, Logan Paul. The U.S. title will be on the line. And just, I know we've talked about, like, the night's been kind of fun and crazy so far, Anthony. I can only imagine, like, this match is going to be another one to add to the doc. Yeah, I think this match is going to have some crazy moments in it, too, especially with Logan Paul being involved. There's no doubt going to be some crazy moments. Um, I think, I think like, our prediction was kind of right, where at night one really kind of leads into night two of how yep. Triple H did it. Uh, night one, now I can say, was a little bit slower. We had yep. halfway through night two, so night one was a little bit slower. But he came in strong with night two, and um, it hasn't let up yet. No, not at all. And, I mean, again, you know, we get a little breather halfway through and then right back into something that's going to be very compelling, a hard mm -hmm. match to predict. And if any indication of what we've gotten already tonight, who knows what's going to happen here. Right. It really could be where um, Logan Paul retains, Randy Orton being U.S. champion, you know, with his big return a couple of months ago, and then Kevin Owens having that sweet moment with Sami Zayn. So there's a lot of possibilities. Like you said yeah. earlier, this one is the um, hardest match to predict. I think so, yeah. Want Randy to win, but Logan might uh, seal it, steal it maybe too. I'm not voting. I have no chance of winning. Vote anyway. Don't give up. Don't quit. 
Right. It's the fun of it. Right. Randy Orton for the win. Logan Paul for the win. KO for the win. So even with the fan vote, like Logan retains, mm -hmm. it's kind of split. Question. What the uh, question is, what does KO jump off an X or an L? There you go. <laughs> right. <laughs> I have no doubt that Logan Paul is retaining. Logan, KO for the win. I have hated the whole Saudi thing because I couldn't support promoting a country that does what they do. However, it does look like they are starting to improve. Try and keep the as much of the politics out of my entertainment as I can. <laughs> right, right. This place sucks, dude. Go Randy Orton, go. Anyone else see Cody is now a prime sponsored athlete? There you oh, go. Oh, yeah, I saw that yesterday. Yes. I saw that yesterday. I also see, I'm not sure. I was trying to look more into it while I was on my pause, but um there's a partnership with Roman Reigns and in a shoe company. Yes. Okay. So that's legit. Okay. I believe so. Yeah, I think it's for Air Jordans. I think that's, I mean, I think that's what they're calling it. I th think they're calling it like Roman Jordans or something. I'm not sure. Air Roman. Yeah, Air Roman. I think that's about time. I know a lot of people on social media have called for some type of shoe deal with the wrestlers. So maybe this is a start. Right. And we got Logan Paul. What is this? What is he writing? Yeah. Not voting. Who earns? A Logan. prime truck. Oh, that's what it is. Look at this. This is a walking phallic symbol. <laughs> Is there actual prime in that bottle? It looks like it might be a hose. Oh, it's a prime cannon. Ah. <laughs> Pat McAfee. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was great. See you for night three. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll call that night three. Damn, now I gotta stop drinking Prime. Why now? Because of Cody? Roman Reigns got a Jordan brand deal. Fact. Air Reigns. There you go. Air, Air Reigns. Reigns. I, like, I like that name. Roman and Air Jordans. There you go. Rooting for Randy. KO will jump off the balcony. Air Romans. I gotta get me two pairs. Size 13. <laughs> you know Dustin is coming out I don't think so I don't think so but he is there it's been spotted yeah I don't it, he's still under contract with um AEW right yeah I don't think I, I don't think that's happening no I don't think it will happen I don't know maybe Cody like decides to f they, they go fight up into the box <laughs> Just so right. Dustin's. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you didn't come on to the show. The show came on to him. Exactly. Wow. Ricky Starks at WrestleMania with Dustin. Oh, I'm looking at a picture now. Yeah, Ricky Starks up there supporting his buddy. Future WWE uh, belt holder. Absolutely. I'm seeing the... Um... Drew McIntyre is all elite graphic everywhere on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> People actually think Drew's going to go out on that, that Drew's not going to want to come back. He's just, that's his right. career. They're definitely setting up for Drew and um, Damien at, um, what is it, Scotland? Yeah. Lashley Castle. Yeah. How long before Melter reports uh, CM Punk forces Drew McIntyre out of the company? Oh, look. 
<laughs> we got the same. No. Oh, now I think I should have picked KO. Uh, did I make the right choice in changing? Oh, dude, you might be onto something. The douche truck. Yeah, in fact. I wish Logan was on fire. That's not very nice, John. <laughs> and Kevin Owens. He's already looking at the stage of like, so this is where I'm going to jump from? Exactly. <laughs> like, how am I going to use this? Mm, oh, I, I like his the set, the KO Mania, and it looks like it's like an ECW wording. Yeah. Yeah. Where's he going? Oh, look, he's got a golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a KO guy, and I kind of have to be. Yeah, KO in the ECW colors. Anthony calling it. He's winning. He's winning. Woo! I kind of got that <laughs> vibe. The minute I saw Sammy, I'm like, oh, they might be doing this. Right. Ricky Starks will be NXT champion before 2025. I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what is KO doing? Picking up Randy? No way. It just runs him over? Matt, you're not in this match anymore, Randy. <laughs> KO was like, come on, get in. <laughs> you're ruining my entrance, bro. <laughs> this, is, this is turning into more of a two-on-one handicap match. KJO. <laughs> <laughs> KO Kurt. Well, it's not a four wheeler, but Austin approves. <laughs> <laughs> KO Mania, KO Golf Cart, KO and Randy's friend thing about to bite them in the ass. Logan's retaining. I'm with you, Boston. I'm with you. Boston, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that you told him, not me. Yeah. <laughs> Ride the golf cart. Let's go. KO uh, would uh, get blown up if he had to walk to the ring. That is not true. KO is a deceivingly good athlete. Right. I love it. And if you could, if you could take a cart, wouldn't you? Let's be real. Right. What a ride. <laughs> Speaking of what a ride. <laughs> uh, pause on that. I am not. I, well, I guess, fuck it. I'll go all Ric Flair. I am Space Mountain. <laughs> I may not have the longest line. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Predictions close. Triple threat on the way. And Nick, I don't know if you caught the festivities leading into these entrances. Sammy there for KO. Logan had a douche truck. And uh, <laughs> Kale had a cart with Randy on it. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, yeah, we had golf cart mania. We we had the douche, no canoe. Uh, um, and 100%, you, you needed that Sammy moment of your turn now. That's what I think this is going to be. This is going to be, I think, a fantastic match. This is... Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to stay like it is right now though, of Logan Paul getting beat from pillar to post here. Yeah, I need me a, a, a fresh pair of Air Romans. 100%. Do they have a little pump up? And then every time you pump them, they say, acknowledge me? <laughs> you click the heels together. <laughs> there's no place like Heyman. There's no manager like Heyman. There's no manager like Heyman. Yeah, you stay out of Heyman. <laughs> I'm in. If the shoe fits, wear it. Oh, pause. <laughs> <laughs> Logan Paul was shooting dude wipes in <laughs> out of a cannon. No, douche wipes. There's, there, there's a couple extra letters in there. Douche wipes instead of dude wipes. Right. 
And the prime bottle, by the way, is running around again. So we can only hey, assume. KSI. Logan Road in on the brand. <laughs> no way he's losing. I don't think so. Oh, I'm going to take my drink to the hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Randy. But I, you do bring up a very valid point of like, especially with his brother going to be on Netflix, we're going to have the deal for Monday Night Raw on Netflix. What better exposure than him walking out there? You know, what better kind of segue tie in than him walking out there with a U.S. title? As, yes. You know, uh, Jake's about to go and fight Mike Tyson. Now, granted, it might be coming out to why can't we be friends? Why can't <laughs> we be friends? But still. Oh, man. Uh, I love seeing Logan Paul double team this whole match. But yeah, Nick, that was why I picked Logan. I figure I feel like Logan's done a good job. He's been a solid heel. Uh, yeah, it just continues. They're going to do the big show in Cleveland. He's going to be the poster boy for it. Yeah, I'm 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 all for sticking with my pick. Well, it is that, you know, that kind of thin line that high wire act here of do they lean into the internet, the social media exposure, the exposure much more outside of just your WWE audience? Or do they go the way that's going to really pay off for your WWE viewership, your your regular viewers of the, the Sammy and KO moment of they have their mania moment? Oh, RKO almost. <laughs> it, it's breaking <laughs> down here. <laughs> Randy, with the I did I do that? <laughs> I mean, it is a triple threat. It's not a, a two on one handicap match. You left up, chance started, but that could be though the potential to where Randy steals this because, like Anthony just said, there this is a triple threat, not yeah. a handicap match. You could have KO and Logan are so encapsulated and caught up with fighting each other that Randy slides in. Oh, like the right double Larry, double buckshot, double buckshot. Mm -hmm. Double barrel shotgun to the chest. Sorry, Nick. Sorry. No, you're good. Randy's hilarious. Randy's amazing. Randy's a guy very much that we've even, like we were talking about a bit with AJ Styles. So Randy's a guy I think that kind of knows He's on the back nine, so I'm going to spend my time and be thankful with what a time I got left to yeah. how can I push this shit along. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I think a lot of it, yeah, about enjoying the moment. And, you know, again, I think they're having fun with, you know, mentoring the, uh, the next generation and being that kind of role, that locker room leader. Well, especially he, with a guy like Randy who – his last moment could have literally been his last moment. Yeah. Um, with the back injury and everything. Oh, Tyson, Tyson comes out and knocks out the wrong Logan. That'd be funny if Tyson showed up just because. Oh, super kick. Oh, oh. Both men in the corner. Double cannonball. <laughs> Suck it. Suck it. Cannonball. I'm loving the KOs with all the the ECW vibe to the entrance to his gear. But again, have we had overly Paul Levesque references here outside of oh. just you know giving him his praise and his flowers of everything? Of Regeneration X comes out with the DX intro. We are we've had already within the first hour like probably half a dozen suck it taunts and everything. Of <laughs> we're we're very much you know paying homage. Right. Yesterday we had what Tommaso Champa, and um, uh, you know, they came out as uh DX in a way, so regeneration X. Yeah, they even made sure to hit the su the super kick and the pedigree, right? It's easy to be a heel when you're horrible per a hor horrible person. It's called leaning into it, yes. I am aware that I am an asshole. I really <laughs> don't care. That's what it is. It's 
Somebody just commented, we sing a lot over here. Yep, you have that. We're, we're you know, triple threat. Triple threat. Well, we're the fucking King Ghidorah out here. We got three heads and we all just <laughs> try not to talk <laughs> at the same time. Hey, Time Warner, you can use that as a plug for your new fucking movie of Kong versus Godzilla, the new, the new kingdom there. There you go. There you go. I've done more selling your show than the Bucks have done. <laughs> We're getting Gatorade chance. That's hilarious. H2O. H2O. <laughs> Gatorade's better. <laughs> Prime sucks. It really, really sucks. <laughs> Are we going to get fucking <laughs> Adam Sandler out here? <laughs> my mama said, my mama said, Logan Paul is the devil. Oh, out goes Logan. KO on Randy. Big clothesline from Randy, though. I want to see Tyson knock out Logan Paul. I'd be okay with it. Mike Tyson is going to be a scary human being, respectfully, until he is unfortunately no longer amongst us. Yeah, he, he is a scary individual. Right. Oh. Oh, rape over DDT, the vintage Randy Orton. Oh, go for oh, 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 want to be buckshot into the snap over side slam. There, beautiful. Nick gonna sing, I'm not like most girls. Yeah, we were asking about that yesterday. We were, were you here for that? I'm not like Mosca. <laughs> <laughs> and Randy hooking both men up. Nia Jax is just the shifty Ooh. dog from The Simpsons. She just keeps looking sideways all the time. Double drape over DDT. H2O. Who that? Who dare? If Riddle would have not got canned. Uh, we would have been seeing Randy and versus Riddle at WrestleMania. Quite possibly. Depends on who you ask. If you ask any sensible thinking man, yes, we probably would have had that. If you ask Matt Riddle, right. we would have been seeing Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre and all this other bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, is Randy out the equation for a minute? Looks like it. Oh, yeah, he ate a cold breaker. As well as hitting a backdrop on Logan here. We're going to get a bullfrog splash. Randy back. The rock is in the bottle. The final drink. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't rub it like I expected a genie to pop out. You're rubbing it too much. <laughs> oh, we're going to get a Tower of Doom spot here. We're going to get the, the superplex into the power bomb. Everybody going to be down here. What's oh. happening? Headbutt. Logan drops out. Yeah. Headbutt's on to Randy. Orton fought out of that. Oh, Logan setting up for a superplex. Oh, wow. I don't even know what they're calling it. Is that a power slam? Yeah. Like a almost a fisherman power slam. Yeah. Moon salt. Oh. Those. I know we got eclipse coming up later tonight, but I think Kevin Owens yeah, just right. turned that there with that goddamn moon salt. That's more moons over my hammy. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's funny shit. <laughs> two gown, two gown. Now, interesting is going to be, oh, as we keep getting the tease, RKO. No. One, two, two gown, two gown. Oh. Oh, wow. KO kicked out of the RKO. For everyone in that Austin Theory, or Austin Theory, I, I said it right the wrong way, but it sounded the wrong way. 
um, for later on tonight and everything, do we see a Stone Cold Stunner tonight, like right now, and then see the, the real version of it later tonight? Maybe. Okay. Maybe. I'm kind of regretting not picking KO, but I'm still, I still think Logan's got this. Oh, Logan Paul has the brass knuckles. When he does the Roman Reigns. He does the Roman shotgun arm shit. <laughs> Misses with the knocks. Oh, Randy, get me. Don't miss Knuckles. That Knuckles is in the prime box. <laughs> Shout out, stand and deliver. Oh, my God. Logan knocking out Randy Orton. Not like One, this. Two. Two go, two go, two go, two go. Oh. I want him to win. I didn't want him to win in that spot. Not this way. Not this way. What is in Prime? Is it hairspray or Amazon spray or Amazon Prime? Both. Thank Both. you, for saying, Robert. Oh, oh, brass knucks to the belly and the face. Never punch a man in his beard. <laughs> <laughs> Good flow. KO, the flying beard <laughs> may or may not be related RKO! to the flying Dutchman. RKO no! ain't nowhere. He's down. He's down. And I even heard somebody's dinging notification going off because <laughs> they were so excited about that RKO out of nowhere. <sighs> Corey Graves is bring up a good point. I don't even know. He knows where he is right now. Right. I don't trust that bottle. I've said that before. <laughs> yeah. Sadly, unfortunately, you still probably end up finishing it. Pause. Facts. Logan said hi to the green shirt guy. Must have made his day. <laughs> have you heard about CryptoZoo? <laughs> <laughs> As he gives the brass knuckles to the ref. The ref's like, what do I do with these? Well, I was going to say, he's looking confused. Where did you get these from? I've never seen these before in my life. Right. Ooh, oh, wow. Randy going for the punt? Yeah. Oh. oh, the prime bottle pulls them out. It's got to be. He's going to punt take a prime bottle. Do it. <laughs> Randy Orton breaks ankle on Prime Bottle. Shit. I what? I smoke speed. What? What was his name? Uh, yeah, something like that. I, <laughs> yeah, I didn't really I catch all of it. Line. Sorry, Anthony. Go ahead. Oh, I was like, I didn't catch all of it of the name. Well, everyone's saying I show a speed. It is not KSI, but I'm gonna take a line from uh, Connor of who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> Isn't that the new show on? Is this the the Speed Champion? What, what, what do you mean? Right, <laughs> Speed. Why is he barking at Randy Orton? I don't know, and I don't know if I care. Right. Are like, are we showing our age? Does anyone on this stream right now know who I Show Speed is? People are right. Who is I Show Speed, and why I should I care? <laughs> what a fucking stupid name. Speed is hilarious. Whoa. No, I think if you do speed, you think you're hilarious. You're not. Yeah. He's a YouTuber. 23.3 million followers. Yep. YouTuber and rapper. Okay. The dog is dead. The dog is dead, says Michael. Who the f is that guy? I will still stand by that statement. But RKO onto the table and... This table holding up, big eh, break. Ooh, Randy into the post. Most famous meme material. Oh, pop a power bomb. Pop up. Oh. Stunner. Oh, he pins Orton for this one, one count. Was it a two count? I thought I, I counted one. Then again, I've never been good with maths. 
<laughs> I'm just counting the rest fingers in the air. <laughs> How many fingers am I holding? Up? <laughs> well, I mean, if you count, you're fired. So, right. Cole's acting like he, sorry. Yeah, guys. Cole acted like he actually knew who he was. <laughs> this is the same guy that was almost going to fire Pat over jeans or over uh, suit shorts. There, right. I'm hip. I'm with it. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I'm out here with the hipping and the hopping and the bipping and the bopping. Table is resilient tonight. Banger match. You have a great triple threat, guys. Reinforced main table. Oh! <laughs> oh! Yes! Pop up! Oh! RKO! And there's the steel. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, oh, oh! Counters. Oh, into the ring post goes. Randy Orton, Logan Paul up top. Frog splash. Us. One, two. I've been on fire this weekend. I'm sorry. But, and still, your U.S. champion, Logan Paul. Man, I wish I didn't change my pick. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hell of a match. Yeah. A hell of a match. The and the fact that he had to sneak it and steal it to win it works. 100%. Yes. And again, every example that we talked about, though, of everything going on outside of WWE, mm -hmm. you have Logan Paul referencing the WWE, sitting there with a WWE championship uh, in every sort of press conference he does, in any yeah. sort of promotional material he does, anything like that. And now... To an extent, this does free up um, Kevin Owens to go above and beyond or go outside this. This does, you know, free up Randy Orton to go above and beyond and outside this. And with Waller and Theory winning the tag belts last night, now you've got a nice little douchey trio here. You've got yeah. a douchey kayak and maybe not a canoe, but at least a kayak. Well, you got the <laughs> canoe and two paddles. Let's go. <laughs> Was it a rock movie without a paddle, or was that uh, like a Seth Green movie? Yeah, that was uh, that's Dax and uh, oh fuck the the little nah, yeah yeah and I know the, the movie that you I love that yeah, like I said it was a Seth Green one Seth Green hey All Anthony right, Austin, you can have that one ah uh, there you go all right you can have it <laughs> I'm not changing my Roman pick I see your your comment <laughs> I'm not changing that. If he loses, he loses. We still got a couple yeah, hours. Give it time. Three and I've one. I've been a Roman guy since the big dog days. I'm not changing it. I, look, this is exactly why he won. This picture right here that I said they were going to take. Yeah. The sky pick of him hugging the, the logo on the mat. <laughs> you know what I love more than anything? Me. That's 100% <laughs> what this is with Logan Ball. Can we be, to be serious for a moment, his frog splash is ridiculous. To be serious for a moment, um, yeah. he is one hundred percent. If I could be serious for a moment here, um, spoken like a true Canadian, right? Um, <laughs> that, or at least a real Canadian. But he's one of, if not the most athletic, and one of the best kind of transitions from outside of pro wrestling into pro wrestling. Yeah, I think yeah. you can. You can take your bad bunnies, you can take your snookies, and you can have that. He loves Snoopy in there. Hey, she's won at a WrestleMania. So, fuck it. <laughs> I think people try to forget that, though. They, they do. Everyone did. Snooky tried to forget it. <laughs> Trish Stratus tried to forget it. Right? Yeah. Well, she wanted to fight about it. But <laughs> <laughs> Five and one. Would anyone care if Logan was in WWE if he did not have a belt? I think so. I think the way he's been pre like presented, yeah, the belt just helped. Logan, Paul, right there, respectfully. He might be a douchebag. He's 100% a douchebag probably in real life. Mm -hmm. But you're still going to care. You're still going to pay attention. And like you were even saying there, we had kind of talked about, he hits a buckshot lariat better than Hangman. He hits a frog splash up on par almost, I do say, with Eddie Guerrero, at least Kevin Ooh. Owens. So this man's got talent in and outside of the ring. Yeah, I think if you showed somebody a Logan Paul match and didn't tell them it was Logan Paul, if he was 
you know, completely covered and you was just some random luchador, yeah. people would compliment him. Oh, shit, look at him wrestle. But because it's Logan Paul, it hinders it. The only reason he had, like, not the only reason, but the number one reason he has the belt is the photo ops, is the mm. social media. You know, it's going to be at the Tyson fight, you know, that kind of shit. Absolutely. And he, like you were kind of even saying there, if he really went full bore, like he, he's been probably the most, you know, full on into pro wrestling outside of those, you know, celebrity influences and everything. Um, but if he was just screwed, I'm going to be a full time performer, like his brother's trying to pretend to be a full time boxer. Um, right. he, he would be 100%. You saw him weekly, everything like that. You could see a run to where. There could be a man year or two from now to where he's main eventing it for a world title. And not just because he's Logan Paul, but because of what he's put in and because of the athleticism of the talent he has. Right. All right, looks like we're getting EO Sky versus Bailey next. I'm excited for this one. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm waiting for KJ to be wrong on this one. <laughs> You've been waiting for me to be wrong all night long, though, bro. <laughs> all night long. <laughs> hey, no. as long, honestly, respectfully, I love Bailey. I love Pamela, but you can even have this one and be right. As long as I get the last one right, that's all that matters. Yeah, I do. This one makes me really nervous about whether I'm right or not. I, I feel like, you know, EO goes into this being a huge underdog. So I might get lucky, though. But hey, the heel won. The heel won, though, with the last one. So my That's theory is falling in. The last three matches, all heels, maybe. No, Just Bobby won. No, the uh, next three, like the last three of the show. Oh, all oh, right. I was like, <laughs> I, was the like the last three. I was like, wait, hold on. <laughs> I got to run back. Rewind. Uh, Logan got so much air on that frog splash. He did. That, he was at the top of that stadium. <laughs> it was a little like, blah! <laughs> Not the full, like, you know, RVD momentum there. It was more of just like, blah! <laughs> Splash. Right. As we are getting the package for EO Sky and Becky, or Bailey, up next, folks. Uh, I will remind everybody who's watching, we're back at this tomorrow night and all week long, Monday for Raw, Tuesday for NXT. We'll see what the fallout is like. We'll see what the Raw After Mania brings us. We might see some surveillance footage on Wednesday, and we'll be here live for that as well. So all week long, all the way into Impact, SmackDown again. We're looking forward to it. We got more coming your way. Dynasties on the horizon. Rebellion. We still watch our indie shows. Lots of content, folks. Be a friend. Tell a friend. Click the button. I, Anthony, do you have something? Nope, go ahead. Okay. No, I, I I heard you deep breathe, so I was like waiting for it there. But um, no, I, I just came up on me as you were talking about the surveillance footage. We had GCT or GTV and everything like that, and, and you know WWE Anonymous. Um, do we get BCTV, um, or BTV there with Bucks te Television there with this surveillance mm -hmm. footage here? Yeah, I feel like we could get like a yeah BTE vibe situation Ugh. Oh. well the whole situation is uh, uh, but yeah <laughs> the whole situation is a is a hot mess <laughs> and the fact that we're still talking about this what six months seven months later is just crazy it's insane I, I i we were out here covering the super bowl and everything like that i feel like they need to listen to the taylor swift song of we are never ever ever <laughs> getting back simple. together simple oh look at this oh this is a cool bailey entrance bailey looking good she broke the internet again today or i guess yesterday Anyone else thinking this gives you Katy Perry, Juicy J vibes a little bit? <laughs> Someone asked when we get <laughs> So we're getting uh, apparently the Egyptian goddess of 
Bailey coming out here with her her wings askew. Icarus. <laughs> oh, oh, does she fly too close to the sun? Well, you're really gonna say that with EO, the the fucking <laughs> the one who does all the flying. Wow, they flipped back into her. She got some new music. Yeah. It sounds like it's made by Def Rebel. It definitely <laughs> does. <laughs> Again, I guess not friends of the channel, unfriends of the channel will never be on the channel. Def Rebel. <laughs> uh, Bailey for the win. Oh my God, so many ads. Welcome to Mania. We don't. It's the Super Bowl of wrestling. What can we do? It's that. It's the Woodstock. It's the Fest of Us for the rest of us all fucking rolled up into one, I feel a little bit. Right. Uh, John says Logan Paul's hype is because WWE put a championship belt around his waist. I disagree completely. No, his hype is why they put a championship around him. Right. I think he was hyped way before that. Yeah. I wish I had a ding sound, like a correct... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they didn't give him the hype. He is the hype, right? Yeah. That would make the hype. <laughs> Logan Paul is world champion one day. Maybe it make it would make yeah. Damien sick. <laughs> if Logan Paul or Damien Priest are my world champions in WWE, might be an issue. <laughs> might be a, a middle of an issue. <laughs> Is anyone else getting 1990s X-Men cartoon vibes off this song? Yeah. I mean, it did yeah. just come back. Of, da -da 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 it did. Da -da -da right. It did oh, just come back. <laughs> Honestly, respectfully, though, if Bailey was going to be an X-Men, she needs to be Rogue. Because, A, she got that wagon. And, B, I feel like she could pull off that cosplay. One of my favorite entrances in the business, though. Your world champion. That's Is it cool crazy game. to think that she was not with the company at one point? Yeah, that's the that's the, the insane part of the like you think of even watching the Bray Wyatt documentary, you're like, shit, they released this guy. Like the, the, there's so many people that were just cast away that were talented. Right, a lot of people that they like Dakota, even Dakota Kai was gone, you know. Yeah, it's crazy. Literally, the only person that stayed with this company that's in this faction right now anymore is Asuka. Right, everybody yeah. else is a rehire. Facts, crazy. Oh, well, I, I, even sorry, they're mentioning about the, the, the six woman sag match from last night again. Yeah, even right there. The only one that was throughout that was that was with the company was Bianca. Yeah, Naomi's a rehire, Jade's a new hire. Yeah. Is Sasha in the building? I have not had any Mercedes reports. No. Same. I haven't seen anything about Sasha. No, Bailey's from San Jose. I love when people say that's funny as hell. Someone said, Is Bailey from Egypt? No, she's from San Jose. <laughs> She's out there with the hieroglyphics. Yeah, no, I think Sasha's probably staying warm out there in the, the in the Mercedes Monet's out there. You know, she's watching on the phone or something. Right. So happy she's getting this moment. All right, last call. You got a couple seconds here. The prediction will close up. Look. What's that? I was just saying, hot damn, does EO look good? And man, I'm going EO all the way. I'm not changing. Last chance, boys. I'm Take not changing. Bailey. I'm still Bailey. Team Bailey turns into Jungle Boy. Oh, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> yeah, no, I need I, my A Bailey. Ooh, ah, I want to know. The Will you be my girl? They're not in the UK, bro. I don't care. I'll sing it. I know I'm off key and can't find keys. I'm like a fucking guy who's trying to do a break in on a car if I can't find the keys. Right. Um, I love these camera shots. So nice and crisp. Like it feels like Bailey's in my living room. Dreams do come true. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey wins unless Julia shows up. 
I think she goes to NXT. Big Let's Bailey see. chance. Sorry, guys. It could be that little bit of a crossover. I know we had talked about it, but that could happen. Could happen. Anyone hear MJF's in the building? I have not heard that. No. I, I that was just me trying to calm my heart rate or my heart rate down right there uh, of saying that MJF might be there if that happens. Yeah. yeah. Eos guy's entrance needs something special. I liked her entrance. I mean, they didn't do any extra, but not everybody can have like an ex- like a, a mummer's parade. Right. Her music to me is enough. Yeah. I think she has like the best music right now in WWE. I love her entrance. I really do. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, not everybody can come out amongst Def the mums. <laughs> Sorry. I, I was saying, I don't know if that one was made by Def Rebel. Henry <laughs> is going hard in the band. I got a heat with Death Rebel. <laughs> I'm like, listen, I proved yesterday I can sing, and y'all fuckers can do music. So let's talk about it. Right. Uh, I know they have heaters, I guess, to keep the wrestlers warm. Generally, the purpose of a heater, yes. Yeah, Paul Heyman's a great heater. Um, I, <laughs> Paul back there keeping Roman warm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're off and running. But Bailey for the win. Big presentation though there with Eo of saying, "Just come at me, bro. Yeah. Uh, I ain't got to chase you. You got to chase me. I'm the champion." Yeah, you're getting your chance, bro. You're getting your chance. Hey, Ooh. Ah, I want to know. Be oh. Heart shot by Bailey. Stoner Jesus fan. There you go. <laughs> we call him Vitamin <laughs> Jesus around here. Right? Or Buddy Christ. <laughs> Spliff be with you and also with you. <laughs> <laughs> Eo has some of the best music in WWE. Her aura is A1. That's a fact. Shit, I was almost going to come up with another pun of, you know, past that uh, collection plate on the left hand side. <laughs> uh, Sorry. Uh, the Bailey will destroy what she created pretty soon. She might have to. Oh, hey! Oh, 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 I don't like the pull up there. Uh, Bailey instantly kind of grabs at the knee of the quad I, there. I was just about to point that out. Landed on her hip, leg, side, Charlie horse. Hopefully, it's not knee. Thickness, wagon. <laughs> we had a wagon accident. <laughs> <laughs> so, wagon breakdown at the OK no. Corral. Ah, uh, she's favoring that that leg a little bit but again that always does play well and nicely oh as she instantly so eo's playing into it but that's where it plays that nice little tap dance of is it shoot or is it kayfabe is this mm-hmm. you know are they playing this because of the match or is that an actual thing like oscar had it a, a couple weeks ago to where she pulled up pretty hot and heavy on her knee and everything and then we're still out there wrestling yeah that is that is true. So this could just be a part of the match. One would hope. One would hope. Oh. Yeah, as EO's really focusing on this, I mean, maybe if it's an audible, if it's a pivot or anything, but yeah, I'm hoping it's just part of the match. Yeah, I think they're uh once once EO starts working into it, I kind of got that vibe, right? Right. Yeah. Well, and especially because oh. WWE is very much one of those of the second that they feel we saw it with, what was it? It was, I think the last like Oba match or something like that to where it was Oba and Gacy to yeah. where the second that they thought something wasn't on the up and up, they, they called an audible and then they still played out the rest of it. You know, the post-match you had Gacy throwing chairs at, you know, Dillinger and everything, right. but they called an audible and they'll call a match off quicker yeah. Oh, double stomp by EO. 
Paul, thank you so much for the super chats. And remember, folks, if you want to guarantee you get clicked, click that super chat, get in there, and it's always nice to uh nice to support the channel. In 2018, if anybody said EO Sky and Dakota Kai would be at WrestleMania, I would have said I would have said, Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh I believe, I mean, 2018. That was what well, probably when they both were showing up at NXT. I mean, so maybe that might have been putting the, the cart or potentially the wagon before the horse. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I could very much see, obviously, down the road of where we're going to get there. But, yeah. feel like EO never got established title reign. I think EO's title reign has been all right, especially because it's been so tied to this story, right? Mm -hmm. Oh shit! How she turned that around? <laughs> well, I don't know who got the worst of that. That looked like a DDT and a spinebuster just met in the middle here. <laughs> Looks like Eo like was a victim of her challengers. Of Sorry. Could be. No, I was just saying it looks like Eo got the worst of it. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Two count. Two count. Bailey Blue Hair could be a Sasha tribute. Well, I was gonna say Bailey borrows Sasha Pink's purple <laughs> wig. Well, we were just talking about blue hair. So which is it? Blue or purple? Are you colorblind or not? <laughs> wouldn't Sasha say like if she borrowed Sasha's, wouldn't it say like CEO in the back of the head? It it, it would look have cheetah print and everything, you know, <laughs> all that. It it'd have a spoiler over here and a muffler over there, all that shit. Oh, one, two. What a side slam by Bailey. Bailey pulling out a lot of things tonight. Ooh. Damn it. Is it still really interesting to think back and look back on of Bailey was out here with the wacky wave of inflatable arm flailing two men and everything, and now she's out here as the veteran in this match. Yeah. Speaking of wacky wave, <laughs> wacky. Oh. Um this woman's championship match is sponsored by Dude Wipes. Come on. <laughs> no. Well it, well, it is on the post, but actually we've been a little bit more subtle. Maybe they heard the feedback of, like, we don't need all of the advertisement. Maybe yeah. just some of the advertisement. Right. I don't yeah. think, yeah, like last night it was almost every match. Tonight, not so much. Oh, he, he wasn't. I thought he was. I thought you were just joking, Boston. I see it now. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Moonsault. Oh. Moonsault really? to the floor. At least it's not brought to you by Lubiderm. I'll give you that. Right. <laughs> What's up, Chris? How you doing? How you doing? The chef is in the house. Right, right, right. Has Bailey had knee injuries in the past for shoot? Yes, she was out for a knee, was she not? Yeah, she was out over a yeah. year, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for shoot bad oop, uh, she I think has had a, a knee injury a time or two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I got you, boss. And I thought you were just being a smart ass, but sometimes life writes the jokes for you, <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly, though. MDB, great minds. This match is brought to you by Jerry. <laughs> Down, boy. I saw it. He said it. I can't get in trouble. Facts. All you did was read. Well, sometimes you can get in trouble reading too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Whoa. shit. Into the corner. Sunset bomb into the corner. I came in like a Bailey bomb. Oh, Ooh, that, that was a close two. three count. Does Mission have gimmick infringement rights on Bailey out here with the blue hair? Who? Me, yeah. I know Mission. I know oh, we don't know her color that, but yeah, me, yeah. Mm -hmm. How will you be my girl? Yeah, screw you. And oh, we're not in the UK. These are my <laughs> people. That's it. I was, I was uh, proven wrong very quick into the match. Yeah, now let's see if when you're proven wrong at the end of this match, too. Oh, bridging. Oh, Ooh. trying to roll through oh. it. Looks more like a mount position there. Oh, that Ooh. picture right there of Bailey's face. 
Woo! Folded. I think we're getting Carmella, Alexa. Oh, you can see them talking. You're <laughs> respectfully. You can see Bailey trying to do yeah. this, and she's just. Da, 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 da. You really dropped me on my head, eh? <laughs> right. You, you're really gonna do that right now? You kind of fucked me up. Going out for the moon salt. Ooh, knees up. Oh, well. Oh, oh. it hurt her more. Oh, that looked like such an awkward way to push your knees up, though. Like, <laughs> what were you doing? You got caught right. between knees up and a mule kick there. Put your legs up in the air. Put your yeah, legs push up your leg up in the air. <laughs> yeah, but now she's, you know, hop along Johnson out here. Anyone having audio trouble? Not me. Nope. No, no, no. Oh, 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 get her tap. Nah, tap. nah, 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 nah. Roll through, roll through, backslide one, two, two go, two go. Good match, guys. Right? Oh, oh, oh back into it, though. Back into a cross face. Quinn's got a good idea. WWE needs a wrestling for life network at wrestle <laughs> for WrestleMania. That's why you need to be a friend, tell a friend, like, share, and subscribe. And then we'll be, you know, I mean, we'll probably still be here live, but we had the option of then to, you know, get the media seats and everything like that. We can get the, you know, the advertisements. Odd angle for that fisherman. You got a really good view of like Bailey's face squished in that fisherman. Yeah. Oh, she's trying to fight out. Eo so good. I uh, listen. I uh, she tore up NXT. Oh, Bailey to Bailey. Bailey. One, two, kick out, kick out. Can I say respectfully that Bailey the Belly just looks like a weak ass finishing move? Like it's absolutely like if you if this was a wrestling game, that's a signature move. Like you expect a kick out after that, right? This is a belly to belly. Yeah, it's just a belly to belly suplex. Oh, wait. <laughs> Let go. Let go. <laughs> <laughs> Said in most fights. Just let go. All right. It doesn't have to be this way. <laughs> what the fuck was that EO laugh? <laughs> 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 My pizza in the oh. oven, MDB, ultimate Pete. Whoa, pause. All the meat and all the sausage. Well, sausage, my guy. Belly, oh. Oh, 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 oh wow, oh. wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Bailey to roll over. <laughs> yeah. Roll over, Beethoven. Oh, egg breaker. Uh, Anyone I... else thought she was about to hit a J driller? Yes. Anyone? I'm with you. Give it to her. Oh, no. no it's old. One. Oh. Two. Kick out. Oh. Kick out. Suck it. <laughs> Come on, Bailey. Hey, Bailey. Ooh. Good oh, match. No. Good match. This reminds me of like Rhea and Charlotte last year tearing the house down. Yeah. This very much seems like what will put her away. Standing moonsault. Second Ooh. row moonsault. She's about to go up to the third row? Just repeat. So just button mash, button mash, button mash. She moved out the way. No. She's Come losing. on, Bailey. Limpy Gimpy. Come on. Oh. Oh, wait. No, no. Oh, she, she flipped out of it. She just flipped out of that. You can have that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Close line. Right, close oh. line. Huge close line. What a move. What a match. Uh, my Looks heart so is starting to race again. And the thing, though, this is theoretically, this is co main. The only thing we yeah. got left out of this is the main. The main. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, Sato Suplex. Come on, Bailey. Climb, girl, climb. Bailey should have hit a moonsault. You wanted to impress me. 
<laughs> Bro, she's up top. She could. <laughs> Big elbow! Oh. No Kyrie. Right. No, 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 no. Rose plant. Damn it. One. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. New women's champ. Hey, baby. Ooh. I, I want to know, will you be my girl? And still, you're no, and new. I forgot. And new. <laughs> I'm new driver speaking. And, and still. And you new. better not acknowledge your, your yeah, tribal I'm not woman's I'm not team. doing it. What a match. When she wow. flipped out of the second uh, attempt, I, I was like, oh, EO's got this, but. What a match. What a match. I'm glad that damage to control didn't get involved. Why? Rose plant connects. Ah, oh, I take it out. What was all that shit you were talking? Oh, you got one now. You, yeah, this man, I got one. <laughs> oh, I'm about to get two. I'm about to be drinking oh, out here. Not no, to no, shit, no. have this shit go back to back. Fuck, speaking of bells, I'm about to be Drake out here. We got this shit going back to back. Uh, great woman's match, says Richard. MDB 6-0. and How There was no pre-show match, so how can you be 6-0 on five matches? Exactly. Oh, unless you MVP. call them, the, unless you call oh, the cash-in. Cash cash-in. Yeah, shit. Ah, uh, okay. Night two has been perfect so far. So I guess question right now, as we're about to head into the main event um, and all of that. Night one v night two. How are we feeling so far through both shows? Well, I think I, I, night two has been better. I feel like night one oh, fed yeah. into night two. Like it was, it was built as one big show instead of two separate shows this year. Valid. Valid. Yeah. I, I agree with KJ. Night Again, two definitely better than night one. We had Infinity Wars and now we got end games. We have the build up to the, the second, you know, MCU movie. So Bailey, your new women's champion. Here, here's a, a something run up the flagpole for the IWC out there. Mm. They only gave the big belt to Bailey because Sasha signed with AEW. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, folks. <laughs> what a match. And yeah, tonight's clicking. I can't believe we're at the main event. I, I feel like there hasn't been a moment that you could really have a breath, have a pause, anything like that. Everything has literally just moved through. This is... We're very much in the second act of, yeah. you know, a movie here or second to third act here. We're into the fucking final conclusions here. We're rolling through. Mm -hmm. I wonder. Bailey is the lady. Lady in blue. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, it was a good moment. I'm, I'm happy that you, you know, got that moment. Yeah, ding dong, hello. <laughs> ding dong, she's here. Big win. What a match, though. Absolutely. Yeah, that was a great Hey, match. we're getting a video package for Backlash, Backrash out here in, you know, Paris. Right. And they're, they're really kind of playing into the fact that it's out there in, you know, Viva la France. And Lyon. This is oh, 1 p.m. Okay. Yeah, Ooh, brunch with the boys. It's getting around that spring summertime. It might become barbecue with the boys instead of brunch with the boys. <laughs> Let's go. It's only three weeks from Saturday, guys. <laughs> God help me. My and how many weeks is that from tonight from Dynasty? <laughs> Why do I, I feel you. like there's a um a TNA pay per view that same Rebellion? I thought TNA was the week before. Hey, Mike J. Yeah, I'm we got Viva the Rebellion. The War and Treaty. Wait, so yeah. she's the war? 
TNA is having Under Siege May 3rd, so Friday night. Oh, shit. Yeah. Should they not call it like Normandy or anything like that? <laughs> With Backlash being around France? Right. Are they going to call it Under Siege? Hey! In pain! Hey. George Kittle gets booed. The guy sitting next to him was giving him a thumbs down. <laughs> Yeah, well, you got a San Francisco 49er out here, you know, in Philadelphia. Again, why the focus on Vanessa Hutchins? Well, she wants Roman Reigns to win, so I'm not opposed to it. They can focus on her. Right. Yeah, well, she's out there with Lily Singh. Lily Singh. Am I the only one that can always just think of the T-Pain shit of, do something else? <laughs> that was the AW shit. <laughs> when we're going to air, air the, you know, the on footage. Do something else! Do something else! WWE Hall of Come Fame. On. Snoop Dogg. Because we haven't had enough Snoop yet. Snoop, Snoop, a loop, Snoop, a loop, a loop, a loop. <laughs> Oh, he's going to rattle off like attendance or some shit right now. Yep. Now, for those who are confused with maths, Lincoln Financial does not hold that many people at one time. It, it is a collective. Right? What is going on? Speaking of collectives and not holding that many people at one time, <laughs> <in case you laughs> the pause for the cause. Hell of a segue there, sir. But Nick B saying Shane on Mac coming out. Oh, well, we already had staff. Could we have, you know, here comes the money? Hey, we could. We could have that. Why is Snoop getting all this attention in Philly? Because goddamn Snoop Dogg. He's out here selling cookbooks with Martha Stewart and still <laughs> dropping tracks with Dr. Dre. So if you ain't put no respect on Snoop Dogg, I don't know what to do with you. 145,298. Yes, that is a collective attendance. If you can do mass. What is the square root of the hypotenuse? I'm surprised we're so far into the show and we haven't got the announcement of where next year's WrestleMania is going to be. I don't, but then again, did we get that announcement last year? I, 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 I think I'd be we remiss did. if I didn't know. I, I think it's so up in the air and could it be like we've talked about it? Well, everyone's cold here. Do we want to go back to a cold place? Right, well, right. Maybe go to where it might actually have some warmer weather. That's true. Like, come on down here to Atlanta. We're warm in April. <laughs> Welcome to Atlanta where the players play. <laughs> Ludacris got to be the host of uh, WrestleMania if they have it in Atlanta. Pa Paul, are you watching the same show saying the ring collapsed? Yeah, are, again, are you watching the same show? <laughs> Alexis saying it being in Minnesota, but we are getting a video package building up for the main event of tonight. So we are down to the nitty gritty. We are down into the thick of it here. We've got Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns. This is either the, I'd say the end of a story or, well, it's the end of a story either way. It's the either, you know, the end of a family storyline, or it's you know the end of the reign of Roman. Roman reigns, yeah. This video package, though, uh, all the feels are coming. But that's what they need to. That's the thing is that's <laughs> that's the question line here of going into this. Are you expecting it, and are you putting it on it? Of it has to be this, you know five star six seven eight star match or just let it build into that and it finally becomes and it, i would hope eventually develops into that here are we going in with the expectation of this got to be the greatest wrestlemania match we've ever seen or we just let it become that i think we just let it become that that's what i'm going into as just let it become that right 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 damien saying it's going to be the end of roman reigns 
they show the young bucks in the package. Where? Why? <laughs> Connor. <laughs> Were they in attendance? Um, Cody finishes the story. End of Roman. So uh, I guess I'll throw it out there right now uh, because I feel like we're – I don't know if we're – well, we're probably going to have goddamn 27 minutes of introductions and everything like that. Right. Um, but I will throw it out to the chat here. So uh, right now, final prediction for WrestleMania 40 weekend, Roman Reigns or Cody Rhodes – for your reigning, defending, undisputed Universal World Heavyweight Championship. Roman Reigns for me. <laughs> Roman Reigns walks out still undisputed WWE <sighs> Universal Champion. Oh, absolutely. 100%. I will acknowledge my Tribal Chief. Christ, I almost double acknowledge my Tribal Chief. but Absolutely uh, uh, not. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in like Cody Rhodes, and this is bullshit. <laughs> there, there, you had me and Auntie out here just like the Rock and Roman shaking hands. We're gonna do it and everything. And you just playing Cody Rhodes coming out here. This is bullshit. <laughs> yeah, we're getting the video package. So we're at nine forty-five. Out a show that started at seven. How are we feeling respectfully? And I'm not saying you need to overstay your welcome, but how are we feeling that we're about four hours in um into you know this show and everything, and we're kicking off to we're down to the main event. I'm surprised, but I think this is gonna go. I mean, I think we're gonna get another 25 minutes of you know, hype and build and and entrances, and then we're gonna get a twenty to you know twenty minute stare down, and then the, I think the match is gonna go for forty five solid. But I think that that's gonna be that real testament against of everybody that's like, oh, well, Roman's not gonna be able to do double duty. Oh, he never wrestles everything like that. He's gonna come out here and have a forty five to could even be a sixty minute match. Mm -hmm. And gonna hang. Mm -hmm. Roman was in that match too, right? I think so. Roman Reigns retains. <laughs> Are you agreeing with that? Roman says goodbye to his belt tonight, guys. It's a historic night in WrestleMania. Nah, Roman yeah. Reigns. Roman Reigns losing the title is the final stamp on Vince McMahon's WWE. This is a new era, a new time. Triple H is about to put a stamp on this WrestleMania that now my guy has the belt, not the old guy. Yeah, but did Roman ask to be Vince McMahon's guy or did he just show up and show out and became that guy because he was the guy that they called for that was needed because he is that guy? In the famous words of Owen Hart, enough is enough. It's time for a change. Well, you, sir, much like Owen, are a nugget. <laughs> <laughs> I and am you, not a nugget. Much like your Cody Crybabies can go and have a uh, nugget. This. this is Avengers, bro. This I'm is telling you, he's out here. If he comes out with a goddamn Captain America shield, he's Homelander and Steve Rogers at the same time. Run from, but still, run from it. Hide from it. I am inevitable. Everyone deserves a happy ending. Yes, John. Let's go. What oh, my God. Fuck? <laughs> that was not expected. Bro, what is the Triple H? He's like, well, Cody, I used to come out with the skull entrance and everything like that. You do it, too. Just his is Brandy! Brandy! Brandy gets a pop. Huge pop for Brandy. Cody Shao Kahn coming out here right now. <laughs> Was that Brandy Rhodes? Yes. Okay. Oh, he did all this grand entrance to lose, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> now I'm almost mad that this match is going to be so long. I'm going to be taking shit for the next hour. Yeah, but then that's the thing is you're either going to have to just live with it and deal with it or you're going to have the greatest comeback ever. 
I, I've had a hot weekend. I've got a lot of bone. Like I've been kind of spoiled this WrestleMania. I got my Sammy moment. I got my cash in. I got uh, the only thing I didn't get was EO. So, woo, let's go. Yep. I and, even and admire truth. Right. But it's going to be so great and so sweet when that rug gets pulled out right there. <laughs> First wrong finish week. No. Or, or pause here, but I'm going to pull the rug out here for a quick second. All right, sir. All right. Uh, we remix the remix and we're back to normal. I don't need my heart to race again. Like, can they just get this over quickly? <laughs> <laughs> right? That's, I am not a nugget. Cody got uh, pinned by Finn, uh, the final boss, last night to pin the world champion tonight. Yes, C-Money. Yes. That's what they want you to think. Uh. Clayton going with the ones to the sky. Attitude Era, assemble. Let's go. <laughs> Every cameraman's in a, a WWE Hall of Famer in disguise. <laughs> They're having all this time, so at the end, when an MJF comes out. Ah! Mm -hmm. Imagine the end of this match. There's like Jacob Fatu, Lance, fucking all these people, and MJ. Like, now we're being greedy. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to get nervous. I, this usually happens every WrestleMania when the main event comes and I'm super into it. I get nervous and get shaky. <laughs> right, right. What would a Stephanie McMahon era look like? Well, if anyone's ever been in a relationship, you're watching it because, you know, Behind every good man, there's a good woman. That was my plug, my pop for the ladies tonight. <laughs> uh, if Cody wants a happy ending, he better go. <laughs> Brandy's gorgeous, Cody. It's Skeletor. Yeah, did you see the mask? I did. I did. I don't I don't know what he was trying to pull out there. Was it Triple H esque? I don't know. The statue of Cody. Called Brandy last night. What'd she say? Yo, what up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought Cody broke that mask in AEW. Yeah, that's what they should have had. They should have had the uh a throne out there. He symbolically puts it back together. <laughs> right. <laughs> Please let me win this one, Hunter. I put your chair back together for you. <laughs> you guys ready to see Cody finish the damn story? You guys ready to see Roman Reigns lose the title? Doug, I'm so ready. Uh, I'm on my I'm own. Ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> MLW in the house. Negative one. Oh, was negative one there? I didn't catch that. That's awesome. KG behind every good man, there's a good woman that made them good. Ah, uh, there you go, Larry. Exactly. So, how long are we thinking this um, main event is going to get? Forty minutes, solid. Forty-four, forty-five. Okay. I mean, we're we're ticking away now, watching some of the. I mean, we still got a long ass Roman entrance to come. That's true. Yeah. There you go. I appreciate it, Boston. I appreciate you, Boston. Cody, Cody, Cody. It was so funny because if you go back to watch our streams from before, mm -hmm. I was like, I think it's Roman. I think it's Roman. And then just as we got further into all this stuff, I was like, it just flipped. And I, I'm convinced it's Cody. So. <laughs> oh. Oh. We got the orchestra. And the opera, or the choir, I guess. I acknowledge Cody Rhodes. <laughs> yeah, you know what? The show did is a, uh, a solid, though. All three of us had a chance to get a quick break in before the match started. <laughs> right. Because of these entrances. Behind every good champ, there's a wise man. Michael Clayton, well played.
I like this. Look at that. Let's go. KJ and Anthony were surprised that they let them go last night in the main event and there was no interference. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. Boring entrance. You guys are so ridiculous. <laughs> Roman is locked and loaded for this match. Ah, uh, them talking about that record makes me a little nervous. <laughs> Only three men have ever held this title longer. I wonder, um, do you think they'll change the name back to the WWE Championship in the near future? I well, yeah, I kind of think so. I feel like they've been kind of pulling away from that universal idea. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I'm with you on that. Look at the, there's a full orchestra there, and people are like, boring. I didn't even see the other folks on the other <laughs> side of the X and the L. Right. The entire fucking Second Street Philadelphia Orchestra is in the house, <laughs> and people are like, lame. <laughs> Great entrance by the Philadelphia Orchestra. See, I was pretty close. Thank you, Reed. Like, nobody's on fire. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop. Woo. Acknowledge your tribal chief. He can acknowledge himself. He's going through all the folks that he beat. Michael Cole is. He's a Daniel Bryan. Hey. And other. <laughs> the last time Bryan was relevant. Oof, facts. <laughs> yeah. Debatable, but more legitimate than you think. This is history. Roman needs a happy ending. Not tonight. He's had Ooh, many... Well, you said before how there's only been three people that have held the title this long and everything. Well, there's after tonight, I feel like we're on the road to where there's only two that have held the title this long. Yeah, but does it matter if he's second or third on the list? Does it really matter? If he I was number two. Does. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think does it the matter if LeBron James is second on, on the list. Everybody still says Michael Jordan's the greatest and everything like that. I think this is how you fully continue to solidify your spell your spot along amongst the goats out here. But, but I mean he's already had a historic run. He doesn't it's it's not oh, why is it gotta stop now? Why does it need to keep going? Because it's historic. <laughs> it will still be historic if he loses. It's not gonna be really? not historic if he really? loses. Well, which one was <laughs> is the Titanic historic because it went uh, because it sailed the oceans blue, or is it historic because it crashed? Because it crashed, and we're about to watch this one hit an iceberg. <laughs> no, 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 we're about to run through this <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> I feel like your analogy helped my argument of like it did not make it across the ocean. <laughs> Def Rebel cooked <laughs> with that theme remix. We're back on Def Rebel, right? Uh, I think after tonight, we won't see Roman Reigns for a while if he lose the title. Rumored. But he won't, so don't worry about it. You can rest <laughs> easy tonight. You can rest easy uh, sleeping under the comfort that your tribal chief provides you. I'm just going to eat my muffin. I'm old. I'm tired. Because <laughs> I'm old. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm the fucking children. <laughs> Shout out, not Minnie's Bakery. <laughs> <laughs> KJ's Hashtag not sponsored. Little nature's the ref. Yeah, the, the fix is in. <laughs> He's an OG. 
he's gonna get that woo energy buzz in and just he, he can't count three. Stop. MJ's the goat. Yeah, MJF is. I'll give you that. Right. LeBron sucks. <laughs> no, he don't. You do. Uh, no, it doesn't. KJ, the record shit is made up for or by fans. But aren't you a fan, Boston? <laughs> Other fan made it up. Right, right, not by me. It wouldn't be me. You ain't gonna catch me out here, you know, marking out about records and everything, unless it helps my case. I hate words to start with O. Now I just started to think of all the words that start with O. <laughs> Listen okay. to the crowd in the building, ladies and gentlemen. I will take a quick moment to thank everyone for being here again. The main event of WrestleMania 40 is about to kick off. We got Cody. We got Roman. We got a heavy debate going on. Get in that chat. Let us know what's up. And here we go. We got a heavyweight. We got a heavy debate and we got a heavyweight fight going on right now in the ring right here. That wording. Ding, 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 we are underway here. That wording by Michael Cole, he said we are in the ninth inning, just scared me. <laughs> Feel free to flippy floppy. Sorry. I'm not flipping. <laughs> I'm not flipping. I'm going to stand by my tribal chief. <laughs> I think it's only the ninth inning because, you know, this is the ninth time that Roman's main evented WrestleMania. True. True. There we go. Ninth in row. Bye. Nah, we got extra innings, my guy. <laughs> Joseph, that's not very nice. Nah, I, uh, I'll take it. I told him he sucked, so I'll take it back. I'll take it on the chin. Pause. I hate men named Cody. <laughs> <laughs> Member for four months, see money. Simone, spike that like, share, and subscribe. Let's go. Absolutely. Make sure you, when you hit that, whoa, you can just hit all the buttons and everything around you there. I mean, you Cody Crybabies are used to stuff like that. It looks like the playpen at McDonald's and everything. You used to hitting the random buttons and everything and playing in the ball pit. Let's go. At least we're not in the ball pit with an old ball, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. I'll take it. I'm your wife, man, little boy. <laughs> It was one of those, if you're going to treat it like boxing, you expect a jab back or two. <laughs> Let's go, Cody. I need Roman to win this for my prediction championship. Sorry about your luck. <laughs> well, we've got our new reigning, defending, undisputed prediction champion right there, I see. Uh, if Cody wins this, I'm going to be the prediction champion above your head for the next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking Is the that win. Is that the way to suggest you're going to teabag me for a week here? <laughs> Welcome to the Wrestling for Life Network. What? You what? never know what's going to happen. <laughs> now I almost want to hang a fucking teabag from here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Finish the story. Two years of storytelling. There are milk in the crowd. The crowd is on their feet, losing their minds. Gold dust! <laughs> So there's nothing saying this match don't go like 45 minutes, 50 minutes. Oh, it's going hour. for a hot minute. Yeah. Yeah. They're giving this all the time, all the pomp and circumstance here. Yeah. And I mean, we might not make it right to the cushion of the hour. Like there might be that, you know, the little bit of leftover for the replay video and shit like that. Right. Bro, there's the potential. This could go till fucking midnight for all we know. Oh, Roman into the post right away. Right. LeBron is third best. <laughs> Oh, it's me versus mid is Cody wins the tie. Welcome to the channel, Easy Bake. Right. I think you've baked yourself. We got a table. Look at Anthony. I could just. <laughs> the, no, that's the only <laughs> spot right here is the table. Oh, drive by. Nice. Let's go, Cody. When was the last time we saw Dustin in AEW? Well, didn't he just fight? I don't want to contradict you too much, John, but he either fought. Did he fight Swerve or is he about to fight Swerve? Something I feel like, like he's that. been around. 
he's about to fight Joe. He was just last night at Collision. That's right. Uh, versus uh, the Butcher. Including Cashin. Oh. Well, well, see money out here. Gift and a sub. Shout out, my guy. Love it. Love it, sir. LeBron is top five ever. Yeah, well, when you're one, there's four other people that you could say are in the top five. Anthony, don't freeze up. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're good. I think we're good there. Because he was caught up in that physical. <laughs> <laughs> Wrestling for life. Wrestling for life. Do we see blood in this match? I say yes. There's a potential for blood in this match for sure. Yeah. Not, uh, well, we got a candlestick because remember, it's bloodline rules. So there are no rules. There you go. Cody, yeah, Cody wins. Uh, Cody wins tonight. Dustin wins on Wednesday. Double Rhodes champion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's more crossroads than all roads. Right. Over, under, number of people that come out to help Roman. Let's set the bar at three. Over, under, three. At least three. <laughs> at least three. At least so, three. Oh, okay. So then name the three. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Solo Rock and um, Jimmy. Okay. Fair, fair, yeah. fair. Because we so don't know what side. Over with Jacob. We don't know what side Jacob might be on. You know? It's true. Well, he certainly on, uh, ain't on Cody's, but I, I could see if he sides with Dwayne. But then Dwayne wouldn't help Roman. Ooh. Oh, we're getting a figure four. How apropos with little nature. I'm with you, AJ. But that's me. What if we get that moment to where we're getting the, the trash thrown in the ring? We're getting that holy shit. All hell is broken. Loose, loose moment here. We broken lotion. need into that nepotism theory that everybody has here. Do the locomotion. Um, <laughs> they're dropping shit. Yeah. I don't know if they would do that. I don't know if we go that far. You want them to? Well, they could. I mean, they did it last year. So, what do I know? <laughs> Does this have modern rock Austin vibes? Of uh, this is now the second time they've run it back. You don't know which way could go either way, and you almost feel more inclined this way or this time versus last time as to which way it could go either way. And you're getting huge reactions both on either way. KJ? Um, what was the question? <laughs> I was like, Bueller, Bueller. Um, right. Is this modern or Papa Paul oh, or yeah. Rock Austin? Yeah, I mean, it's got, again, it has a legitimate main event feel to it. It's got a legitimate energy, a legitimate reason why all these fans are standing on their feet right now. Like, to me, that's where we're back to. It's not a Roman foregone conclusion, typical pay-per-view match where most of the people are just kind of sitting on their hands waiting for the end. This is different. And, yeah, it's kind of got that old vibe to it for sure. Yeah. As we're fighting through the crowd right now here, so... We've already had the hydration station um, reach its final destination. And now we're up on a tables, table. a stanchion, something. They're on something. Definitely doesn't look like a table. Not Jake. Definitely, definitely not Jake. <laughs> oh, he's telling oh, everyone to move back. I'm going to throw this guy. Out of the move. I'm going to toss <laughs> this man. Ah, uh, that means he's going to get suplexed onto this shit. Yep. Yeah. Cody blocking the suplex twice now here. Ooh, suplex. Oh. Cody grabbing the back of his head. That couldn't have felt good. I think Daniel, Hol I'm Holman's with you. 
Sorry. I was going to say, I think Heyman sold that move more than Cody did. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Kobe's better than LeBron. Yeah. I like this. Uh, certain herb in the air. I can feel you puffing in the air tonight. As we're now back at ringside here. Ooh. Green t-shirt, green t-shirt guy is going to be the secret, you know, the secret spy there. Right. Oh, oh caught him. Oh, caught him. Power bomb. Head kick off. Spoiler alert: The Rock is going to hit Roman by accident with the People's Champion uh, Championship belt for that spear last night. Juan, I am with you. As you said it, I could see it, but yeah. Roman bumping his ass off of Cody, as he should. Again, he's talented. He's 100%. He's the guy for a reason. He's not just the guy just because, you know, he looks like Jason Momoa. He's the guy for a goddamn reason. Right, right. One to one cow. The prime logo has been a pleasant addition to the mat for me. It's just, okay. <laughs> I'm more glad it's been a different edition. Yeah, I'm glad it's not that color mess that we saw the first time. Right. right. Where's the surprise at? Hang tight, guys. You know, let things happen. <laughs> Breathe. And then, and then when the, the, I feel like this happened at the Royal Rumble too, like we're not getting any surprises. Uh, we got a cash in earlier tonight. That's a lot of surprise already. A huge cash in. <laughs> no one told you there was going to be surprises. You just expected surprises. So don't be mad because you're disappointed on what you expected. Right. Two count on Cody. Green shirt guy is a Cody crybaby. Roman will win. Where is the where is Rock crybaby at? When Cody went to grab the table, there was hand that pulled back under the ring. The run-ins will be Nets. Not Nets not like Nets. Brooklyn Nets. I know I talked basketball earlier, but I don't know if it's going to go that way. Right. And I love Roman just talking shit between moves. Literally running his mouth the whole time. There's a lot of really nice nuances that Roman does throughout matches that a lot of people, unless you're really paying attention, don't notice. Like when he goes for a pin, how he puts his hand over his opponent's face. And like, I'm going to mush you in the face and try and cover up your mouth and everything like that too when I'm trying to give it, you know, go for a pin and everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Really lays it in there. He works the psychology game and the every mannerism I do is selling everything here. Fisherman. Oh, look at that with the bridge. Right. Two go, two go, two go. Thank you so much for the uh, super chat, by the way, Connor. We greatly appreciate it, sir. I meant nuts. We Yeah, we got there. You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. These oh. nuts. Oh, and you were questioning me about what I said earlier. You throw that out there, you just follow it up. Do do what I say, not what I do. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oops. Whoopsie. This is awesome. This is awesome. Well, we're getting that chant actually right now. Mm-hmm. And even Pat bring it up right now as Roman's just wailing away on him here in the corner. This is what Cody Rhodes wanted. He wanted to finish his story. This is what you asked for. You know, you knock on the devil's door. Don't be surprised when he answers. Right. But I think Cody is not surprised. He was waiting for someone to answer. And he's ready for the beating he was about to take to get where he needs to go. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Yes. 
<laughs> Doink is under the ring. <laughs> now the real question is, where's Dink? Pause. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody just tuned in, I'm sorry. We're not really looking for it. Oh. We're training the super kicks and the big boots here. Double goes right 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 down. down. Yeah. Oh, men down. MJF is the devil. That'd be hilarious if the devil just like the mask just popped up on the screen. Hey, I might be laying subtitles in everything like that. Uh, you know, I might be, you know, leaving the breadcrumbs for where we're going to end up here. You never know. MDB, I'm not clicking on that. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Ryan with some love. Pre we appreciate you guys. Uh, you know, thank you for the thank you, but thank you for being here. Spending even a second with us is greatly appreciated. These streams are fun. We love doing them, uh, especially a weekend like this. I mean, it's a grueling, you know, grind, but we live for it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, th this is the highlight of the weekend of just being able to do this shit. This is just, you know, I'd be doing this if I didn't even have a camera or anything. I'd just be yelling, you know, right. chewing somebody's ear off here. <laughs> just be screaming your head off somewhere. Yeah, you know? I'd be just rocking back and forth in a padded room. Roman Reigns, <laughs> Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. Try, I'd be trying to do the throw up the ones, but my arms are wrapped together. I'd be somewhere trying to calm my heart weight down. <laughs> right? Oh. Oh. Oh, look, the pace these guys are working is fucking impressive. Side Roman He's hooking up. Disaster kick. Mm, disaster kick. One. A one. You have that. Daddy, but what I'm mad at. We got a one. Yeah. All right, this is all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Are you cheering for the tribal chief? No, well, it would sure be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, regardless of who wins this match, this is an incredible weekend, and I trust the trip vision. There you go, nice. the trips vision. Okay, yeah, so we're on a vision quest. That we, we'd need ayahuasca for that, yeah. <laughs> Crossroads Cross 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 to Cody Rhodes. <laughs> suck it, suck it, suck it, oh. suck it. <laughs> Again, if you just tuned in, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not, but he is. <laughs> uh, MJF helps Cody Rhodes. No. Could you imagine MJF turns on Cody Rhodes? And just MJF goes him. up? Well, uh, yeah, it just shows up and just screws him over. He's the one that just you now, now i feel like i gotta do a stream in a burberry robe if that happens <laughs> <laughs> come on now well i was gonna say if you do you gotta do it you know monday in a, you know the rock cow vest and everything <laughs> if roman wins tonight right <laughs> fucking hell right <laughs> i find it ironic that his uh his pointer finger is taped up yeah Maybe. <laughs> no, no, I saw it. And I'm like, interesting point. Right, he's been throwing it up. <laughs> <too>. Literally <laughs> and figuratively interesting point. <laughs> Ducks to Superman punch. Eats oh Jack. The bionic elbow. Oh, bionic elbow. There we go. Love your guys' banter, by the way. Have, uh, have fun. Uh, have had fun BSing tonight. John, we appreciate it, man. And uh, that's what we do here. We banter. Right? We don't say we a journalist. We ain't all up in the streams. <laughs> we ain't all up on the thumbnail. <laughs> we banter. We sing. We argue. We yell. We pop. We're, we're literally the greatest time you can have watching wrestling with your homies. <laughs> Oh, uh, now I want that on a t-shirt. I got to put that on a t-shirt. We are the greatest time you can have. <laughs> be our guest. Be our guest. Our guest. <laughs> Shit, I was trying oh. to be quick enough to come back with it and couldn't. Big low blow. Sorry, Nick, but big low blow. Roman just laughs. 
Yeah, but again, I think it goes even back to the nuances that Roman's shown throughout this whole character arc. And even remember when he was having the match, I think it was with Jates, where he's going for the pin and he hoists him, you know, right through the legs with the low blow. Oh, power! Oh, the table! The table. <laughs> now, question. If it's Why? one line rules, could we adjust it to where he could pin him on the outside? And just fuck they you up there. Do that want. much. I don't care. One, two. Two go, two go, two go. Not yet. I like how you said not yet. That one made me nervous. You know what's going to happen. That one made me nervous. <laughs> Remember, Paul said they could do whatever they want. They could even, like, Cody could get the first fall, and they were like, no, it's two out of three yeah, falls now, balls. bitch. It's the <laughs> best out of seven series here. It doesn't count unless Dustin wins. <laughs> So Dynasty is going to have less matches than both Mania nights. Is that correct? Wait, how many do we have tonight? We got 15 total? Fingers crossed. Fingers Thir crossed. 13. Yeah, 13. Tony probably will have more on Dynasty than both WrestleMania nights combined. Ah, oh, to hell are you. Uh, <laughs> I was hoping out here we could get, you know, at least the same number oh. of matches as one night, not both. Got it, got it! What is Paul standing on? The ring steps. Two, two. Yep, that's a noise I made. Quest for the happy ending. <laughs> you know that quest. What is Sean Watson? Right. I don't know what type of noise came out of Nick. Followed <laughs> <laughs> up by <my> Sega. <laughs> What's the letters on his boots? It's probably his daughter. Maybe his dad. I, I don't know. I haven't. Look close enough. Yeah. Roman surgical with that shit talk. Facts. Oh, look at that knee. Oh. You're an Augie? No. Oh. Goes to the earnings, roll through. Spear! 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 Yeah. Oh. Cody hit a spear and Reigns has hit a crossroads out here. And the crowd is going nuts. I don't want to hear shit about, oh, it was a little quiet in Philly. You can kiss my ass. They, they grab the mittens for night two so they don't have the frozen hands so they can sit there and clap for everything here. Crossroads! crossroads. I don't like One it. more. We're going to roll back like through. It. Super Kitty! Super Kitty! <laughs> Jimmy! Oh. Bastard! But again, so out of the blue, literally, as the man's hitting a super kick, you fucking see it. It was so great. You don't see him run yeah. through. You don't see him in a fucking black hoodie with a mask, anything. Oh, the new production's wicked, and they're doing a lot of this. Superman oh. punch! Oh, Jay! Jay! Stone Cold! Stone Cold! No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Why are you selling? Get out there, bro. Yeah, right. It's a Jeff Hardy <laughs> meme. Of, I'm going to sit there and do my whole yeet before I come out here and help your ass. This is end game, bro. We're in the end game. Right. Sorry, Roman. I am Roman. <laughs> Spear off the stage Ooh. from Jay on to Jimmy here. So the brothers yeah, are banging God, each bro. other out. They're both out. Yeah, but I feel like that's not going to be the only run that we've got in oh, here. No, 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 no. He's not winning on a roll-up. No, no, no. Spear? We, oh, slingshot spear. Yeah. Same thing, put out taker. Same thing, put out taker. Two go, two go. I for half a second thought Cody was going to hit the slingshot spear. So did I. And then I thought when he hit it, no shit. But we got more run-ins to do. Well, I was going to say, well, Roman's now, he's coming on hinge here. If you, you ain't going to fucking go down this way here. Listen to this crowd, bro. Holy yeet, Batman. All, all, all that talk about the rest of WrestleMania, about WrestleMania night one, about anybody else, you can dead that because this is where it's at, my guy. Woo. This shows that, again, there are levels to this fucking game. And certain people are competing with themselves and certain people are competing with trash. Oh, yeah. Lo yeah. Uh, locks in the guillotine. Sorry. 
So much is happening. Right. right. Oh my god! Oh my god! You killed Jimmy! You bastard! <laughs> you speared him! You bastard! Oh, both men dump on the outside. This is where you're getting another fucking running spot here. Yeah. So everybody down on the outside. Yeah. Nicole comes out. Then Kidman. Jake... <laughs> Kidman. <laughs> Sting, it's Sting. Oh, Cody with the spear through the oh. barricade. I love how both men are both hitting each other's spots. We've shown it of now both men recognize game, recognize game. Absolutely. Sorry. Brandy is under the ring. <laughs> Roman's boots are so fire. Solo comes out, then Jacob. Perhaps, perhaps. Solo fell asleep backstage. This is, awesome. again, this is awesome, Chan. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. How you feeling over there, Anthony? Uh, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> but this is this is awesome. This is already better than last year's main event. Back. He even is hyping up like Randy Orton there. No for the crossroads, crossroads, oh, roll oh. through. Come on, Cody, let's go. Crossroads number two. Shut up, you're you're agreeing with Michael Cole. Shut up. I know. I just noticed that. Solo, Solo! Spike! Solo! Solo! Spike! Solo! This is ridiculous. <laughs> we rocked in Cena. Samoans assemble. Did people popping up like fucking whack a mole? <laughs> Always gonna drape them over. No, no, no not like it is. Plan two. Oh, oh, shaman a shaman a Honda. <laughs> that man kicked out at two and nine and three quarters. Solo taken out backstage by DiBiase Jr. <laughs> Solo. Never mind. <laughs> Same shit as last year. Are you really yawning at this, Eamon? Oh, my God. I'm shocked that anybody's like, uh, right now. I feel like Maybe. if you're not enjoying what's happening, you may not be into wrestling. Switch from Haterade to the Prime that they have over there. Get on the Prime. Might at least help you out a little bit here. Might right. bring some you know, flavor and some enjoyment back into your life. Solo did start wearing shoes. Big topic over the last uh, couple weeks here. Well, at least there's not a fungus among us. So, right. Who's coming? Who's coming? Now, remember, Seth went through a rough night. Ooh, so uh, uh, spear! spear and bike. One, two. Oh, Lord. He kicked He's out. He kicked oh, out. The anxiety in the best way. He, he just won't go away. John Cena! Sometimes the rumors work out, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, it was Solo that destroyed John Cena. Absolutely, fucking. There's your tie in there. Facts. Attitude adjustment. Ah, but see, this is when you get if you smell. Yeah, we're not done. Oh, we're setting up the Spanish announce. John Cena's out here. He ain't here. They ain't booked me for a long time. I'm here for a good time. <laughs> right, he's on the clock apparently. Right. <laughs> Attitude adjustment on the solo through the Spanish announce table. This is the, the, the it, if you smell. Oh. What we are getting rock a Rock Cena face off at WrestleMania 40. Come right, on, folks. So then again, fuck, they're setting it up, and my heart beats still because who's the greatest Rock rival of all time? And that's wow. the bottom line. Oh, but, so you're doing that? Okay. Bro, they've been yeah. teasing about it. Fuck it. I do the what chance. Might as well have it. 
just bring it all out. <laughs> rock cursing and swearing coming down the ramp. <laughs> does Rock know how to talk without swearing? That's the better question. I don't, I don't think he does. <laughs> Come on, listen. You got to be the most cynical fucking fan out there right now. If you're not at least a little fucking, the hair on my arm is standing up. I, I, I feel like I'm about to is, die. So <laughs> is, I'm back as a little kid right now. If you don't like this, and I do say all with, with all due respect and all granted all due disrespect, you, you have you know no heart, no soul, and you don't like pro wrestling. If you ain't excited, about what's <laughs> so going on right like, now. and again, we we tell people not to say that ever, but in this case, come on, let's be real. Nah, you can have that. That ain't what I'm. <laughs> At this point, literally, we're getting the stare down. We've got, you know, Boogie Knights or, you know, Moana Knights um, taking on John Cena right here. Oh, my God. Yeah, like, come on. Let's Rock go. Bottom. Rock, Rock bottom. bottom. Are we going to get a glass <laughs> thing? He's Did... telling me that you're <laughs> get, get, get the F out of here. <laughs> get the fuck Off up. is the direction you can fornicate. <laughs> The shield! The Wait, shield! What? Sierra, no way. Hotel, Inica, Echo, D- I don't even know if I said that right. What? Wait, what? Who, what? What? What, what? Does, what does that mean? Seth Rollins? I don't... I don't even, he doesn't even know what it is and where they're coming from. And But again, think about it. The shield took out Dwayne. When they were quote unquote working with CM Punk, we're pulling back the layers. We're pulling back the lineage. Oh, ah! oh, it was, it was Seth. Seth. Superman punches Seth getting in there with the shield gear with a steel chair. I got Dwayne's back. I got you. Yo, we're about to get broken glass. We're about to get broken glass. Come on. Oh, the fucking stupid. Jesus Christ. I was gonna say I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hear the broken glass over Dwayne Swear out here. Yeah, He's talking more than the Undertaker! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. What? 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 What is happening? I'm my not... heart beats still. I need an oxygen tank. Elizabeth! Elizabeth! I'm He's coming deep. to you on that sweet good night. Right behind yeah. him! Dead man! The dead man in the ring. <laughs> Wayne's just cussing up a storm about to just get goozled by the by the Undertaker. Dude, if you don't believe that Roman's losing, hold on tight. This is Infinity War. Like, this no is- slam, I told you. On, on right. Fucking this was on your left, Cap. What is oh. happening? Is it Kane? <laughs> no, yeah, as soon as he, he left and everybody left. Everybody's pulled out here. But so now we're down to just literally it's just back to to Roman and Cody and a steel chair and a Mama Rhodes weight belt in the center of the ring. And I'm just wondering what the, what is the X factor here? Shut up, Cole. <laughs> what a mania. X Factor, I'm trying to find my local fucking cardiologist right now. <laughs> I can't take much more of this shit. Oh, and everybody connected to everybody. Absolutely. Still- it was fucking yeah. Lincoln Logs and fucking yeah. Jango right there. 100%. What's up? Seth there. Ah, this is the callback of Seth getting up and Roman's got in a chair and just right in the back. There it, right, is. Yeah, there it is. Everything. Go. Nice. Call they back. are. You know what? Nice callback. This is closing the chapter. All of it. That's what I said. Yeah, you're right. Oh, crossroads. Crossroads. Oh, going up one. again. One. This is it. This we we got to be. This is it. This is two. It. This is it. This is it. Going up for number three. Do it. Fucking do it. Crossroads. It's over. It's over. One. And new. Wow. And new. Cody fucking Rhodes. Come on. I, 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 I have to. I will. I, I, 
that I, I don't – they said they were going to give us the greatest WrestleMania of all time, and I don't know, honestly, how, how you really can say that they maybe haven't done that. They 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 smashed this one. They, what a finish. Wow. And we're not like, this is going to be epic unto itself. The Samantha only thing we need now – is crying. Like, she was breaking yeah. up announcing him. Mm-hmm. Like, this – I have chills. My hairs are standing up. Like – Wow. Tell me, I was with you, homie. <laughs> but this was, that was fully, that was your end game. That's up yeah. there uh, on uh, on different levels and all the yeah. levels. That's up there with seven teams, arguably the greatest WrestleMania to me personally. This is up there, just even right there with that. Of that, that peeled back so many layers. Everybody was attached to each other, everything. And it really was, it was this, this is the declarative definitive yeah. statement of this is the new era of WWE. When you were on your pause right before the match, I said that to Anthony. Mm-hmm. Um, is this not the way? And I actually, you, you pop back in and we started making fun of it. But um, th- is this not putting the bow on literally everything that's happened before now? Like, it's a new champion. It's a new era. It's all new. And the way they tied it all in, if you're going to take down the, you know, the tribal chief, it had to be epic. And I don't recall ever having a show with that many pops in that short amount of time span. Yeah, no, that's called a stress test. Normally they do that when they're making <laughs> sure that you, you know, you're not like Papa Paul and you don't need, you know, a fucking, you don't you need to check you, make sure you got the goosebumps and everything up there. Oh, yeah. Man. Now, granted, anyone else out there believe that we ain't done here until we see that lower third? We can oh, still get the best dude. here. Hope like, against hope pretty. because we, we still got, you know, Roman still stumbling to get to his feet. And now you see this. You see The Rock. You see Paul Heyman. You see Roman Reigns beside themselves. Of This is Thanos has been toppled by Captain America by Homelander. Wow. It was outstanding. Look, there's Sam. Yeah, and there's you really got, you've got Brandy, you've got Jay, you've got LA, you've got Sammy, you've got KO, you've got Yo. John Cena. <laughs> Taker's Road like, right. there's a fumble. Taker's like, I'll come on out there, but I'm not dressing up. <laughs> In fact, so uh, you know how many how much time it takes me to put on just my eyeliner? <laughs> but again, I know I was fully picking Roman and everything like that. But I'm I'm happy either way. Mm-hmm. It, it it was choosing whether you want vanilla ice cream or chocolate ice cream. Either way is a fucking good choice. Still yeah. fucking ice cream. And I think you and uh, Anthony and Sorry. I, <laughs> right? I think all <laughs> three of us did say that going through this card, going through the predictions, going. You know what? We you know it could happen this way, it could happen that way. But no matter what, they're going to deliver, and they did. I mean, exactly. it, it doesn't matter who won or lost. How the many man times did I waver throughout this entire thing? I think at the end of the day, it's just um, to be a wrestling fan right now is insane and just perfect to get back into it. I'm happy either way. Roman Reigns, if he retained, um, he didn't. Cody Rhodes winning, great. I'm I'm excited to see what happens in the next couple of months. Like my hairs have been standing up for the past like five minutes. So yeah, man. Pro wrestling is cool again, undeniably. Always cool, man. No, I'm just kidding. No, it, yeah, but it, it's one of those of, you know, nothing awesome. can stop me. I'm all the way up. They got punk out there. Well, they're even less. Tell me, this isn't game. Tony Tony Khan's worst nightmare. The main event of WrestleMania and Punk and Cody are the two in the ring. Doctor the footage. Doctor the footage. <laughs> Oh, Mama, Mama Rose. Rose! Let's go. I'm going to cry. It's beautiful, man. Man, I like what uh, yeah. uh, Michael Cole just said. Um, he loves professional wrestling. We back to using that word in WWE. Yeah, no, 100%. I really? feel like this was the most emphatic statement of Vince is gone. This is Triple H's fucking buggy. Everything from Paul Heyman's speech to how everything played out tonight. And it, no offense to Roman. It's not Roman's fault or anyone's mm-hmm. fault, but we're turning the page. This book closes. Yeah. And now we move forward starting tomorrow with a brand new WWE, a new vision, new vibe, new feel. Yep. I love it. Congratulations to everybody. Wow. 
C money. Thank you for the five dollar super chat. What a story. One only pro. I'm nervous that something's gonna happen, bro. Not I like was gonna say we ain't it. seen that lower third. It's bloodline rules. That shit ain't over. <laughs> Two out of three falls, motherfucker. <laughs> Mama Rhodes, you gotta defend that belt now. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Rhodes has to get the pin. Right. Ah, uh, see, money. I want to read your comment, but Cody's talking. Just give us a second. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what? bold strategy. Asking for Bruce Pritchy to come out. Bold strategy, Cotton. I. <laughs> Triple H, come on down. He is the leader of the new era. Dear Adam Copeland, I'll show you. <laughs> That's how you cut a promo. Oh, read C Money. We Cody was talking when we clicked on it. Oh, yeah. No, sorry. Yeah. No, things are just moving. Uh, yeah. Where was it? <laughs> there it is. I got it. Oh, oh thank you. Uh, what a story one only pro wrestling can tell decades in the making and multiple lifetimes of achieving excellence. Absolutely. I, I stand here. I, I know I was throwing up the one. I'll put my hand up here 100% as a 35 year old male of this has made me feel the close to the closest to watching pro wrestling again. When I was a little kid, what made me yeah. fall in love with pro wrestling mm -hmm. as I do right now, this is full circle. Yeah, Anthony. Yeah, this, this 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 moment proves that WWE is at the top of their game. I've never I still have chills. Like I've never had chills this long um with with WWE ever. Um it it started off like I think I tweeted about it right when Damien cashed in. Like that reminded me how much I loved professional wrestling, and then this just right here icing on top icing on top of the cake like triple h did it triple h did it it's still going Is anyone else getting auspiciously nervous if chills last longer than four hours please seek medical attention <laughs> 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 no it's true anthony man you, and you hit it right on the head with that sentiment and again grown-ass men getting pulled back into kind of that young you know bewilderment uh with something we love and it, it's still going and i mean uh what a night what a weekend uh you know and and for us we get to sit and do it with friends and yeah. friends out there um what a show what an absolute experience this all keeps getting funner to do with everybody that keeps joining the family and everything like that and the rest and seems to just seem to keep following suit and keeps getting better and reaching that next level just the same as we do so this is literally just nothing but fun all around yeah literally all, all three of us. They, we, I was waiting for. All right, so my mom's made pizza rolls. And we got you know uh, some chicken. <laughs> right. We're gonna go and play ends. You know, play no mercy after we're done watching right. wrestling and everything out here. Look, giving love to, like this is what this is. Like, it, it, when was the last time wrestling made you feel something this deep? Like. Yeah, we get our oohs and ahs and pops and but like to feel like this guy is genuinely yeah. not kayfabe, not bullshit, genuinely thanking the people that were part of his journey. Michael Cole's crying. Yeah. You know, Triple H is emotional. Mama Rhodes is emotional. Like But this was absolutely though that you know, oh, yeah. you know, WWE Pro Wrestling Cinematic Universe here of we had like we even talked about Every pop we had in that match had a layer and had a little string that pulled back mm -hmm. to the match itself and to this element and to that element here. And it's still going with everything still tied and connected here. Yeah. They're really actually able to pull all the threads together at one time instead of yeah. just trying to play, play drawstrings here. I've, I've never seen, even this post-match, I've never seen anything like it. Does it make you still nervous again? We, we, until we going. see that lower third, <laughs> Roman Reigns ain't left the building. That title ain't left the building. <laughs> we still got bloodline rules. Oh, <laughs> uh, giving love to uh, Seth. 
Are you surprised they went the shield route? Half of me was like, there's no way. Is Moxie coming out? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? That's a giant cue. Hey, but, hey, I mean, doesn't have to be a, a, a Romulus Reigns. It could be a – that could First be the one that yeah. it interrupts this there. One Maxwell Jacob Friedman. And we just disrupt all the fucking systems. Uh, Connor saying this is the first time since Kofi Mania that I've cried watching wrestling. Man, I love this. Thank you guys for everything these last two days. No, thank you, honestly. Like I said, yeah. this this always has been Super Bowl well, WrestleMania weekend, and I'm just going to go on a diatribe here for a quick second, but this has always felt special oh to me. But speaking of Kofi Mania Christ, when I was first getting with the misses and everything, I sat there and, shoo, you know, hockey, you know, knee slid celebrated when Kofi won and almost went straight into my door frame because linoleum floors are a thing, folks. So, yeah. No, absolutely. And the, the pyro goes off, and Cody's finally leaving the ring. Like, they just... What a moment! But still, moment. every moment, every whoa, and every every you know time of his song here, all that. And um, you know what? You, you know what? Not lost on all this. Thirteen hundred and sixteen days, I believe it was, as world champion yeah, um, yeah. or universal champion or all the above. Um, it, they really did do right by Roman. Of if you're gonna take him down, you're gonna have to throw. Oh, Nikki Khan, you're gonna have to throw the kitchen sink at him. Yeah, he did not go as quietly into that good night. It was you got to literally have this guy, that guy, that legend, that that person, you know, get involved. You got to have all of it and every bit of it. Wow, um, Corey Gray just said pro wrestling is back. This it, it just solidifies that we're done. Like this is a whole new book, mm -hmm. um, a whole new world. <laughs> They smashed. Now, we did not get MJF as we have gone off the air. We're back right. into the recap package. I know we were being gratuitous to even think it. Right. Um, but, man, did we get plenty. And, and kind of piggybacking off what you said, Nick, and I know we still got people here. Get your ratings out of 10 in the chat. Let us know. Um, but I will say this. I mean, we do this because we love wrestling. We started this because we love wrestling. We've come together because we love wrestling. We know about the tribalism. We know about the negativity. But in this moment, you watch what we watch and you become a kid again. And when people ask, why do you like wrestling? It's stuff like this. And we've been on for hours upon hours over the last four days. And we love it. And on a personal note, I had a crazy hellacious march and got back into the swing of things, started feeling a little more like myself the beginning of April. So to do this with these two guys and with everybody out there, just completely flattered and appreciate it. And what a goddamn weekend. So thank you all. Yeah. What we just witnessed was a love letter to pro wrestling or at the very least sports entertainment. Might it be return on address when it said when he ascended to pro wrestling, but at least sports entertainment. Absolutely. That that that's again, I, I hold 17 in high regard. And I think that right there might have just really kind of, you know. Pushed at least on par with 17 there. Yeah. I'm I'm in the process of trying to hold back tears because I just WWE has been my life, you know, from a kid. Um, Undertaker was was the guy that got me into it. Daniel Bryan was the the guy that, you know, brought it back when I lost it for a minute. And just tonight, and I think I might start crying just tonight. To see this, um, to be here with you two, um, yeah, this this is special. And I've I've had a rough 2023. I mean, 2024, I should say. Mm -hmm. And being here and seeing this, uh, I regret not going. I regret not going. But just being here, I enjoyed it more than I think I would have if I did go. So, um, yeah, this. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Pro yeah. wrestling is back. Um, we have so many choices out there. You know, if we if some of us don't like AEW, we got WWE. If we don't like WWE, we got TNA. If you don't like TNA, we got all these indie promotions out here. Um, this 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 solidified that WWE is going back to a pro wrestling route, and I just I'm happy about it. 
Uh, at the end of the day, there's a certain group out there, just not anyone specific or anything. But yeah, just fuck you, pro wrestling's back. I don't give a shit what you want to say. Well, whether you like this, whether you like that, 100%. You have that. <laughs> oh, I don't even what I'm mad at, 100%. Oh. We win it right here. Hold on, wait a minute. The, <laughs> you thought that shit was winning? Yeah, no, 100%. Absolutely. Pro wrestling, we all the fucking way up. So anybody. That wants to be a hater aid. Keep sipping, motherfucker, because I hope you enjoy the tea because we winning. Oh, absolutely. We are winning. Absolutely, guys. I mean, uh, we'll get to the chat, see how these ratings went. Uh, yeah, no, uh, beautifully said by both of you. Uh <laughs> Well, well, beautifully said and profanity said by one of us. So. <laughs> no, but it was so perfect. Like it was just it was perfect, my guy. Perfect. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got The Undertaker. We got John Cena. We got The, the Rock. We got Cody Rhodes. We got End Games. That's what I said. We got our <laughs> WWE CU. We, we sat there and turned around. I said it from the start of night one. We, this is a fucking Marvel ass intro. And we ended on a Marvel ass outro. Yeah. Oh, man. What a moment. MJF to, uh, tomorrow for Raw. 10 out of hey. 10. MJF shows up tomorrow. So, like, it's like, it wasn't here it's today, maybe tomorrow. Existence. Right. And people had a point when I suggested, you know, when we were debating the MJF thing, some people said trips won't take that moment away from Cody. Because right. this, this is going to be everything we talk about for the next 24 hours. MJF, you, you know, you don't want to mix that message. So, I, and I get it. I think Triple H is very aware of like respecting the wrestlers. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it kind of um just like when Oscar won the Royal Rumble, the first Royal Rumble, and the talk was more about Ronda Rousey debuting and not Oscar winning the Royal Rumble. Um, yeah, I, I think we're in a place where Triple H is going to give the wrestlers time to you know celebrate and not ruin it by that. Um, you know, if we did have like an MJF come out. I, it would have been cool to have him come out and actually congratulate Cody Rhodes. Wow. You right. know, something like that. And then we get a hero turn the night. But you, know, you, you, do you talk more about but, MGF showing up in WWE or do you talk more about Cody Rhodes winning it? Like KJ was even just saying there. It kind of I think you would talk about both with MJF hugging it out with Cody. I think, I think that would be special. Then tomorrow night would be the turn where it is all about MJF. But just Cody Rhodes kind of having his moment is special. All his family was there. Legends were there. I think this was a better, you know, way for Cody Rhodes to celebrate his win as um, WWE champion. Fair enough. And I mean, not for nothing, but I'll say it this way. of It's funny how his other supposed friends of Cody Rhodes were almost trying to overshadow this moment in this day and everything that would have been Cody Rhodes' big moment. Because I'm sure they probably knew um, and everything. Yeah. And, and, you know, really wanted to shift the focus a certain way here, certain EVPs, but you have that. Well, like yeah. I said, Nick, at the very end of that moment, like how many memes and pictures are going to go around of the very end of WrestleMania and CM Punk and Cody Rhodes are standing in the middle of the ring with their arms raised? Yeah. Do, you really give a, do you really think they give a shit about some surveillance footage from All In or, or Brawl Out or whatever the fuck they're going to do? No, like this was a crowning moment. They're standing at the top of the mountain on the biggest platform possible. And um, uh, yeah, I mean, from start to finish, tonight was just unbelievable. What a fucking roller coaster. Yeah. Uh, I know we acknowledged the tribal chief earlier, but can we at least acknowledge that a Rhodes is a world champion right now yes. in World Wrestling Federation Entertainment, Worldwide Wrestling Federation, whatever can sort of letters you want to attach to it here but yeah a Rhodes, the son of a plumber it's hard times out here baby when you got to go against the tribal chief the final boss you got the whole rest of the bloodline out here it's hard times but you got some good friends behind you and now he is a world champion yeah 100 percent. 100 percent. 10 yeah. out of 10 from damien we're gonna get into some of these ratings i think it's gonna be I'm a very unanimous rating tonight. Uh, nearly yeah, four how years. How far of over team. ten do you go, folks? Right? <laughs> how many bonus points do we get to add into this? Right. And sorry, real quick, can we just admit though, 
like we talked about at the start with the pre-show and everything, initially the past couple times WrestleMania has been two nights and everything. Night one's been the main focus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 100% night one was the build into night two. It was mm-hmm. the opening act followed by the headliner. It genuinely felt like that it was one continuous show. Like, I felt like it just got better and better as it went along. And, yeah. like, it really felt cohesive. It felt like we were building to everything we got tonight. And I think there was other moments where we were like, why didn't more happen? Because the more was what we got at the very end. Right. Absolutely. Right, right. It was definitely night one was definitely a build, uh, um, a slow build tonight too. Um, if you just, I, I think what this WrestleMania proved is that it needs to be two nights because if we would have got all of that in one night, I don't think we would be sitting here and talking about how it went. I don't yeah. think we would be sitting here and saying how, okay, everything was kind of rushed all in one night. And it was paced out with night one. It was paced out with night two. Very fast paced in night two. And I think, um, I think going forward, I think that's what we're gonna see down the line with these WrestleManias. That night one is gonna set up for night two. Does that is that a testament though to the talent level, the talent depth that they have, yeah. everything that goes into this whole system, this whole operation? Yeah, yeah. That they can do it two nights. And it's funny you said going yep. all in on one night because the other company did all in in one night and it might have gotten, you know, a little hung up and a little caught up in the weeds. If you have that little break, that little intermission, you can kind of maybe pace some things out and mm-hmm. everything. It works a little bit better and shows the depth that they have in that yeah. time. Well, think about the last few weeks on Twitter and, <laughs> and, and Anthony with how often do we read, oh, why is Liv not on the, why is Tiffany not got a match? Why is, we, you know, you got two full nights of action, and there's still people that felt like the the fans felt got slighted by not being a part of it. Yeah, no, absolutely. No. Chris Ooh. Legento? Who what now? Uh, the media scrum's kicking off with Chris Legento. Hold me closer, Tony Danza. Um, <laughs> I, I'd like a man to hug and kiss. <laughs> uh 40 He's out gentle. of 10 see more butts <laughs> i can keep going <laughs> right nine out of th- uh still too much time left yeah it was it, it went on so long i was like is something gonna happen it just felt like they were not leaving right hey no, hey no. but i mean he said it on the McAfee show. It ended actually even earlier than 11 o'clock. So how you doing? Good on your trips. We have, yeah. we ain't here for a long time. We're here for a good time. Saxton. Saxomophone. 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 <laughs> 11 out of 10 main event. 10 out of 10. Perfect 10. <laughs> 10. Shall I ask the gentleman on screen? Are we all good? 10, 10, 10. Yeah, I'm I'm at a 10, solid 10. No, actually, shit, these are spinal tap. These go to 11. <laughs> 11 tonight. Yeah, you know what? 10. I mean, I don't think there was a moment tonight where I was like, I wish this would hurry up. Or, oh, yeah, yeah, not at all. No. We were literally I'm like, all right, just scramble. All right, you, you hurry up and get back here. Or take a break, go piss or whatever before the <laughs> before yeah, the next yeah. crazy thing happens. Hurry up and get back. As, As I said, they were crazy, crazy things that happened, not to be forgotten. We've got your new world heavyweight champion, Damian Priest. He's, right he's still got oh, the set on side plates on it. So I kind of feel like this is um one of the best cash ins ever. It was the best of times. It was the blurst of times. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how you look at it. For Damien, it was the best of times. For Drew, it was the worst of times. You know, I'm, I'm so curious what's going to happen with Drew coming forward now. But it just shows you even, like I said, of this man literally, it, Seth lost it and lost it again so fast that it still got Seth Rollins side plates. <laughs> it didn't even, it couldn't even change it out to Drew. Right. Right. 
as Drew or sorry, Damien's even saying I didn't do this yeah. alone. But well, yes, yeah, folks. First, sorry. sorry, Nick, the first Puerto Rican champion in 50 years. Whew. Chambea, chambea. Uh, 10 10 nah it's uh, no brother this is legendary nine point nine rating oh come on jesse come on overall weekend as a whole do we feel that they lived up to their claim of this being the biggest wrestlemania of all time I think so. By the by, the end of this and everything that happened, and and the, you know, I know in the moment maybe we, we might not realize it because we're living the history. Mm -hmm. But you know, kind of like Triple H said, when we look back, we realize what was happening. Right. Roman Reigns loses that title. You know, the the main event the way it was, and all the personalities involved with it. The two shows that were stacked from start to finish. Um, uh, surprise title changes, top to bottom. Yeah, I mean, it, it's one of the biggest and best manias we've we've received. Jesus on Levesque. <laughs> we received him. This felt more like AEW than AEW does. Now I saw Young Bucks in the crowd. Tony Khan must be angry. Welcome back, Skittle. Did Thank they? You. Well, I Wait, feel no? like one or two people mentioned that, though. So oh. I don't know. And that would be a holy <laughs> moment. Let's see. Oh, that's a word. I want to see that surveillance footage of them entering the Lincoln uh, tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I can't do it. I'm pumped for Damian Priest. That main event was a WWE showcase. I still don't understand um, why they, um, well, never mind. I was going to say why they didn't keep the tag team titles. He's the world heavyweight champion. I'm just not picturing it. But because they could have had all the gold, you know, but that, that makes more sense now. But it's fitting to have him as world heavyweight champion and um, Rhea Ripley as women's world champion. So that is, they're literally the top of the food chain right now. Yeah, and I believe. Sorry, Nick. I was just going to say, I think because he lost the tag titles and there's been tension. Now this is 100% perfect for Damien to take on a fin, Damien to, to be pushed out of the Judgment Day, for that jealousy to be the final straw that breaks the Judgment Day's back. Yeah. Valid 100%, yeah. Um, the Young Bucks were in the Cody promo package before the main event. Ooh. Okay. Oop, Taylor saying they Roman Roman streak, and it means nothing. The third longest title reign, and yes, it's third place. They ruined everything. <laughs> <laughs> they ended something for sure. I don't know about ruining nothing. <laughs> Literally, the same man that came out and interfered in the same match, John Cena, said that Roman Reigns is the greatest of all time. Right, his whole biography and everything like that. So let's not be remiss, like you even said. He had a historic run, one of the greatest runs of all time, and especially to pull that off in the modern era. Not even just, you know, Hogan did it in the 80s, all of that. Bruno did it even before then. To do that, especially in the modern era, to have that long of a reign and be that relevant and that be, be that dominant yeah. goes without saying it. Bar none when it comes to the end of the line and everything like that. Even if this is the last time, and I don't want that to ever be, but even if this is the last time Roman Reigns is a world champion, what he's done to pro wrestling is historic. Exactly. Exactly. No, it's all epic. And I I mean, again, you could just have a straight up match. Cody, you know, hits a couple crossroads. We win, we go home. Nah, they made it epic. Like you said, they turned it into Endgame. They made it a Marvel fucking movie tonight. Everything from the entrances to how it all played out. It's great. And we're not even done yet. There's other angles and other avenues that we got to figure out. Then who's what's next for Cody? What's next for Roman? What's next for The Rock? What's next for everybody? What's next for Damien? Right. What's this, next for Rhea? Well, again, well, again, we talked about it. This is Endgame. There's literally 
everything going forward with WWE is question marks. Right. There was nothing that feels definitive as an actual direction that they are going. This is where yeah. starting everything over with a blank slate here. There, um, I mean, all the only thing that was missing was Cody Rhodes as he was about to hit that third crossroads saying, I am Iron Man or some shit. For this to really solidify that this is like the end of a chapter and the start of a new one. This is the end of phase one. We're on to phase two. 100%. 100%. Um, I don't know if you catch what Damien just saying. Seth set a precedence with that title, really, you know, made that title matter. He's thanking Seth Rollins. I was even surprised to see Seth going from selling the knee and everything that that and crying when you know he lost to Drew. That he comes out to you know Sierra Hotel Indica or Echo oh. Indica. Do you... I've got the vitamins on the brain. I, just... Farming, uh, Indica, Indica. Indica. <laughs> I was way off. <laughs> uh, that's funny. The, the the camera work and how they're shooting this. And I think, Nick... oh, you pause there for a second, my guy. Um, you're back. Um, the camera work and everything. We didn't know where Seth was. We didn't know where Roman was. And next thing they were colliding on camera and off again. Like, a big kudos to the new production of WWE. The the single solo shots have gotten a ton of praise. Christ, we're even talking about with Damien out here right now on, you know, first ever Puerto Rican champ in 50 some odd years and everything. Mm -hmm. And when they were at Backlash everything, that whole drone shot that they had going in from outside of the arena in through it here, we WWE has really evolved to that next level of yep. presentation of pro wrestling. Bye. Oh no, absolutely. Um, all of the camera angles, the camera changes, it it we it shows that we're in a different era. And I like that. I really do like that. It's presented more of like a sports product now. Absolutely, absolutely. And they're they're making you feel like you're in there with them, like you're in the yeah. ring, you're in the action. It, it's outstanding. They managed to tiptoe that line. And it does have that very much that sports presentation of you see everybody show up at the arenas and everything. It feels it has that legitimacy um, added to it because you actually see the athletes show up. But they managed to, like you said, take you from feeling like you're in the ring to pull it out wide and show you the the whole gravitas of the shit and everything. Yeah, like we were talking about for weeks on end of how they always did the flyover shots for Lincoln Financial. We're showing how big this arena is, how uh, we're going to pack this pitch out and everything. So they really managed to make you feel intimate and grandiose at the same time. Yep. Facts. Couldn't have said it better myself. That's exactly what they did. There you go. Well, idiotic and gross is what I'd call Byron Saxton, but that's a different topic here. <laughs> Saxon out here just catching strays just because I was trying to do a transition. Right. As we're getting Bailey coming out right now on this press conference. Yeah. There are a lot of SmackDown wrestlers that have like operatic -y music. Like for, for a tinge in my brain, I was like, are they going to go to Roman Reigns coming out here right now? Right. He'll just fucking tell everybody to fuck off and <laughs> get out of here. You leave. You leave. You, you're looking at me cross-eyed. Get out of here. <laughs> I did it. She just asked if they like the new music. No. <laughs> <laughs> you just been on his whole thing. You let this man sing for a, a little bit yesterday, and he's just like, "To hell with WWE's music! I can do it better." <laughs> so we got Bailey out here now, but folks, we are going to slowly head towards the store. Just trying oh. to see if we missed any ratings clause. Uh, Roman should be getting his rematch tomorrow. Not only could so. happen, could no, happen. No. I think, I think with Roman, we're just gonna see him disappear for a minute. I think so. Yeah, yeah we're gonna see him disappear. Could you imagine, Cody? Congratulations, you had a day as champion, you had the title in your family. Now you give it back to the family that matters. 
It happened to Drew. <laughs> hey, if it could happen to Drew, it could happen to right. me. If it could happen to me, right. it could happen to Drew. <laughs> uh, perfect. Storytelling matters. It improves matches. Absolutely. That's yes. the ultimate thing yes. with this. There. Thank you. It gives you a fucking reason to tune in. Yeah. If, if this weekend didn't prove that to people, the, the, the ones out there, ah, there's too much entertainment. Ah, it's that WWE stuff. Ah, it's that that acting shit they do. If you don't understand that stories build matches, stories sell pay-per-views, this weekend had to hit it home for you or you will never understand that. Yeah. Is it funny, sorry, that most of the kids that, uh, I say kids like I'm fucking senior citizen here, but most of the people um, that seem to be, oh, oh, well, stories don't matter are the ones that were theater kids in like high school and everything like that. Like, that's all you did growing up. So why are you in <laughs> stories now? <laughs> No, absolutely. It gives those vibes. It definitely gives those it's, vibes. It's a little bit like, I know you were a theater kid, so you're just mad because you're second, you know, you're, you're the understudy instead of the main event here. Right? No, but thank you for the super chat. Chair, we appreciate it. TK and AEW will never be able to pull the, uh, this shit off. Well, I mean, give them 20, 25, 30 years if they're still here. Hopefully by then they're still rolling. I don't even know if you need to do that. I think they've got the bank account and shit, and they've got the avenues. I think you just need to give common sense to them, which seems to be so uncommon. I don't know why we keep calling it common sense. Right. Bring back the wing eagle one that would Hey, we've had arguments, we've had discussions, we've had debates about belt designs and everything, and Cody's very much hinted of maybe we bring back, you know, I don't know if I like that design. Could we be have that debuted um, tomorrow night on Monday Night Raw? Down. I'd be okay with it. Yeah, yeah, I would be down for it. Uh, redesign. Favorite what? world title? Favorite world title? Not Not asking if this is, just asking your opinion, like what is yours personally? Uh, That's Big Goldie. I'm, hmm. I'm a sucker for the Windy. Uh, I know it seems ironic we're talking about it, but the Wing Eagle kind of going back to that '90s. They, they, it's definitely the belt that resonates with me. I mm. have the um, the replica WWE version two championship. I think that Eddie Guerrero held. That's okay. one of my favorites. There you go. Do, do, do. Bring back got a U.S. neck tattoo sales are set to skyrocket. <laughs> oh my! You can get the tattoo, just don't do it on your neck. I think even Cody regrets that some bitch. Right? MDB thinks he's won the title. We'll see. We'll see. You might just be the Roman Reigns of the story, bud. Well, we don't even know if he's lost it, regained it. You know, had it. You know. Threw it in a dumpster, all of that throughout this whole weekend here. He might have lost it and won it 10 different times before we even got to here. Right. We'll check. We'll let you know. We'll let you know. All right. We'll see if the math's math. Uh, Big Eagle, Rocky Crybabies. Rocky Crybabies. Rocky Crybabies. Roman Crybabies. <laughs> I. Honestly, and I'll say this as I guess a, a Roman crybaby allegedly of I want I'm gonna ride or die with my favorite guy and everything like that. 100 percent I loved what he was doing and everything. I'm not mad that Cody won. I see where they're going with this, I see the potential that could be out of this. I think either way was a fantastic outcome here. But I am gonna ride or die with my guy. Absolutely. <laughs> And die, you did. <laughs> <laughs> well, and unlike Jesus, in about 24 hours, I will rise again. <laughs> right. We'll be back at it. Um, but yeah, no, uh, Bloodline Crybabies. Now we're just tacking on any possible name to it. Everybody's Crybabies. Everybody's Crybabies. <laughs> Is Bailey still doing her thing? Uh, uh, what do you got? Tony saying, I love the gift of the gods belt. Oh, the um, Lucha Underground belt. Yeah. That looked like side paneling a little bit. 
<laughs> it looked I'm, like shingles on a roof. <laughs> I'm just convinced you don't like belts. <laughs> I, I like championship belts. I don't just like belts. <laughs> I like. I'm not that, that Vince thing. I like championships. Belts are what holds up your pants. I win championships. I don't uh, win belts. Right. And uh, Raw tomorrow should be insanely interesting. We have a lot to unpack tomorrow. Do we get a Cody Rhodes celebration ceremony? Yes, something. Yeah, he probably opens the show, no? I, I feel, I feel. Or do you do that with Damien, your newly Raw World Heavyweight Champion? You could probably pull that off, yeah. Hmm. I think it very much, though, I'm, the gravitas, the magnitude of the event has got to be Cody Rhodes. And because yeah. we still don't know what the response from Roman Reigns, from the bloodline, from the final boss, all of that's going to be. And we could have something that sets up in segment one at the start of the show and pays off in the main event. Because we don't, again, across the board, whether this is going to Backlash now, whether it's going to Raw tomorrow night, whether it's going to you know SmackDown Friday night, anyone want to give a guess at what predict what's predictable right now? Because I feel like all the cards are on the table and we're playing fifty two pickup. The only yeah. thing that's predictable right now is one of those world titles have to end up on SmackDown. Because yeah, both of them yeah. are all Raw as of tonight. So valid. Well, does that tech tech well? Would Cody be the one that would the easy answer be Cody goes where the belt was? That seems to be the presumptive answer. I've always right. kind of thought that if, if you win a SmackDown belt, you go to SmackDown. Yeah. So we'll see. We, uh, we're going to have to figure that out. We'll see uh, what all this and Pierce have to say about that. Uh, but yeah, at this point, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're ready to pack it in six hours tonight, 12 hours yesterday, a whole bunch of hours all week long. We are back at it tomorrow. For the Raw After Mania, where we anticipate more twists and turns. If tonight was any indication that things are new and improved and different in the WWE, tonight should have solidified that. What an amazing weekend. Like I said earlier, thank you. Thank you to both Anthony, Big Nick, everybody in the chat. What a crazy weekend, and thank you for being a part of it. Anthony, any final thoughts before Nick spits some fire? <laughs> One of the best WrestleManias, I think, of all time. We saw greatness happen tonight. Uh, we got new champions. We got we got a world of uncertainty heading into Monday Night Raw because for the first time in a very, very long time, I don't think any of, any of us can predict what is about to happen. So I think we need to strap on, keep our hats on, because it's about to be wild. Back. Just when you thought it was finished, we're just getting started. But our shit is real. Our shit is raw. Our shit is all authentic. When you talk about that recipe, you put it put that for life for it. Thank you so much to everybody out there. Happy WrestleMania. We'll see you on the flip side. Have a good night. Yeah.